doctor. Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah.
least what can't be fleeting and then you're letting him lead you it doesn't i don't it doesn't matter what how you feel saying he's led by god but you feel like god is not telling y'all that do you still follow him you said something interesting Ish. you just said like men don't think the way that women do so it almost sounds like you don't fully trust their expertise so how could you successfully be led by so the majority of men don't have kids y'all are picking wrong y'all are literally picking the minority every man that's on this panel y'all have more kids than all of us women 51 percent of black men are single and childless excuses it's for the for the statistics the, the statistics don't go well in your favor so you say things like, okay, are they, are they, uh, are they shooting blanks or they? Is his, cause men, I don't feel like men are overall passive, the, the aggressive, the majority of men. Do you think that silence is that passive aggressive? Cause we will do that. Yeah. If you, cause there's niggas that are used that as a form, as a, a way to trigger a woman. Like, cause a lot of time a woman to tell you like when you're silent, it makes me feel like I'm ignored. So a nigga will do that intentionally. Yeah, no, I'm just, cause I didn't agree with the passive aggressive part until Mary said that. I'm like, okay, I can see men and be like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. Well, unsubscribing from the democratic party help fix black America. Let's just unsubscribe. No, you gotta know why. I don't think so. That's the only thing that get black people together. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Wow. <laughs> What I think will fix is if black people under truly understood politics. I because think for a guy, because listen, it's, it's so many different reasons for a man to want to hang out with his friends. Adrian, I'm not going to let this slide. I heard you. Why do you think that it's older single women who share that opinion? Sometimes that's the case. There has Explain to be Explain what white history month is honoring the achievements of the greatest ethnic group in human history. Wow. I think all of that shit deserves a put them in a bathroom. <laughs> Would you rather have a whore of a daughter or a gay son? Um, let's see here. Um... Bruh. Cause if she's a hoe, that ain't my problem. Hell, she just be a hoe. Shit. <laughs> that's a that's a whore. Definitely. Like yeah, what I was going doubt. to college a waste of time. Absolutely. And can I just piggyback on that? That I read this for me, Q. Okay, five five dollar super chat from Omega Green depends. Go for STEM, medical or law. However, if you go for BS degrees like communications, is that supposed to be policies? Or Facts. criminal justice? Poli sci, political science. Poli sci, okay. yeah. Or criminal justice, it's wasted time. Final thought. When you take a man's time, it's like taking his money. When you take a man's money, it's like taking his time. Simply put, we want something for it. If you're not interested, don't go out. Sis, hit me up. Let's clear your coochie balance. <laughs> Do women, should they still be covered by men? Do women need to understand what it takes for men to feel like they should be covered by men? Yeah, absolutely. Like, women don't value men anymore. And, it, and it's evident. For women to admit that they're not equal to their men. You may have to come to that conclusion that you are not equal to your man. Are you for spanking? Let's go around the room, yes or no. Q, you for spanking? Absolutely. Age. Mm -hmm. Okay, so big kids don't get spankings? Mm, you gotta fight them, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference between divorced women and single mothers. The man will, in both circumstances, suffer comparably with no benefit to himself. The benefits don't outweigh the cost. But not it's still not as it's still better to go with someone who doesn't who hasn't gone through that. It's still better to not choose. Have them. men been getting over on household duties all this time? Please listen, but I don't I don't touch a trash bag to save my life. So, so let me ask you, could you and your wife switch roles and, and what you do versus what for that person hold y'all back or let y'all go? Physically can't nobody hold me back. Ain't no such thing as a fair fight. Direction, choose your own path.
Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic tea. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Direction choose your own path. You know this is the home of we major, me frosty, unfamous, and the restricted clothing brands. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember. Choose your own path. DJ Hampton Stampede, we in the building. DJ Hampton Stampede. Might be rich. Oh, thank you. Show this shit off. My nigga Bub, salute. He sent me this old school hat. Got me looking like a poop pup, and I'm trying to represent. You feel me? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Let me check the chat first before I get to the ladies. Who in the building so far, man? Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Simp God in the buildings that you might pull up. Brother, brother, brother. Salute Scan for becoming a member earlier. What up, buzzing, buzzing, bird, flipping, dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy, you thought your cousin wasn't. Omega Dreads in the building. Jerice was popping. Shit, damn. So soon, Jerice. <laughs> no, nobody even said anything yet, Playboy. You already already windmilling. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Bro, what you think? <laughs> Victim Olympics in the building. Vince, what up? We missed you. Elder A D, Aaron. Granville, what's popping? Canary, yo, I, I saw all your messages. I saw your messages from earlier, man. I'm in tune. I got you for sure. That's coming up. Chocolate Bunny, what's popping? Happy belated. Stoic in the building. Mother, yay. Hey, listen. The wrenches you see over here are people who've been showing wild love and support, been rocking with us for a long time. And then generally speaking, content creators, I respect the grind alone. So when I see content creators in the chat, you know you know that are monetized for the most part that i've seen grinding you know i think it's only right you know what i'm saying but yeah we could definitely it could definitely be earned you feel me <laughs> all my eyes was popping and I'm, I'm sure i'm missing a few people but you know working on it working on it vince uh-huh 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 genesis was popping we in here time i see you marcus R is in here of course nay was popping Everybody like, share, and subscribe. Yo, see where the where the likes at. Joel, what up? Impressed, what up? 
We in here, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Real love was good. I like it, man. Jeremiah was popping. Tay, I see you. OG in the building. Hell yeah. Hit the thumbs up, man. Hit the like. Who else? Valerie was popping. Dead pill. All right, we in here, man. We in here. Wow. I can't get everybody so many comments so far. I gotta show, slow down the chat. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, you don't got one? That's crazy. Hold on. That's crazy. Ro, what's popping? What's going on? It seemed like folks is already triggered. We ain't even saying nothing yet. You say nothing yet, right? Damn, man. They well, well, we'll, 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 we'll get to it. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to it, bro. <laughs> Tay, what's popping? What's going on, y'all? Hey, ladies. What's good? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, man. This hat got me feeling like old. You know what I'm saying? I want it's, one. It's real brimmy and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. Salute the bub, man. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. So, you got anything for sale? Speaking of him selling shit. I got plenty for sale. I know we just had Valentine's Day. We got Steak and BJ Day coming up. So, y'all hit me up. What's so that? The Steak and BJ Day is like the men's Valentine's Day. Break that down. We don't know about that. So in Bedroom Candy, we celebrate March 14th as Steak and BJ Day. Steak and Blowjob. Give your man a Steak and Blowjob because you had a great Valentine's Day. So okay. go to the Pleasure Fest. Have fun. Find out how to do that. I got right. you. Okay. Yeah. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit What's like the that. up, man? Nate, what's popping? What's up, ladies? What's up, chat? Hey, him. Hey, can you move your... You got to move your... Huh? Let me put it in the back chat, man. What's good, man? How the book's going and all that? Good. I had a um, a book signing and some book sales at a local book store last week, and I have something in the works for April, but on the other side of the U.S., so we'll see how that goes. They're doing okay. well, though. Okay, okay, okay. Shit like that. Shit like uh -huh, that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Did Hank get his book yet? Did Hank get his book yet? Hank ain't purchased no damn book. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come Crazy. on. Capping. Big cap. Capping. Big cap. Big cap. <laughs> Hank. Stop the cap. <laughs> Alex, what's good? Hey, Ham. Hey, ladies. Hey, chat. You good? I'm good. Everything kosher? It is. For now. Hopefully, she stays asleep so I don't have to hop off. Hop back mm -hmm. on. Kids be in charge, don't they? All the time. <laughs> Are you good at letting her cry yet or no? Nah? No, I'll be like ready to like fall out. Like, please stop. Like, I'm rushing over to her. I have to let her learn the self suit, but I'm getting there. Yeah. What's she? What's she? Three months? Two months? Two yeah, months? 13 weeks. So, three months. I'm a boy. What does that mean? She's three months. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Cool. 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 Well, we proud of her. Mary was popping. What's up? What's up, everybody? Nice don't to see y'all again. We'll start that shit, man. Don't start what? You leaning on your hand and all that. I don't got time for it. <laughs> <laughs> put, 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 put him in the fucking bed. Yeah, my head too big not to be held up. Enough <laughs> <laughs> said. Dana. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi, everybody. What's, good evening. What's good? You all right? Yeah, I'm cooling. How was work today? I didn't go. You didn't go? No. What'd you say? Fuck them crackers, huh? Sometimes you just need a little day to yourself. So I took a day for myself today. So is that a yes? Yes. Fuck them crackers. <laughs> shit like that. 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 Sis, what's good? I know you feeling that, sis. <laughs> what's, up? what's up, everybody? What's good? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. Everything's good? everything? Yeah, yeah. damn. Somebody actually asked me how I'm doing. Mm -mm. Yeah. Alex, I remember. I remember when we first started. Alex used to ask me. Now she, she 
Hamp. Hey, you had that baby all forgot forgot all about me, man. I hope you're well, Hamp. I hope you are. It's too late. Don't mean as much. I had to coerce you to say. <laughs> like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most so you see the comments people are very interested in what's to be said about the incel do you guys remember what an incel is break it down nay I thought that it was like an involuntary celibate person. <laughs> you okay. can't get none, but you really mm -hmm. you want to, but you don't know how to go about getting it. Mm. Everybody cool with that definition? I think there's a little more to it than that, but yeah, I'm sure there is. <laughs> go ahead, Dana. Break it down. Um, involuntarily celibate and like bitter as hell. So, um, <laughs> You know, they always have an, an excuse or um, always blaming women for shit that um, always blaming women for shit because they can't get none, basically. Damn. So it's just not I can't get none. I'm mad that I can't get none. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, but I feel like they try to act like they're not mad. Like they be on some like, oh y'all women ain't shit anyway. I ain't gonna waste my time. But mm. deep down the side, they be like, damn, I wish I could get the cheeks. Oh, maybe like okay. I'm focused on. Oh wait, wait. So how does it go? Like I'm focused on myself. I ain't worried about these hoes. Right. I'm focused on myself. Okay. Ain't no wife in these hoes. They ain't about shit anyway. Oh, I can Damn. smash if I want. <laughs> Those be the ones. <laughs> Those be the ones right there. <laughs> Yo, Z. Shout out to C. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the line. Damn. So, in what definition said they're typically online, you know, online getting that massage, their misogynistic sounding views out. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Impress. This is what I need you to do. Is somebody on a computer watching? Put a one on the chat if you were in a on a computer watching. No, hold on, y'all. I just want to get the you guys talking points down. I need somebody to type them shits. I don't feel like it. Jeremiah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Jeremiah. All right. So Nay said what now? Jeremiah, type this down, please. Yeah, Converge is good. He be listening too. Yeah. Type this down. What was the first one? Nay. I said the involuntary celibate. Okay. They, they want to be able to do it, but they don't even know how to go about doing it. I didn't add the other part of it where they you well, know, hold on, like, Nay. Hold on. Nay. You you went first and then you started blinking and fucking so just chill for a second. <laughs> Dana, what was your add on to it? Bitter. <laughs> so bitter bitter that sounds crazy bitter toward women bitter towards women mm -hmm. mary what'd you say that they be the ones wishing they could smash and they can't so they be saying like they, oh, I, don't, I don't want her like, anyway. oh, i could have smashed that anyway like <laughs> i could smash it if i want <laughs> Those be the ones that go around calling everybody a hoe, too. <laughs> Wait, so how about this? Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Do you think this, Mary, is it the guy who always telling niggas to grow up? You ever seen... Oh, yeah, um, oh, oh, you yeah seen, definitely. You ever seen my, my um, Minister Society? No. Oh, well, they had to tell Sharif, man. Yo, don't start that bullshit, Sharif. Sharif always trying to preach when everybody trying to get some play. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, that count. That's always the, that's always the one that can't get no cheeks. Like it's always the ones that can't if they try. Alex, anything we didn't cover? Well, I would say even with that, Mary, I think I know we're not supposed to say some him. Talk to me about it, but. There are more people who should be identified as incels than they let on. 
just based off of the things that Mary says, because it's the hate, it's the cock block, and it's the it's the self sabotage that they do. Like a lot more of y'all are that than y'all realize. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me use a better damn. Damn. Um. You know that one friend that got that bad one that you don't never see. Damn. Oh, he, got, <laughs> he got something out of town. Yeah. <laughs> you don't that's never a, see. That's the thing is, um, <laughs> that's the thing is, Mary. You been back in the day, he should be like, I only, I only fuck with Hoffman bitches. I don't be <laughs> fucking with these. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sis, sis. Yeah. What you think, sis? Mary Wilder right now. I said what I thought. They, they um, I agree with that definition. I saw they're using online, and they usually sound like well, that's what mm -hmm. Okay. So, la so online. What does that look like, though? Like me. Not so much. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, more short, more so. It sounds like more, more hostility, hostility towards women. How do you differentiate it, sis? So you know we had episodes like, for instance, remember the episode we had where I was like, "Do women need to take a back seat, etc.?" Because of the last forty years, and we used the stats. Remember? Somewhat. Somewhat. Yeah, echo came back a little bit. But mm -hmm. would would that be what it presents as? Um, no, more like Joseph. More sad, more like that. Jesus. So like like for example, like <clears throat> Fantastic really might get some cheeks, you know? Uh whereas mm -hmm. in Joseph probably begging for cheeks you know or doing weird stuff to try to convince chicks that he's the best person to receive the cheeks you know it's just like weird stuff like that well what that is I that like he the best person to receive the cheeks what does I that don't mean know, like convincing like yeah it's great over here i don't know like just kind of overly convince a lady or i don't know not being not letting it come too long i don't know yeah. i could see that so you could tell the difference when like Mr. Fantastic be saying he laid a he 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 laid a he laid a pipe game down. You you he think you you, be, you believe in him? Georgia. In Georgia, yeah. Big big and black <laughs> if he is big black, yeah. In <laughs> brother, brother, brother. Salute Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> Listen, he only getting cheeks in Georgia. <laughs> Listen, is that thing he in Florida? Oh, oh, yes. Florida. My bad. Wherever he at, I know he's in the country. Yeah, because Mister Fantastic is six foot five, two hundred and seventy pounds. He gonna let you know. <laughs> yeah, probably get some cheese. <laughs> you gotta get some cheese, brother, brother, yeah. brother. Shit, shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Okay, like that. so what is it? So you said now, what about, bro? What about the chat? Can you discern? Who may be incel or incel tendencies? I think the incel tendencies in the chat are the men that always have something negative to say about women. Always. Hmm. They don't have anything good to say. They talk about how we, I'm saying we in general, how we use men, but then we act like we don't need men. Then they talk about, um, you know, they talk about our, they talk about us physically, but then they go and they say, well, I don't need a woman. And you know, I, whatever the case is, that's what the chat does hmm. for the most part. And then when you ask them to come up here to defend themselves, nah, 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 I, can I stay off camera? No, can or, I stay off I was just about to say that, bro. Yes. What is yep. it? The ones that always thinking negatively. Ask them to come up and you put right. You put the link in there, and then they, they go ghost. Nah, nah, nah. If I can't, I I gotta show up on camera. I don't want to do that. Nah, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm good. But they still talking shit in the chat. 
or just the opposite they'll come up because they feel it's a comfortable space because they know they got at least one person who's gonna align with them um like red pill he would align with a lot of stuff it's probably some of the incels say hmm but red pill isn't an incel I know, but I could hear it. Well, I don't know that, but I could hear him aligning with a lot of the negative talk concerning women, for example. So the negative talk, is that a qualification or you have to also not get no cheeks and be talking negative? I mean, what's the negative talk for, especially in his example? If he, if he if he's married and and cuffed away, where where are you? Why are you so angry? Um, one other definition I read: there could be an incel boyfriend. I didn't get to finish it, but I, I it caught my eye. Or husband. So I read the title, but I didn't really get into the, what it said. What do um, you think about incel husband, sis? What's up, Uncle Rick? I think that could be possible. I, I don't see it as impossible. Well, yeah, because you, because you, we say um, the sexless marriages. So if she's depriving you of cheeks and you can't step outside for whatever reasons are, would you qualify? Potentially. Might check those boxes. Hmm. Do, what do you guys think about that? I was going to say, yeah, if you, to Dana's point, she said bitter, so they are bitter to me and Rose point of being in the chat and speaking negatively on women, they're doing that. So if they're in a sexless marriage and not getting any, they want to, but they're not getting it. So essentially they're online being keyboard warriors and they upset and they're bitter when it comes to, to women because their wives are not giving them any. So I, I guess I can see that. I never thought of that, but I guess I can see a, an incel husband. I also oh. I think some of these um what do y'all call them where they date overseas or married overseas or whatever what are they called the the men what? They, what are the men called that date overseas y'all tell them what are they called well, Pass- um, Rose. Rose. so Rose I, think, the main ones. I think even some of them are some of the main ones because even in that conversation a few episodes <laughs> ago with a with a what is his name AR whatever the case is he AR could not right he had a problem with every female he came across so he couldn't even understand that it wasn't it's not the women it's women that were foreign it was women that were american it was it was every woman woman that he came across those to to me that would be an example of an insult because he has no concept of his reality what he's doing to not be with or do whatever it is that be with whatever woman he wants to be with to me that's an example of an incel not being self-aware <clears throat> hmm. do you so then, oh afr, oh, yeah. AFR. no i agree with that i was going to say two things i think it's interesting to me with the incels in the online it's like they use it for validation this is the place that they have their voice in the chat i can pay my super chat money we're not complaining we love the super chats however that's where i can be validated because there's going to be a few people in the chat who agree with me and then also to Rose's point, I didn't even think about the passport bros, but it's almost like they go that route because I can sell the fantasy to someone else who has less than me. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to curate what I think the, the vision of a perfect wife or woman should be. Because I can't get that over here because these women aren't going to tolerate that. So I'm going elsewhere for it. Yeah, I think going back to the Mary guy, the whole concept is having an online community, right? So I think that's very likely for those who are in sexist marriages or even in a relationship that they're not, you know, they don't want to cheat and they're not getting some, they can be a part of that community too. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. Let's, 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 let me ask you guys a clarifying cool shit. Say that last part again, Tay. So the men in relationships and married men can also be considered incels if they are a part of that online community because that's the very definition of incel is what you ain't getting like, no they just they they come together and form an online community to kind of have support within you know amongst each other and talk about it like you were saying they just get online and somebody can identify with them in the chat or their channels or whatever it's a whole community 
kind of like Alex said with the validation. They have people that validate what they want. Yeah. Exactly. So, so do you think that would it be considered glorified then by other men, or do normal men look down upon it? I with like men? It, yeah, like other men. Like, do other men glorify men that are incels? No, you know, men. We get clout based on how many women we sleep yeah. with. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's not looked at something that's a, a good thing. No, I wouldn't think because they're involuntarily celibate. So if they're involuntarily celibate by nature of those two words being together, they can't think it's a good thing because they don't want to be celibate, but they don't have options. So I don't know. I don't know if I would be like, yo, you cool, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I would say that if he's in, if he knows he's involuntarily celibate. I don't know if I would champion him being as such. You know what I'm saying? If that is indeed the definition, you know. But with the vitriol and stuff that you guys said comes with it, I think that's the point that men may need to have a conversation with other men if you got disdain for women because you don't have access. What y'all think about that? Absolutely. Uh, I, thing. I don't I don't see I don't see them uh a man volunteering that information because like you said, the numbers are what, what gets you kudos and stuff, you know, and props. So I don't see them just sharing that information. I think it's it's gonna show up here and then this is where you ask. Well, last time you got some chicks, nigga, like, what's up? You know, like, what's all that? What's all the bigger for? Like, you know, I think it would be more noticeable in this uh, setting like this. Mm, okay. Or like, okay. incels are the ugly friend in the group where the all the friends, all the male, all the dudes are picking up girls, and he always to the side and get mad because you know that person. Hmm. Sometimes he's the one that try to get the most attention too. That yeah, you'll be the first one to try to approach women and make them laugh or whatever the case may be, knowing he gonna get turned down. But he's the one sometimes that really don't give a fuck if he get turned down in certain situations because he's used to it. Mm, I don't know, Mary. I feel, no. Yeah, I feel like there's some I like was that. Feeling what you were saying. Well, we don't use some, so oh, I guess they don't count because it's not the major majority. Well, you can say minority or majority, but I think what you're actually saying is this: the funny guy who never closes on nothing. The yeah. funny guy who got them laughing and they always his friends. I feel like that would still be an incel. No, that one, but not the nigga who be shooting and just get turned down. Like, that's not the same. Like, I'm thinking like, or do you think incels be shooting and just don't have no comp? No, don't close. Or is it just, or does confidence have anything to do with it? I think confidence has confidence. a lot to do with it. Yeah, so like confidence has something to do joke. with it. Because they're like, goofy. There's a difference between goofy, goofy and funny. Right, like in a joking way where it's like, even if you turn him down, he's not like reactive towards it because of how he did it. You get but what I'm saying? Like, never had that he don't show it. Yeah, he doesn't show it. He don't yeah. show it. He's he'll he'll, he'll yeah. say little stuff. Because it was expected. Like he'll say it in a funny way because he know to let that one gonna be expected. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if a man who's really shooting at women, approaching women, I don't I don't know if I would qualify him because then it it kind of speaks against like the awkward nature if that's what we're going with. Cause it can't, cause it, or is it just simply you don't get, can't get no cheeks and whatever that looks like is what it looks like, but it doesn't sound like you guys were saying right. that. You would have to like try to know if you can or can't get some. So I mean, there could have been a series of that prior to it just getting to a point where they're just not approaching women. Yeah, I don't think the inside incel is out with you, with you. I think the incels is on a video game or online somewhere. Really. Hmm. I think they're out too. I just think they're the ones that they're the ones that sit in the corner. I their feel like friends. online is what validates it only. Exactly. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't know them unless they were online. We wouldn't be able to see them or acknowledge them. Yes, or you would. Them. Yes, and you I, was, would. I think you okay. would be able to notice it, and so. Yeah, I mean, if they were out, they'd be like the wingman or something. They wouldn't be the person trying to talk no, to the person. No, no. Not the wing, because the wingman is ready to rock. Oh, I thought he's supposed to just like the other guy's supposed to. Yeah, like my man was 
college. Well, yeah. no, wing means he you need he backing you up. Yeah, he's yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a go between. All right. Or he's setting it up. He's yeah, wing man like him. I'm like, yo, go go talk, go talk to XYZ, or he'll be ready to rock. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna be hesitant. He he might be mad at you because her friend ain't cute, but he gonna he gonna he gonna roll with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> As a wingman. Um damn man hold on i'm learning so much or i'm learning nothing at all it's, it's very it could be a few of those man pookie was popping thank you for becoming a member my g welcome to the family man and salute everybody who came a member earlier today too Aaron with the two dollars says three four teams is a very real thing. <laughs> OG J Speed with the two dollars says, Did she say blow job steak? Someone get choked. <laughs> the real pookie with the two dollars says, They not incels, they just ugly. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> AP was popping. <laughs> AP was wilding in the chat last time. He was he was kicking niggas off for laughing and sneezing and all types of shit. Oh, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. <laughs> Perfect. AP with the 20 ball says, shout out to the panels and the ladies and the host DJ Hamp. Salute. The ladies are going to make this all about jokes and completely miss the point on incels, but I'm here for it. LOL. I feel some kind of way too if I couldn't get any play. <laughs> AP with the five says, also, it's not even a joke. Most of the guys were hurt in some way by a woman. Completely fucks up the mental. Hank with the two dollars says, Nay, ain't shit for not sending me my damn book. GBGville with the two dollars was popping says, Hank, what in the actual fuck? Incel husbands? Yo, B. Hank Deezy with the two dollars. Red Pill gave incels a voice. We just ignored him. <laughs> wow. wow. Hank <laughs> Deezy. Rebel Rose with the final says, Alex, do you think that people in general should go where they are liked and loved, or should people stay in spaces where they simply being tolerated? Can I? Oh, okay. I'll read. I got only three more. AP with the final says, hmm. So it's the incels who send super chats because other men will agree. Guess I'll wait till men are on the pen. Alex, Alex my sister. Alex. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. No, AP. More than incels fucking super chat. Jesus Christ. Rebel Rose with the final says, men play close attention. This is the reason why you need to focus on power because power dictates offsets all that's being said tonight. CA with the final says, what's up with the, the camera angle? Got Dana looking even more. <laughs> Yo, niggas is crazy. She don't even look chunky. You want to answer that question? Alex? Yeah, I can. What's, oh, I thought it was the other one. Oh. I can answer them both. Um, no, I think you should go where you are liked and loved. I don't believe in being in places because I'm tolerated. Um, as adults, we have choice. And when things are in our power to do so, you go where you are celebrated, go where you are appreciated. And I think that's across the board, men and women in a variety of situations. And then for the other one uh, about the, the chat, yes, there are incels that are in the chat and they are here all the time. And they're same ones who are spewing negativity. Someone could literally say, boo, hello, good morning. And they can be like, oh, here, this person goes with the bullshit or whatever the case is. They walk into the situation. They walk into the, the stream ready to be negative. And then sometimes they go ahead and they will pay their money to go ahead and say an outlandish, off topic, um, completely unnecessary comment. But if you want to spend your money on that, that's fine. So you saying they be talking shit? Yeah. yeah, I think people do it because a lot of times when people go ahead, um, I feel like the ones that let me say, let me say, let me see how to say it. The fact that you would, I don't want to say waste your money, but some of the people they go yeah, and like you're this definitely is saying the wrong shit. Have a voice. Mm -hmm. This is the only space where you hear you feel like you have a voice. So not only are you going back and forth in the chat about it, but now I'm going to pay to make sure it's up there so that there can be a discourse, there can be a big conversation about it. And a lot but of times, 
But don't people always add to the conversation? Are you trying to be productive in the conversation? Okay. You so you're saying that? when when people are being neck when people are being do you think it's one sided? Do you think it's just just negative? What you think? I think it's negative. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing with individuals and there's nothing wrong with bringing certain things up to have different conversation or bring different perspective. But when you are just coming up there just to be nasty, it's like, for what? You, you could have kept that to yourself. Like, are you doing it for a shock factor? And then of course you have some people in the chat that will uh, co-sign what they're saying. And this is their place where they can go and they can have that validation. Not saying that all the super chats are like that. And then some of them I really like because that offers opportunity for us to have further conversation. But y'all know who y'all are when y'all are in the chat and y'all are just saying mean things. Like it's completely unnecessary and inappropriate. Y'all just want to do it because you got a couple dollars to spend and then you do so. It's unnecessary. Rebel Rosa tells us, Alex, respect. Great answer. Lauren Max said, hey, Uncle Hamp. Oh, man. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Not at uncle status, nigga. Damn. I but him, know. like those super chats is what made me ask, like, is it like, is it glorified by other men? Because it seems like even by the super chats and the response in the chats, like men are defending them. So like, are we really missing the point? Like defending like, oh, those are not all what incels about. And no, that's not how they are. And that's not this. And oh, you know nothing about incels. Like, are you are, are majority of people really out there defending them? I think we're in their world. So I think that it's a bunch of them, Mary. I think it's they're they're on the same team. Or the men defending them are so the men that are defending them are incels too. Possibly. Possibly. Definitely. I think I think that the the men that are out there are they defending them or are they giving them a voice to their little their their minor issue? Right. Like so overall, right. Overall, they might not think like them, but it might be something they said that they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. They remind me of this person. So they're right about what they're saying. Right. So to me, the people that are saying that other men that are saying we're missing the point, if we're missing the point in regards that they are people that involuntarily are celibate, then what are what are we missing? Well, yeah. So look at this. Aaron with the sauce says, compassion is not defense. But here's what I'm thinking as I'm listening to what you guys are saying. You know how the ladies that band together, whether or not they should support it, are called um, sisterhood. Sisterhood. Mm -hmm. And that has a negative connotation. But what if you guys are saying we sticking together because nobody else with us and that's compassion. But you have a negative name now or perceive, you know, it's used negatively sisterhood. Would this be similar? I feel like when it comes to sisterhood, it's defended when we can relate. If we can't, if, if it's not somebody that you can relate to, you're not going to defend it. Say again. If it's not something that you can relate to, more than likely you're not going to defend it, even within the sisterhood. If it's like, damn, I've been there, of course I'm going to support you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like as far as the incels, the people that are compassionate about it or defending them or whatever the case may be, is it because you've experienced some level of that? Like, I'm just trying to get somebody to answer in regards to why are we wrong in what we feel and what is stated that an incel is. So to explain you the sisterhood, the sisterhood is defending everything that come from the sisters because they got to band together because nobody else will, whether it be negative or positive. And defending it can also mean being silent when something negative is said or something bad is said. So now if you take that logic, apply it to what you've seen in the chat, men calling it compassion, right? Even though this is something that would be negative because even the men are saying they're involuntarily celibate with this, would you liken what's happening in the chat to the sisterhood? But I don't again, know if those are equivalent. I don't. I don't see that. That is the men are are specifically 
not getting any cheeks or not getting the women that they desire. And then it turns into rage and then it explodes into other things such as violence and shootings and things of that nature. The sisterhood, that's, that's, I think there's something totally separate. I think it's a different conversation. Damn. So you saying the incel, the sister, you saying the sisterhood doesn't have a disdain for men? No, they don't. No, we we we've been with men all our lives. We right. and all kinds and I think, of men. I think we also hold each other accountable. We will check each other because we've done that on here. It doesn't sound I like I already know he's going to do that. No, um, not, it doesn't no. seem like the men no. are doing that. No, no, we that have. We've gone against each other at times. No, 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 I, I, I didn't say. I didn't say never, but no, it's not true. Yeah, so it's not. I feel like it's more because it's relatable. Like there's so many levels when it comes to the sisterhood there's so many levels of like damn like i felt that or i get it like i've been there like it's so much of that like in their sisterhood the the women that are what y'all call pick me's and things like that they can't relate so they're not going to understand what's going on in the sisterhood i yeah, feel we're like talking, we're talking like, about the sisterhood though mary we're talking about the sisterhood you're saying okay. that you could feel it to some level aaron is saying that what's happening in the chat compassion is not defense but why well, are you compassionate about it? Because you can relate to it in some form? No, it's just compassion, right? I mean, what are you saying? You said, like, do you think, let's say something egregious happened to a woman, right? Like something like a, like grape, let's say, right? You don't have to experience that to have compassion for it. Empathy, the whole nine. Okay, so with that being said, right, that's, that's geared towards something negative. Now, incels again is that something negative involuntarily involuntarily celibate what do you think but yeah so that's what i'm saying like on the outside though it, why are you why are you so compassionate about something that's looked on negatively because they're involuntarily celibate that's why but i'm saying what would make somebody else compassionate about it because that I sucks I think it's, the, like right. I said, I think it's the relation where the incel has, incel has decided to be celibate. He's alone. He does not have to deal with the things that maybe a married man does or even men that are out here, you know, being with women and dealing with whatever women deal with. And I think that the compassion is where the compassion is where they're like, man, he doesn't have to deal with this, that I, this stuff that I have to deal with. Does that make sense? You feel yeah. sorry almost. Right. He feels sorry for him. And he's like, well, so shoot. It's, to me, I call that sympathy. I wouldn't say that I'm compassionate about it because it's like, all right, yeah. cool. But Mary, like, Mary, 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 Mary. Showing compassion. You, you gotta know. You gotta I'm know like, when to fold them, though. Sometimes you just be you just be using your mouth for the sake of just letting words out. You just gotta chill. You gotta you... change it from sympathy to compassion. You playing semantics. Just chill. No, but how can you be compassionate? So slow down. Okay, so I'm just trying to understand. Stop. Just chill, chill. I mean, all right, ask Dana. Dana not a, Dana not a dude. All right, go ahead. Compassion is how a form of be, Mary. Yes, I understand that. But how can you? Because to me, when you're compassionate about something like that's like, like you feel like real it strong. Doesn't, it doesn't have to be like that. It could just be. <laughs> it could simply be one of the incels making a comment about women, and the other man is married, and his wife did something to him that day, and he is sympathetic to what the man is saying because he just went through that with his wife that day. It does not mean he's going to leave his wife. It doesn't mean that he hates his wife. It just means that he is relating to whatever this incel has said. Relating. Relating and he's compassionate towards it. So my thing is why don't these compassionate men address it? These incels. Because the incels are speaking. It's almost like somebody speaking on every bad feeling you've had and you can relate to it but you can't say it okay 
and and that's what it is the incels are leading this charge of all the negative things they don't have to deal with women because they've decided they don't want to deal with us they don't have to deal with the, the you know the even though like i said the married man or the man that's dating he does you know he he wants to date he wants to be with women but they have their breaking points and so they can sympathize with what the incel is saying and the incels are leading this charge online not in real life okay you good, Mary. You good. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't give a fuck. Well, y'all like sympathize, that. sympathize like with that. hoes like all the time. Who sympathize with? I don't sympathize with them. Do you though? That's well. That's it right there. Hey, girl, I've been there. You know, shit like that. Shit like I that. Seen, shit like nigga, that. Y'all can't shit fool like me. That. I seen insecure. Like we don't know any hoes. His sis got two more times to lie. She tried to hook me up with a whole one time. I bet you took it down. Right. His sis out of here, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the like button. AP <laughs> <laughs> hey, with the final says, you already know I rock with you, Hamp. You not, you know I'm not tripping, indeed. Furthermore, the comment about dating was bullshit and unnecessary. Let it roll like water, sis. Aaron with the two dollars says, compassion is not defense. No cupcake zone, triple black was popping with the two dollars. Some women use the word incel as a cope sign. Rebel Rose with the says, I only defend the truth. What's being said, true or not? Lewis was popping with the five dollars. A person who is, in, who is voluntarily celibate is called monk mode or like yeah, I guess like a priest or something. Mr. Me Too with the two dollars says, so y'all can relate to sluts. <laughs> Uncle Rick with the two dollars involuntarily sisterhood. <laughs> Jeremiah was popping with the five dollars. I'm a professional. When I come up here, I speak facts. You see that gorgeous woman up here? She is a whole fact and pleasant on the eyes. Gentleman code. <laughs> <laughs> That's Robo. DJ Ten Smooth was popping. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds flipping, dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Welcome to the family. You heard? Simp Nation in the building with the two dollars. Black woman is God. <laughs> Sapphire, how you say it? I want to make sure I say it right. Sapphire? Sassy. Sophia Grace, salute for becoming a member. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. AP gifted a membership. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. The dating pool with the final says, pick me's can relate to girl code. They just push it to the side for the male covet. Oh shit, HQ in the building. Good God almighty. Wow. Damn, man. All right. So y'all been on the internet for what? Eight months now? Nine months, would you say? Six months? Seven months? It's been a year. Yeah, it's been a year? Yeah. Damn. Like almost two. Feet. E dub was popping. So if you had to give a number of what you experienced the men on the internet what percentage would you say at the very least have incel tendency at the very most are incels because you guys are saying incel is are you guys saying incel is more than just not getting no cheeks is the disdain does that have to does it have to be a part is that a part of it the lack of access to women, etc., and then it comes that's off. A, in a, that's the root of the problem, which makes them, you know, deflect a certain way. Yes. Mm. And do you think that an incel can not? Incels don't have to be, for lack of a better term, misogynistic, though, right? No, but they can hate women. Okay. Um, yeah, they just. Okay. Is. On the internet so far, what's the percentage of men you think incel esque or incels? 
I say like 40. I was about hmm. to say 42, 40%. 40 also. Going with 70. I was going to say 72. I, listen, 70? I was yeah. going to say about 60. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit more than 50. It's, yeah. Yeah, brother, brother, brother. Definitely more than that. 70%, Dana. I said what I said. Wow, wow, wow. Brother, brother, brother. Hold on. Look, Garrett in the building. <laughs> like that. I'm glad, man. I need I I I gotta think 70 percent man y'all got your rhythm on huh you already hit it let's do it and when i'm feeling broke e and j by my side penny like 40 dollars <laughs> but Garrett with the 50 ball said, keep up the good content. Shit like that. Shit like that. You should have got let me know if you got that already, too. Aaron with the, the math ain't mathing with the game with the gay math. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Daniel said I'm I'm calling Mr. Fantastic. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> Yo, this is fantastic, funny as hell, man. Dana, I didn't forget what you said. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, oh. AP, Dana, AP turned on you. He said no more words of encouragement. <laughs> I still love you, AP. <laughs> Where do you get 70% from, Dana? Because we're real. talking about, because yeah, for real, because we're talking about our own experiences um, from being uh, up here, you know, Outside of this show and outside of these podcasts, I don't encounter um, incels like that because I guess I'm, I'm just not in spaces where they exist. But um, when it comes to this show specifically um, with the women's POV, they just come out the woodwork. Like, I had never seen no shit like that before. It's ridiculous. Um, and a lot of them, the, the majority of them um, who come up here and attack us and comment and make stupid shit you know comments and um don't add anything of value or you know they're not trying to have a productive conversation the uh bling insults that's real incel ish and it's a lot of them Oof, who else says 70. i said 60. But... why 60 percent of the men are why are they incels? um well just basing it even on the the men that are in the chats it's a a majority in my opinion of them that are consistently sounding so bitter when it comes to women they bash women they sound so angry and they come in the chat and they speak <clears throat> negatively even on the women on the panel for what reason like to i think it was mary's point you say boo and it's a problem but then there are some that are not. So that's why I said it's more, it's not 50%, but it's a little bit more than 50 in my opinion. I don't think as high as 70, but a good 60%. Mm. I said wow. 70. Sis I said 70. 70. Why mm -hmm. sis? Because this is where, this is their space. So there's, there's probably a lot more than we can see. How is this their space, sis? It's, they're online. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So you saying by nature of online, are you putting like video games in with that type of shit? Like, is that online also? Well, <clears throat> yeah. I suppose that's an activity that they're doing. Versus versus being able to uh, access a woman. I, I said 40% because of what I said earlier. I think that there's only 40% of them in the chat and the rest of the guys are relating to certain things that they say because of what they may have experienced. They're still getting the cheeks. They're still married. But that small percentage feels big because the rest of the men are agreeing with what they're saying 
That's why I said 40%. I don't think it's that high. I think um, because these men, these, some of these men are, I, I think I'm going to say some, the majority of these men in online and in this, they, I believe they do, they're either married, they got a girlfriend or they fuck it. But they're, that incel heightens everything because they're experiencing these situations that don't occur often, but the incel decided to make this comment. And so they agree with them in that hmm. moment. Well, let me, let's say I'm considering what you guys are saying to be more true than false. You know, they told me that um, men around 35, their average body count is eight. What you guys think? Does that, does, how do you, does that relate at all? Or is that just is what it is? They didn't include black men? Yeah, they included black men. Oh, that's amazing. You said their body count is around eight? That's what Mr. That's Fantastic and Fatty told me. The younger that's generation, that is a true statistic. The younger generation is not, um, they are not having sex. Um, the millenniums and the Gen Zs, they are not having sex often. They are not having babies as often as we were in the previous generations. And they're saving more money. Is it okay? I'm I'm not trying to be funny. Is it impotency? Are they impotent? I, I <laughs> they can't get it up. No, oh, I just think from, what, from our statistics last time, it said that they were just making these decisions because they're focused on making their money. They're focused on their mental health. They're focused on other things. They're not really focused on uh, creating families and things like that at at the moment. Oh, I Mary, for women. Mary already told you what that was, though. Niggas say everything else are the reason why they can't mm -hmm. get cheeks. But if cheeks jump that they door, they would say fuck that job and that video game. Yeah, I that's that the was... that's the sentiment, right, Mary? Like niggas yeah, like, say like say old, all this shit. Go ahead. Yeah, like old people tell you, like you start smelling yourself at a certain age, they they automatically assume you fucking. But millenniums, mm. millenniums are thirty something years old, aren't they? Yeah. I think they're doing it. That's a natural. You get it aroused naturally. So yeah. I think they're doing it. I don't think they're not. If they if they can get some, I think I think they do. I don't know who took them stats. I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I, I definitely think they would. Like there's no doubt in my mind. You got an insta right here, and you throw some cheeks at them from somebody. Like they ain't even got to look top tier or nothing. There's somebody willing to get them some cheeks. They gonna take it. All right, I'm gonna drop the link. Oh, I can't. Nigga going nigga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, Mister Me Too with the two thousand. If you disagree with women, you're an incel. Is that true? No, that is not. True. No, if you we just said the definition a hundred times. Rebel Rose announced that in 2024, I made a choice of being celibate for religious reasons and to enhance my productivity. Now I experience more peace and feel closer to God. Feel no anger towards women. Actually, I love women more. So you are in mock mode. Rebel Rose. <laughs> no, Rebel Rose been, been been celibate for two weeks. <laughs> Yo, Rebel Rose, if you got all that out of two weeks, my nigga, you a legend, bro. Real, <laughs> real shit. Damn, man. Hold on. Let me make sure I got a few more. CD with the five dollars. The handful of times I've tuned Dana, tuned in, Dana has been mean, insulting, disrespectful to men. So I don't know if she's is she such an innocent victim here zach you want to respond to that david no zagu was popping my brother with the two dollars the the damn number is 30 percent men under 30 y'all stop the cap stop the cap yeah i think those men are like uh, zagu are those men virgins even to that extent mr me two with the two dollars if you disagree with women you're innocent okay you said it twice uh said nbh was popping with the 2006 wake up your wake your cute ass up yawning is contagious <laughs> sean observer was popping with the fellow says this was started by a woman in canada that had no dating life the femme movement took it and applied it to men now it's used more to slick this men now men call Isha. themselves Isha. Hey, 
Rob Rose is us two months, brother. Oh, yeah, my bad. I said two weeks. My fault. Put, 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 put him in the fucking <laughs> bed. Come on. Bro. Salute, man. Sophia with the 50 ball. He says, Bless y'all. Simp Nation informed the confused. Get to the root of uh get to the root, people. A decade of the same conversation is ri ridiculous. Wake people up. And when I'm feeling broke, E and J by my side. Henny like forty dollars. This shit like twenty five. <laughs> Damn man! All right, let me drop the link. All right, let me see. Let's do this. There's a lot. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Should we let everybody up at first, or the people who agree with y'all at first? Is there like one at a time and get them like 15 well, minutes a piece? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Wait, can, wait, can we Women, get go ahead? Can we get one of those people that said that we don't get it up here and tell us why to explain what an incel actually is? All right, here's what I want to do. I want to make sure that the point you guys were building on, you guys' sentiments, I'm going to drop the link for people who agree with those sentiments. I want to get those sentiments all the way out, Mary. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you guys miss? Is there something to build on, right? People uh -huh. who generally kind of maybe more align. And then we'll drop it for people who like, no, 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 no. That ain't it. And we'll go I from there. I want to install up here too. Well, I don't know if they're going to tell you. But, all right, so let's do it. Anybody yeah. who's aligning with the lady's sentiments... I want to bring y'all up first because I want to get that totally on the table. Oh, hey, Virgil, you just <laughs> I don't know. Them niggas sung pretty well to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, so let's do it like that. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. <laughs> Seventy mm percent, -hmm. but sis saying by nature of it being the space that they are in, and I guess Rome, why wouldn't what the number is gonna be high? You know, I, I mean, guess that would be. Mm -hmm. They also said to consider incel like behavior, so they're grouped in that too. Did you guys see the guy who um? Uh, what's it called? So he shot up a Dollar General, a Dollar Tree in Florida. You know, they were calling him incel too. What about that facet of it? Do you think that's, do you think that's fair to incels? I do think that's fair. I think anytime, anytime that you disassociate yourself with humans, in any way including physical with females or female with a male or you isolate yourself yes that is very possible mm. it's funny that you say that hamp i was listening to a podcast the other day and it was on a previous mass shooting and they were saying that majority of one of the patterns that they have of mass shooters the male ones is that they have a strong hate towards women in their in their history so that's interesting that you that you said that hmm interesting huh and um let me just do this one time one time let me see hold on somebody in the back well oh. Mm -hmm. Let me just read this. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see this? Yeah. Yeah. It's small. I don't be knowing how to zoom in and shit. Who got yeah. a map? I was going to say you got a keyboard. Just hold down control and do the toggle on your mouse. Hold down control first. I'm holding it. I got a, I got a Mac though. You gotta be touching that. Yeah, you got to be touching that screen though. Cause I saw us getting bigger. Word, I'm on it. All right, I don't want to mess nothing up. 
All right, don't worry about it. <laughs> so the Oxford says incel, short for involuntarily celibate, is used as a self descriptor by members of an online subculture who deem themselves chronically unable to attract romantic or sexual partners. Okay. But so we don't have for women too. Huh? They use this for women, but I've never seen people actually use it towards women because they didn't specify a gender. Yeah. So are like are men it's taking advantage? Men. Yeah, no, it said men. Are it's women because it just says incel means voluntarily celibate. It said men. One of them said even white men. Another one says said that. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. The likes are at 186. We got 410 people in the building. Come on, y'all. Put, 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 put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Scam, what's popping? What's going on, ladies? How y'all feeling out there tonight? Uh, <laughs> ladies, I feel the pain you're going through because uh having a problem finding a nice chocolate sexy young brother like me. But uh, I know you're going through a lot of things. So I came to Panda for you tonight. And I just wanted to let you know. If you're looking for love, you can call on me. I can be reached at 832-555-DUST. I can rub your shoulders down. Or I can give you, I can love you like you've never been loved before. Because I love the women. So all the single moms, you're doing great things out there in the community. I got love for you, ladies. You can count on me. Do you have anything to say to us? Like any questions? Yeah, I can be reached on IG. Simp. At What's your comment of smoke? Oh, I don't got any smoke. I love women's. Oh, yeah, I love them. Mm, women's, women's, women's. That's all I got for you. Y'all have a good night. Be good. Hey, next caller. Bye. Mike, Mike take him off, please. <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was not for real. He wasn't for real. Was he that is, yo, yes. no, now you know the lady <laughs> on camera. Incel behavior. That that's the kind of incel yep. I was talking about that being a club, yep. trying to make jokes and shit. <laughs> yep. That was that goofy. <laughs> And then and then it be niggas that be doing that shit. Yo, Abdul, chill, Abdul. Take it. had to take a drink for that one. No, and then that the nigga be like, oh, I was just joking with them. No, nigga. Right. Yeah, that game wasn't gaming. You feel me? Somebody with a DM, like, let me get the number. They'd have been on it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I need to have more manners too. Say, please drop the link. Niggas raised by wolves, I think. Well, shout out to Scam Likely, man. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. <laughs> Mel, what's popping, man? I ain't see you. I'm about to close this shit down, man. Damn, man. I dropped the link. Niggas talking spicy. Oh, they trying to wait for the first part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Miles. You usually pretty. You pretty. Uh, you always naked in your picture, but at least you you pretty tame in your 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 dialogue. So nobody yeah. agree with us. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to have to open it up to people yeah, who don't know. agree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it another couple minutes, man. I'm trying to figure out what we missing. Like, I don't. <laughs> it's just because it's us. It's weird. It's I'm just because it's us. I was listening. I was listening, man. That shit. This but shit yeah. They're saying we shouldn't take it funny, like. <laughs> Go ahead. It's not a joke. Hemp, when you think of an incel as a man, what do you think of? Like, what comes to mind? Uh, he don't have access to women, and he, if he could, he would, but he can't. And I, I um, oh, there's actually a question I had. Like, is he is he to blame? Are incels to blame for their lack of having access to women? So that's the accountability piece. Like, if you don't, if you can't have access to women, whose fault is it? Is he yes. confident? If he lacks confidence in it, that's his fault. But he lacks I mean, confidence. He has no swag. But if he's ugly, 
it's not his fault. Sometimes, but sometimes I mean, some ugly guys be having some, some hella confidence. Nay, I'm, I'm sorry. They be, there they are. Used, they be getting used, though. I blame the females they grew up with. Hmm? Mm. Yep. Females they grew up with? Yeah, their mothers, their aunties, they cousins, their sisters. I blame oh, they, them. They made an ugly baby? <laughs> well, incels are not all ugly. So I'm I mean, trying to understand it. The confidence part. Um, in the building. Like that, like that. What's popping? Oh shit. If they had a man in their life, how's that possible? <laughs> well, somebody commented. You said what? I Rose saying, I can get what Rose saying because somebody commented and associated it with some kind of trauma from other women. Mm -hmm. So I can get where Rose saying in regards to, you know, blaming the women that they were around. Damn, you know, so it's, it's not trauma related in any definition. I don't know where he got that from. Damn. So, wait, what did it say? What's this? I said, I'm not sure whether, I know the super chat Mary's referring to. It's not trauma related in any definition I could see. Even yeah. if it, even if it's by choice, that doesn't mean that it's not. I'm not not all. I don't think all the incels have trauma related, but they have some issue that they came across a woman in their life. Okay, whether it was rejection, that yelled at all the time as a kid, or uh, you know, a female females never approached them, never talked to them, um, never said they were cute, never gave them any type of validation. Um, I, I just, I think that it has a lot to do with that. So you think it's deep rooted? I, agree I think it's deep rooted. I don't think any, I don't think a man wakes up and says, I'm going to be in today because I just feel comfortable being by myself. I don't think that's human nature. Do you blame his mom? I do him. I blame, I, I'm blaming the females that he has had in his life. And if you have a mother that yelled at you every single day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and never gave you any you still want to do it like that does nothing to do with you i don't see how it correlates you still want to get some cheeks you still want to experience uh the nut like you still like that i don't know how that correlates so i think how are you guys doing this evening ladies hi my name hey, is i'm god i don't know if i met you all hey. um big fan of some of you dana tay sis ro very big fan of y'all work the other ladies i love the comments the conversation that y'all having tonight um in sales if we're talking about in sales look no further than the united states government the secret service and the fbi and ham i posted a link so you can see it in the back chat for yourself mm -hmm. if you want to play the video it's up to you um cbs news reported a year ago and that the fbi and and the secret service have been investigating what they're calling misogynistic extremism right and this is all based in what they're also calling domestic terrorism under the incel manosphere red pill group right and again i put the link in the back chat um i'm not gonna put it in the chat that's, that's up to hamp if you want to put that in the chat but this report is out there and this is what the government said the federal the federal government on tuesday released a study on the growing terrorist threat from men who called themselves anti-feminist or involuntary syllabus and draw motivation for violence from their inability to develop relationships with women. But it also stems to how they feel like women have taken over society, right? I'm pretty sure y'all are, y'all, excuse me, I've been drinking. Y'all have all heard men say that they built society, but the child support system that y'all put them on messed them over, right? It's just a million different excuses. Ham, if we want to have a serious conversation about the incel community, then again, look no further than the Secret Service and the FBI because they break it down. And I think a 600 page document, whether it's um, Elliot Rogers, right? Elliot Rogers was a young man in California. And I'll land my plan here for any ladies who want to talk about it. Elliot Rogers was a young man in California, right? He made a video, Ham, and I used to use the video, to be honest, to make fun of incels. His video said, I'm going to delete three women and he did and he said that his entire life he was not getting vagina and today was retribution day so when these men get on here and they say well this is just the internet it has no impact on real life no bearings that's a lie that's hmm. that's a lie 
And if you don't believe me, then again, check the report in the back, right? Where the um, the Secret Service journalists reported directly from the White House, which I believe come directly from the president. So with that being said, um, these men are extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. They don't care about Roe, Tay, Nay, none, none of these women, unless it's about bearing children or having sex, right? That's why um, I believe we have a Delta somewhere on, on, on the panel. They will tell these women that they have basket weaving degrees. We know that that's not true, right? They would tell these women that they only care about thugs and Pookie and Ray Rays. We know that that's not true. That they don't build black men up and y'all only want rich niggas. We know for damn sure that's not true. So it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. Excuse me, excuse, excuse my language. Bullshit just so these men can feel um, important online. But if they really break down that article, which they never will, they never break down why the government is actually investigating them. They'll talk about why these six or seven women should remain completely submissive and shut the fuck up when men speaking. I can see my time. Mm. So are you disagreeing with us? Or are you what? Come on, Ro. That that's not of a course good I agree with you guys. No, 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 I, I know. I'm well, sorry. Then don't, well, then don't. Hold on, just I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't right, do that. Sorry. Right. Right. No, it's okay, Ro. Let's okay. keep let's I keep met. the conversation moving. What so I was don't... saying what yeah. I what I wanted to say was so you are agreeing with us that men um some that it's a small amount of insoles that in sales that are coming online and so they are creating this movement that the government is investigating is that what you're saying it's not small everything else you said was correct but it's not small and only due to my respect for him i won't name people names on this channel but y'all have encountered some of them here Specifically you, sis. So Y'all have encountered some of those men here without me saying those men names, right? Some of them might be old and dark skinned and very angry. Come on, right? Come on, there. Right? But they don't come in small droves, right? The one who passed away, he had a million subscribers, right? They are out here by the millions. It's just the facts. And I'm a, I'm a father of two daughters, right? So what should I, and let's say if I conceded to their talking points. My daughter should have sex for a coffee drink, but also we don't promote whole culture and we want women to keep their legs closed. But they, this is a whole bunch of bullshit. But to your point, Ro, yes, I do agree with you ladies. I know you guys are um, going back and forth with people in hand, so you can bring somebody else up. But I agree. The man's fear is extremely dangerous. And until we have a conversation about why they're being investigated, the men are going to waste your time, frankly. Mm. So that so Daryl, I think the part that you just kind of um articulated or painted, I think you illustrated was uh that part I kind of mentioned at the end with the, the the boy who shot those people at that Dollar General. They 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 said like he had he was in cell or in cell tendency or he had his something on his on his social media, um and then it, it uh, manifested in that way. Do you do you think though that that demographic of in cell, I think there's levels to generally everything is small in terms of the violent nature i do not hmm. i do not my research and i'll cover this in the morning i'll tag you in it my research from what i've understand date back to 2014. i was just living in east lansing michigan i just moved um a few weeks ago well about a, about a few months ago now home of michigan state spartans we had three students lost their lives one of them was a black girl her name was ariel diamond this man who walked from the fucking north side of Lansing where all the black people are at. He could have shot up any neighborhood that he wanted to stop, but he went to the university where he knew people were unarmed, right? They went through his phone after he shot nine students, three of them died. And guess what they found on his YouTube channel? Hmm. Hmm? What's that? What's right? That? The influence of male influencers who the government, not me, the government deemed as manosphere right and this is why i have i don't know how long you've been here but if you google some of these people's names and you google why i'm leaving the manosphere they all got a video why they left the manosphere these people are dangerous and i'm talking about extremely dangerous to the point where some of their channels are being demonetized in the same way that they would say cynthia g was dangerous and why her channel was taken away even though we love cynthia my whole point is they spew hatred propaganda against women every single day. And for fathers who in that space who have daughters like myself, I really don't understand it. Right. For those who might have been through something, let's say if Coach Tay was dating some guy and she kept the kid away, fine. Hate her. Don't apply that to Roe, Mary, 
Dana, Alex, sis. Don't say this is how black women move. Say this how Coach Tay move. But oftentimes they attribute these fucking factors or these fucking things that they're going to to all women. But to your point, so I can answer it directly, there's millions of them, Ham. There's more of them than you and I. That's a fact. God damn. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Damn. Let me read these. Victim Olympic been a member for two months. Salute. Perfect. When being when black men are in glee for the downfall of the women that birthed them, but praise the women that birthed the men they say oppressed them. Mm. Aaron O with the two dollars. Oh shoot. I mean Aaron with the two dollars says fem cell equals female incel. Lauren Mack with the five dollars says, Ro, I'm in love with your hair color. Might have to copy. <laughs> Rebel Rose with the two dollars says, Ro, sis, what you guys are saying is not entirely true. Uh, Rock was popping with the two dollars. Says men can't have morals anymore. CD with the five dollars says that whole dangerous intel narrative is a profile white boys fit. Black men tend, tend to get whatever they can, even if she's unattractive, rather than go without pussy. Rock with the five dollars says trust the government. Y'all believe the secret service journalist? The secret service journalist? What? LOL clown. Tony Golden with the two dollars says KS was an intel. That man was with. Man with a child and two wives. Zagu with the two dollars says he called chaos and incel niggas dumb as fuck. CD with the five dollars says so this clown is worried about so called dangerous rhetoric, but he quote unquote loves who advocated for deleting. Man, I don't know about all that shit. Valerie with the twenty ball, appreciate you. Like that. Like that. Salute, salute, salute. Just showing support, DJ Ham. Hey man, I appreciate you. All the premieres, even though you get tight at me because it's a premiere and not a live. <laughs> I appreciate you tuning in, man. Shit like that. Shit like uh, that. RBM with the five dollars says, Daryl, my guy, you talking cash shit right now, brother. What's good, ladies? You too, Dana. <laughs> Jim with the five dollars says, the space has been under watch for some years. Even heard there are undercover feds in these spaces often. Honey. HQ with the five dollars says, incels and the red pill men are... Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Granville, you there? Let's see if Granville there. Yo, what's popping? Damn, Donald. What's goody? Good evening, Granville. I just want to um Daryl. I just want to uh, get some clarification on the situation. Um with the incel thing. What I wanted to know was, do y'all any, any, does anybody even personally know one? Well, well, so Granville, if we take the definitions, including what yeah. Daryl added in, the answer would probably right. be more yes at that point, if you consider all those factors. So y'all really think the incels are in these chats and the super chats talking um, in this space with us, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. And the reason why is because I know people like this in my real life. Okay. And I know that these people are these aggressive combatant people that y'all frame uh frame them to be. They just not. They're not gonna typically be the person that's gonna go back and forth with you. They avoid confrontation of any kind, whether it's verbal, verbal or physical, in any way. These well, people think- aren't even on YouTube. Now, if you can tell me where to find, because their place is where they are. But as far as YouTube channels and in chats, combative, no. We didn't say that they were all. We didn't say they were all combative. What we said was there's. We gave different examples. Some are combative. Some are passive aggressive. Passive aggressive, yeah. Yes, some are passive, where they'll. make a little comment what what i'm telling you is the um the demeanor of these people it wouldn't even give them how should i say this the confidence or the uh clarity to even combat something that you said on the panel to even type it in the chat i don't agree with that i I think they use it for you can you can be you don't have to be poppy incel you can be blow joe 
and we not know who you are and, and, right. and because of that because of that you're able to say certain things you know you're not going to say in real life you know you're not going to do in real life but what i know from these people the way we are up here on these panels every day in this chat these people will avoid these kind of spaces yes, they, they tend will. to not go out of the, they tend to not go out of their area to go look for rhetoric like this that goes against them are aggressive people in nature are people who have the vigor to get up on these panels or even in the chat to go back and forth they aren't those kind of people why it's like pulling up, it's like pulling up because to these people um huh it's like pulling up to a fight it's, with your brothers like you're you're more confident almost mm -hmm. that's how i see it but that's the problem they won't even pull up to a fight you i was hearing y'all saying that these people go out uh, I was hearing that y'all tell us saying these people go out and they talk to girls and they talk to people and they mingle with people. These people do not. They don't. Don't you think there's different they normally in the social there's some that will go out, but they're trying to, but they don't know how to approach them, but they will still go out. There are some that will be in the chat and will just run off their mouth, but they will never pull up on the That's panel. Right. But if, if we're talking about types and we've seen and, them in the no, I can't, let, I can't me ask you, let me ask you a little bit better question. I think I understand what Nay articulated. I think that's more of a sentiment. But the question I think I got from what Nay said is, do you think there's only one mold for an incel? And it is this no. introvert recluse person. I'm never going to say there's just one mold, there's one monolith for them. But the majority of them, yes. Like you have certain situations where rare occasions where the guy Daryl mentioned, you have those run of the mills. Like you have those maybe one. But it's a small percentage of them that actually go to that point that actually goes ballistic or yeah. even gets the confidence to actually have confrontation with somebody in the chat. Have y'all ever seen any of the um have y'all any have y'all ever seen any threads or anything with incels? Have y'all ever looked up any of this? Or are y'all just going off a word that y'all hear thrown on YouTube? Well, you know I, I have Granville, of course. Talk about I feel like we're going off of what we see in the chat. Well, at least I am. We're basing off of what we see in the chat and on this particular platform. There are a lot of men that will come into the chat and they will speak so much, but they won't come up on the panel or they just, they sound so bitter and angry. And there are ones that will actually come on the panel and you can kind of tell who they are. Like I'm thinking of ones off the top of my head. If I look in the chat right now, I'm like, oh yeah, you're there. I know exactly who you are. Let me give you also another example, tangible uh, example. Now, Gran Granville, just to be fair, he may not have totally understood or saw it the same. When you saw it, one of my buddies who used to be on the show called himself an incel, and he had an additional level of disdain because of how much rejection that he was getting. And he was loud and everything, but he always usually be in a friend zone with women more often. And he would approach, okay. but it was always friendly, right? And he always be going out with them, but they always looking like, oh, this is my friend, such and such. So he said he was himself, but he used to be on the panel, et cetera. Yeah, they, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with you. That's a small mm -hmm. minority. Just like you have me, I'm sitting on this panel having a conversation with y'all right now. There are a small minority of us that will get up on the panel and actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. But am I going to put a number on it? Yes, I'll probably say less than 1%. Really? Of us will get up and have the conversation. Yes. Wow. These 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 people y'all talking about, they really won't. It's basically more like loners all their life. They may have had some trauma or something from their childhood or something. Mm -hmm. It could be anxiety. It may not even be from a woman. It may not even be from a man. It may have be, been the way they grew up. It may have been the way they were growing up. Um, a good example, if y'all want to ever check it out, um, you could go. Uh, can I plug this channel right quick, out? Because he actually has two conversations with incels actual incels and the two that he interviewed i actually know them too from a uh from a thread actually that i've uh that i've been talking to on a thread because we have a couple of threads and stuff that i've been part of for about seven or eight years now okay um if you go check out uh soft white underbelly he has two interviews with two incels I heard of that. and that would be um a good chance for y'all to go check it out and really see the inside life to um these people because most of these people they aren't gonna get up on panels they aren't gonna argue with you they aren't gonna go with the back and forth they'll stay in their corner recluse 
they're not going to come over here and spend money and talk crazy to you. Now, I'm not going to say that they don't have the run of the mill. Like me, I, I enjoy this space with y'all every day. I to come up here and talk my shit every day. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as bad as they are. Okay. Player, May I jump in if you don't mind? Yes. I'm sorry. So real quick, let's go. Go ahead, sis, and then I think Alex has something, and then there you can come back around. And then I'm going to do a little bit of rotating. Go ahead, sis. Grandpa, are you claiming to be an in, uh, incel of, at, at some level? I yes. Oh. That's why I came up here. Are you trolling or are you serious? Um, You probably don't know me on YouTube, but sometimes people can get a real conversation out of me. This is a real conversation right now. Mm-mm. So, so based on our standards of what we feel like an insult is, Alex, you identify Alex that? Nay, Alex oh, Nay. Sorry, but... Yeah, Alex was. She was waiting. She's about to say something when he oh, was so talking. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want her to forget. That's all. Go ahead, so Alex. Two things. Um, like long time ago when we first started talking about incels ham did share a video and that's when i first learned about the actual term of an incel um and from there i did go ahead and try to do a little research on what it actually was but do you think that there are people who are actually incels who aren't aware that they are incels because this seems to be a new term denial I don't know. Well, maybe it is denial, or maybe they just never had the word for it. Um, just like with certain things are getting labels now. And when people finally hear about it or they come across these spaces, they're like, oh my goodness, that's me. Or do you think all incels, at least in your experience, they are aware of what they are? Most of them are aware. Some people come to the realization. I mean, it's with anything you learn in life. That could be anybody finding themselves so, uh, understanding who they are. And maybe they find a community that they blend with. People, other people that understand them. Everybody has their community that understands them. People go through things morning, noon, and night. You find people who you can relate to in any situation. Because there's somebody else out there like you. But so, do I think do I think that they're these aggressive people that y'all were talking about? No. That's not that's not the majority of them. And I don't think that six percent of people in this space, I don't even think. I don't even think 2% of people in this space are actual incels. So I'm going to give an extreme example of when I when I say that, and I, and I get what okay. you're saying. So sometimes people may not be aware of their behavior, right? I'm going to be okay. extreme. It's like, say a woman may not know, or a person may not know, like, yo, you know what, you're a real bitch. And sometimes they don't realize that until someone says it to them, and they're like, oh my goodness, how? And then they have a, a moment to look back and be like, you know what, maybe I am being bitchy, or maybe I am being this way. So I'm wondering with the incels, like, does like someone have like a, is it another incel comes to you and says like, yo, you are an incel. And I'm not even trying to be funny. And I know it may seem. Just talk. You all right. You don't got to justify what you're saying. Just yeah, say you're it. Good. I just don't like, how do you like, okay. How did you know that you were an incel? Maybe that's a better question. I'm involuntary celibate. I know. I know the anxiety I get when I talk to women. I know the discomfort and stuff in social settings sometimes when I'm in the having the understanding just to co-mingle with people that I do not know, the anxiety and everything I get, my social awkwardness. I understand those things. So I understand who I am. I understand that I have these problems. Mm. Right, I was going to say, you were honest. So I love that you were very honest about that. Yeah. I want to ask this other question. When you said that, do you think that that will lead to hey, some real quick? Sort of Daryl's about to go. Daryl, you gonna concede to Nay so she can ask this question? No, of course. The, the, any woman who want to um, go before me, of course. Go ahead, Miss Nay. Thank you. Um, do you think that that ends up? Oh, he, he's buffering. He'll, he'll be he right there. Okay. He's, he's um, do you think so? I, like I said, I appreciate the fact that you were very honest. Now, when that ends up happening, do you think that that can lead to some form of bitterness? And is that another? type of incel because i really think there may be different levels to being an incel i really do there's some that are very bitter you're not sounding bitter to be honest with you you're just you're admitting what you you feel you are but can that lead to some form of bitterness and that is why those are the ones that go online and they just they're i call them keyboard assassins basically that's what they are and that's another for me another form of an incel i mean when when things happen to people in their lives majority of people become bitter when something traumatic happens or something they didn't want or something didn't go wrong 
something went wrong and then go the way they want. You make Maybe it a little bitter. But do I do I think that majority of incels are bitter because they cannot obtain a woman? No. I think they more have a questioning of it, like why, what's the problem? I have to figure it out. Yeah. That's what incels think. And like I said, if you would go to these threads, these Reddits and stuff and actually see them, they're looking for the questions. They want the answers. They have these communities. But they're not these aggressive people going online calling y'all bitches hoes. Y'all ain't shit. They're not these people. What I truly think with the people in this space, I think the people in this space are just like to come up here and talk shit. You say something I don't like, I'm going to tell you something back you don't like. And then we about to go to a back and forth. More majority of y'all in this space, y'all fucking. And y'all don't like each other. Uh, y'all got some grudges of bitterness towards each other. And when I say each other, I mean the sex. Mm. Men hate women in this space. Women hate men in this space. Mm. And that's probably pushing a little too far with the hate word. So let me take that back. Men are disgruntled with women. Women are disgruntled with men. Mm-hmm. And y'all let y'all expressions out in this space. And that's what y'all do. Yeah, no, But I incels think... never had the chance. Incels never had the chance to, to get on this rhetoric train that y'all hate so much. Incels never had that chance. Damn. They may hear it. They may hear it. They may witness it from stories and stuff. But to actually get up here and say the things that y'all don't like. These are niggas that have been dealing with women. And the shit that y'all say that niggas don't like, y'all out here dealing with men. Y'all had these experiences that changed y'all. But you would be a direct contradiction, Grandpa. Because- <laughs> oh, just let me read these super chats real quick. The oh. blackish crack. Let me read these super chats real quick. Rock, rock with the two says, Part of being a man is being dangerous. What the fuck, y'all? Uh, strange and unusual. What the fuck? I said, if you defend incels, you're probably an incel. Valerie with the ten dollars says, "I see you really be paying attention." Yeah, that's the job. <laughs> American Negro was popping. He said, "With the twenty bosses in life, everything is always blamed on black men and on the computer. Everything is blamed on the manosphere. When are women going to look in the mirror and understand that they are the reason why it's like this?" Brother, brother, brother. Zagu with the five dollars says, "So this, so this." So this is why kill wait. So this is why they kill men's voices. War on masculinity, as always, our women is helping them. Nay chat gave no proof of incel. Proof? Hmm. Tony with the two dollars says, Did anyone on the panel do research on incels? Yeah, we actually had an episode on this probably like seven months ago. Um, looking at it, but I don't know if anybody researched it today necessarily, but when Daryl came up, there was some research there that fulfilled the requirements. I got more. I got, I got more. Rebel Rose of the Father says, "Men, you need you need God in a tangible purpose. Without God and purpose, you are an incel. You can be dangerous in this space." Daryl Long and the ladies is right. Rock with the two dollars says, "Sound sounds. If you would agree, if you disagree with them, you an incel." The real Pookie said, "Incel equals." Yeah, 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 yeah. Sukiyomi with the five dollars says, Hemp, who is more prone to commit crimes? Pookies or incels? What does the stats say? Pookie be getting pussy, correct? Now explaining that for me. Damn, that, that's actually <laughs> we might have to address that because that 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 seems to resonate a little bit. That was banded babble, but keep going. <laughs> Mr. Me too with the two dollars says stop categories and men, men you don't like as an incel. Garrett came through with the 50 ball. He said, preach, Granville. The other outside is human. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She want to run the street, so let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cock blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. Salute, Garrett. He knows what the fuck says. Remember the man who got stood up a couple of months ago? It went viral. He's an example of an involuntarily incel. John the Baptist with the fuck says, this man is giving the true definition of an incel, and we still trying to make people who we disagree with fit in. 
Rebel Rose with the five dollars. Hold on, let me be clear, Hamp. I never had a problem with attaining women. I'm simply pulling away from the buffet and working towards an entree. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I think that's what I assumed when you said you did it purposely for the last three weeks. HQ with the five dollars says, "American Negro, you are the problem too. You know, you not knowing that is the problem." Sean Brewer with the five dollars says, "Man, y'all, y'all about uh, to claim this BS term incel." A mental illness. I can smell the bullshit. Incel sound like a non-confident guy. Hit the hit the gym, bro. Fuck out of here. John the Baptist with the two says, "You skipped my super sticker." I did. Bad John. One second. I don't see it, John. Well, John, here's for the super sticker. Thank you. Put, 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 put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Put him. Put, put, put him in the. Put, 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 put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Salute. I appreciate it. All right, let me do this. Granville. So I got the brother Dave in the back who who's in what the up? chat in here in so. So don't don't drop off. I'm, I'm I'm gonna put you down for a second, all right? Yeah, you good. All right. Dave, what's popping? What's good, man? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You're yelling. You don't got to yell. You got a phone. Just regular. Oh, my bad. I'm in the car, man, waiting for this food. Uh, hold on. Let me turn up this volume, man. I just wanted to call in. I just wanted to call in. I don't know what everybody else is, but it's more like battle fatigue for me. You know, um, I done been through a lot. It ain't got nothing to do with family or nothing like that, but you know, it's it's I, I done been through a lot with girls like like I always say, like I envy y'all when y'all be talking about body count and speaking about your past all um with glee and everything. I just look at him like, oh my gosh, you know, like wow, you know, it's just a totally different experience for me. But um I think ever since uh what's that uh the 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 lockdown that uh C B lockdown. Man, I just figured like, man, this is peace, you know? And so just taking a break from 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 everything, you know? Uh that's really what was mainly it. That and all the holidays, man. It's hard to keep a ship. It's a holiday every month, man. So Dave. It's a holiday every said, month. Go ahead. Wait, but you took a break from the ladies? You saying that you don't you're not dealing right now, but you did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Everything's purpose. Yeah. yeah, so could you go get some cheeks right now if you picked up your phone and made a call? Oh yeah. So that wouldn't oh, yeah. qualify, Dave. You wouldn't be in you would be voluntarily celibate. That's on purpose. That's intentional. Oh no, 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 no. I ain't I ain't like you gotta define what celibate is, man. Like, you know, um you ain't always gotta, you know, stick everything in and you know, do things with a girl, you know what I'm saying? You can practice some safe sex or it's not safe, you know how it goes. Yeah, we but understand. Just that, in man. general, I uh -huh. thought Inset was uh, huh? Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm hold on, let me roll up this window. They looking at me crazy at this bad. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, ta I, I take I take uh, ownership of my bandedness, man. But um, you okay? Cause you, you know I, I yeah right. Yeah, you know I'm in Chicago. You know y'all gotta look around. But um, I'm a. Uh, I just don't like it when I just feel like it's more of a if if uh, anybody who doesn't want to do a commitment, they calling them incel and everything like that. But just my suggestion, because it sounded like like Ro was getting real close to what I wanted, to, like what I was saying. It's not. It's more. I ain't gonna say it's trauma. It's more of a um, commitment. I, like I always say, I got commitment and abandonment issues at the same time. You know, like I I don't do I do kind of good in ships, but it's just like a um, it's fatigue. You know, I didn't deal with a lot of different mentalities, you know, and the the mentality of dealing with, you know, it's not games, but. Dave, is this normally how you communicate? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I can Dave. see my time. Dave, Dave, Dave. So 
you're saying that you got you have fatigue from dealing with women but the incels don't even have that luxury right along with the trauma no. you're now let me ask you a question let me ask you a question dave do you feel some type of way towards women no i love most of the women except my ex-wife well I, I, she's great you know what i'm saying i ain't got no problems with everything i avoid i you know i'm i'm, I'm kind of a flirt i don't have no problems being around kicking me with girls everything like right, that right, but, right. Dave, but, but you, when it comes to no 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 Dave don't count. All right, Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. Why don't I count? Why don't I count? Dave is what Mary no. was saying about what men say. Like Jack was so no, right now. no, nay, nay, no. He got he Y'all had looking a wife. For he talked to women. He said he not fucking them. He's saying right now he fucking with a condom, not without a condom like usual. They no, you said a lot of everything. I didn't say I was screwing <laughs> anybody. I didn't Dave, say I was Dave, like that's another like Dave I quit. Y'all uh, yo, Dave. Let me, let me, let me, let me, y'all got it. Y'all got it. If there's a definition y'all want, there's a definition y'all yeah, want. Y'all stick to that box. We don't count, Dave. I get Dave. We love you, man. Beat it. Go ahead, stick with that box then. <laughs> yeah, wait, we'll get maybe we'll come back later. We'll try to understand it. But right now, we're gonna get the brothers on who really have all have right, man. Issues. It's on you. All right, Dave. Be safe, Dave. Good shit. Dave up here getting cheeks like a motherfucker talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I said Dave is an exhausted pimp. He need a break. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> Dave was getting cheeks left and right. He said, I'm tired. <laughs> That's all it was. Shout out to Dave, man. Dark Lake, what's popping? How you doing, DJ? Thank you so much for having me on the show. How you doing, man? Goody, goody, what's good? I'm good, I'm good. Um, So, yeah, so listen, I'm usually, and, you know, Daryl is smiling because he knows, I'm usually a defender of the male image, right? And uh, unlike the other gentleman, Dave, and the, I don't know if he counted, or and Granville, I'm not an incel, right? However, I did see something that I felt was disturbing, right, DJ? You asked the question earlier, right? You gave an example of a store shooter. I think it was a Dollar Tree or something. Mm -hmm. And he was labeled an incel, correct? Yeah. And you asked the question, you posed a question to all the ladies and you said, is that fair to label him an incel? Yeah. And Rose uh, quickly answered and said, yeah, I think it is fair because once you dis dis disassociate yourself from humans or women or society, it's you can easily be put in that category, right? Um, Granville came up on the show and admitted that he was an incel. So according to Roe and all of the women on the panel, then Granville deserves to be in that category of a store shooter. And I really thought... That this that exposed I, that I, I thought no, I thought no, wait wait no, Granville no, I know no. you're not I, I'm just you let me rock a little bit Granville I I, I, I feel I kind of feel where you're coming from but wait wait a minute hold on I feel, don't talk do this right now bro because what, this, what am I doing what, I'm gonna what do. am I doing here's what I'm gonna do here's what oh. I'm gonna do I'm gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop y'all down and just do one at a time I'm bringing people up but but let's not don't even go there with the over talking when it's when it's no holds bar time I'll let y'all know. Let Dark Lake get 20 more seconds to finish his statement. They can roll respond because he named her. Go ahead. Yeah, 20 more seconds. Um, I want to say that is the oversight that I feel like is happening with um, labeling and categorizing men just because you don't like what they're saying. Um, to like establish a, an entire demographic of men as incels, right? Because if you, Ro, if you are serious and you're honest about your statement, then look down look in the corner at granville right now and tell tell him that he is a store shooter say that right now can i answer yes so this is one example on why it's too extreme on these youtubes i didn't say anything about um all incels being store shooters I said it is fair because psychologists will tell you that any time that somebody disassociates themselves and begins to isolate themselves, they start to come up with mental health issues over a period of time. We also stated on here, as we tried to tell Poppy Incel, that's not his name, but we tried to explain to him 
that we believe that incels come in different levels and different forms. He's the one that said, no, I think they only look like this. Then Hemp tried to clarify by asking, does he believe that eventually you could move to another level where your symptom, because being an incel is a symptom of you making a decision and saying that I cannot get a female, that it may be possible that it may go to an extreme level. And, and all I'm saying, all I'm asking is you for, for you to be consistent and look at Granville right now and say, it may be possible that you can go to an extreme level and do something wrong because you're an incel, because that was your stance. He has already confirmed that in his thought process and in what he believes is an incel is not like that. He is okay, already- so you were wrong. So you were no, wrong then. It's a difference between my opinion and a and him and his opinion. That is my opinion. It's not. So about you don't think all these incels have opinions like him? What did you say? You don't think all these other incels have opinions like Granville? I'm going to say what I said. Any time that anybody puts themselves in an extreme situation, there is a possibility that they can be on the far end of the spectrum where they are like Poppy is saying, where he feels most incels or a majority of incels are not, uh, don't come on here and don't speak and they keep to themselves. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. But then there's another- So correct your statement. So correct your statement. Another level and another end of the extreme where that symptom of being an incel can uh, elevate to another level where you- Okay, so then correct your statement then, right? You're talking about different circumstances. So your statement was incorrect that it's not fair to label incels as uh, uh, store shooters, right? The problem is, unlike, unlike Poppy here, you came in here because you felt some type of way about what About attacking men. Yes. No, we weren't attack. We weren't attacking men because we weren't talking about men. We were talking about incels. But bro, okay. that's what. No, it's the in- it's the inaccurate that's labeling. What like that's what I'm talking about. What I'm telling you is that I am projecting consistency for you, I mean, bro. That's I mean, all I'm doing. You don't have I mean, to project bro. consistency with me. I meant bro. what I said. You, you okay, then not. tell then tell Granville that, that if you meant it, tell him that. So here's 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 what it is. Granville admitted that there is a percentage, whether it be small, incels who can get to that level. Right, he said he's not a part a of that. Group. Yeah, a possibility of a percentage of, like you said, the ones that Daryl brought up. Where you said that's incel, but that is an extreme minority, right? So if we, if we, if there, if if Poppy concedes that point, right, and he's saying he's not that demographic, then she doesn't need to say that to him because he's saying he's not that demographic of incel. He's saying that there's levels to it. DJ, can I ask you a question? You yeah. say that like you you were going off of what uh, Granville was saying that it's an extreme minority, right? Yeah. So if it's a if it if it's an extreme minority that will actually do something drastic and toxic, right? Like mm-hmm. like something like like you said, shoot up a store. Then if it's an extreme minority, is it fair to say that it's fair to label people who shoot up stores as incels? If it's, it's an extreme minority, is that fair? Bro, bro. Well, yes, because you know what. People that shoot up stores is an extreme minority, right? Shootings, those mass shootings, Buffalo, Dollar Tree, that doesn't happen as much as us shooting and killing it around the way, right? So, yes, because that is an extreme minority, by nature of that, the incels could fit that group because it's also an extreme minority, the ones that Granville pointed out. Uh, okay, may but I'm saying like the extreme minority of the incels. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait hold on. We're talking about... Dark, but dark lake, hold on. Yeah. Hemp to that, to that, to, yes, to what you said, just all right. The outlier, but yeah. that's that mass shooter can also he can also fit the mold for any other kind of person. They're exactly. Yeah. That, that, let's be real. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. And if you go back and look at it, most mass shooters were not virgins. That would not make them incels. Majority of them. My- I just wanna- <laughs> majority. Of them- hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let majority- me get a clarification point. Hold on, pop. You saying that? You have to be a virgin to be an incel. It's involuntary celibate, Hamp. Celibate, involuntary what, celibate. celibate. I thought. So wait, let me it's just clarify. Voluntary. Celibate, is, celibate is after sex, right? Is abstinence before and, sex, or is that semantics? But you're missing. You're missing the point. Involuntary celibate. Celibate. He's celibate because celibate. he has no other choice. 
No, listen, and this is this is where it gets. Granville, slow down. Because what does celibate? What's the definition? And then okay, will... celibate means celibate means you had sex and you stop. But this is where people get. This is where this is where people get it mixed up at. The word the term was not in cell at first. The term was in V cell at first. Mm -hmm. Okay. They shortened it down to in cell because it was easier to say. The V was the virgin part in it. That's what a lot of people don't know. A lot of people turn or throw around the incel term, but they don't actually know where it started. Mm -hmm. It's I N V C E L L. Mm -hmm. What was the, that's so the original term? I got you, but let me ask you a question. What was the point of shortening it, or did they change the definition based on who actually fit the mold? The problem they just shortened it, they just shortened it, they really just shortened it because it was easier to say incel. Really? That's the reason why people, yes. As crazy as it is, you can go look this up. Yeah, it just the sounds... original term for incels was instead of people saying NV cell, NV cell, NV cell. People got people weren't saying NV cell. They shortened it down to incel. A lot of people don't know that V is supposed to be there. So when you type incel, you're actually not saying the real term. The real term is I N V okay. uh, C E L L. So Granville, just to be, you would, you would. It's fair that my original estimation makes sense because celibacy is after you had sex you see what i'm saying correct that my, correct that was my lens you yeah yeah I mean? yeah a lot of people get that mixed up and i know i know a lot of people don't know the origin of the word yeah. and that missing v is a big part of it okay that, that missing v is a big part of it that, that's so you piece, have to though. yeah if yeah. i can see that then that 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 changes it in terms of having to be a virgin but if that's not it I think that the point I was articulating has more merit. No, it doesn't help. You didn't say hi. Respectfully. I, mean, I was on here earlier today, bro. Let's go again. <laughs> I got to say hi again. It's good. Hello. 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 I got to go off camera. I got to move my truck. I got to move my truck. All right, go move your truck, nigga. Before you go, if you don't mind. So, go ahead, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. Um, I want to make it clear. Um, what whatever granville opinion is is his own right he has yet to show us any stats that can actually substantiate his point nor dark lakes two mm -hmm. um daryl show me one incel that you know daryl have you I ever talked i got you oh, hold on, hold on granville. Go ahead. Let, let, let him let him let him rock it out a little bit go ahead um and i'm quoting directly from the united states secret service yeah i'm gonna move right now threat. but he just I'm quoting the united states secret service national threat assessment center and i quote on November 2nd, 2018, a 40 year old gunman opened fire inside Hot Yoga, Tallahassee, Florida, which is a um, which is a yoga studio. And he ended up deleting two women, injuring four before sub deleting himself. According to, to the fucking detectives, the attacker was motivated to carry out violence by his inability to develop or maintain relationships with women along with his perception of women's societal power over men end quote so and again when we talk about what's really going on out here it was four different attacks in that city alone right the tallahassee police department is calling this misogynistic extremism so when you actually go and we can look at the reports we can look at the reports from all 50 states we can look at all um all the local um, reports this is not nothing that's just small right now to Granville point to Dark Lake point to um um uh, uh, fantastic point I'm pretty sure he's gonna make it might not be these men on the panel, but to undermine it without actually bringing up any stats or any data, just because you have an opinion is extremely dangerous not to not just to yourselves but to all the women around you and if you have any daughters like I do it's dangerous to them as well because again you guys will sit up here and say well all these men don't exist and then we can bring up cases in every single state in every community black and white. Are we going to just say what well, they make up a small percentage? Well, they make up enough percentage because in one of those um situations, Hamp, one man took out ten women. Ten. Okay. The situation okay. I just talked about. And there's no ooh, way to determine how many incels live in a city. Gentlemen, listen. Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry. I'm just wondering. I'm just. I'm just. This. This. This is what I'm getting concerned about. So if he's reading from a report and they're likening the the behavior in the person to this demographic of people. Our response is just windmill, windmill, wind. Like, are we going to consider what's being said there? Or no, no. You got to get me off. Sorry, sorry. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off because it's oh, no, not. My bad, it's my not, bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean yeah, to do that. Because y'all got to chill with that shit. 
I don't understand it. It, it like breaks up the com. It, it makes me feel like, and I'm saying feel like we don't give a fuck what the up here person is saying to us. If we just cutting people off less than right, like I don't understand the substance of a conversation at that point. That's that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not coming at y'all. I'm just looking at the space. How we don't listen enough to let a nigga finish a sentence. My bad. I, now I'm fucking windmilling. Y'all gonna got me windmilling. What so, I, no, I thought you was asking a question. My bad. Sorry. Well, kind of, but I, I just wanted to finish the question. That's all. Um, yeah, my bad. Good. It's all good. Um. So what I want to do? Let's get Mr. Fantastic because he just got up here, and then um Dark Lake can respond as well to what Daryl was articulating. Good. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. Now again, this is this is dangerous. What Daryl's doing, and extremely dangerous because again, you're using the the minority of the minority to represent the major majority. Again, just like you say, you have one case and one instance. There are several instances of men that have absolutely no problem with dealing with women that do most of the killings. The men that don't, are not in cells do most of the killings, even mass killings. Okay, that's the facts. And this this idea again, I say that women are in danger is a is a false narrative. By all metrics, by all numbers, men get killed the most. Men delete themselves the most men die the most by four times in every way shape form or fashion so even if you want to bring up the the minority like hamp said mass shootings are minorities major minorities in, in killings okay you cannot say then therefore and then too like you said hamp what i was and i was saying this two two um uh what were you saying what what what, what was the term i'm trying to think of but two my, two minorities of people, right? Mm -hmm. Just because this this is a small group of people, and this small group of people, hemp, they can never intersect whatsoever. So you can't just say because they're a, a minority, a major minority, and then mass shooters are a major minority that somehow the majority of major mass shooters are incels. That doesn't correlate. Correlating causation does not. You know what I'm saying? Those two can never. They even though they may, but they're never going to meet paths on a, a, a major part. Just from a you're mathematical, saying, you're saying because both are so small, yes, the likelihood that the both smalls equal each yes. other equally wouldn't yes. make sense. It's, yeah, it's a mathematical anomaly. You're right? saying there's too many other reasons why people would mass shoot. Yes, and since yes. incel is so small, that's yes. that's unlikely that it's going to be the the biggest reason why people. Yeah, it's, it's 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 highly improbable and almost impossible mathematically. For yeah. that small a group of people to represent the majority of another small group of people, so even saying, if it's small, yeah. Yes. Okay. And then All furthermore, right. like you said, he's sense. only focusing on that. But notice how the FBI and the CIA. This is why you have to understand politics and and narratives and what they're trying to push. They've not said anything about the the high rise, which would be extremely high because you know, um, T people, transgender people, make up a very very small, less than one percent of the population. Yet over the last three major mass shootings, we had transgender people involved. And what did what did the CIA have to say about that? Can Daryl read us that what the CIA's opinion was on the transgender people? Of course not, because they don't want to go down that that um, narrative and they don't want to go against that because it's political. OK, so, again, this thing of where incels are where, again, incel is one of the most mis misused terms. And it's, it's pretty much a shaming tactic for men that disagree with women or have anything to say when it comes to women. Because again, like you said, at the end of the day, hemp, the, the percentage of men is just not getting no vagina, bro. I say that may be that twenty percent we're talking about, and that's of all races. To and and incels mean he can't even buy it, hemp. Not only like this dude is so hideous, this dude is so what's his name? He goes to you know he goes to try and buy some pussy, and she like, nah, you know what? I'm good, bro. Keep your money. So the misunderstanding and purposeful overuse and misuse of this term is just something again to shame men. And anytime men um, may not be, you know, the the tallest, handsomest, most charismatic, now he's an incel, right? Or or the or the riches, he's an incel because now women can just use that as a reason for them being the same thing they're claiming about men doing. Um, you know, women don't have personalities. Women are socially awkward. All these different things, is, and so so on and so forth too. Women um, have have like I don't even know what's the times pass of um, antidepressants and taking you know type of mental medicines and stuff like this too. So again, man, it's just a whole bunch of things just to where you come in here and you point it at the man and you say it's a men problem when again we already know it's too small of a um community for it to be that big of an issue and and, and that even be like talked about like that for real. What's the percentage um, of not having sex? What's that percentage can, again? Um, they, um, I... So they said right now, so um sis, so what they said now um in a poll study 
asking dudes, I think they say from 18 to, I want to say 29 or 30, it's 30% 30 of the people that's polled. So that means at the highest of the highest rate, right, will be 30% if we gave that. Let's say plus or minus five. So that still means, yeah, yeah, not having sex, not having sex. Okay, okay. That's, that's nice. that, are, that are not having sex. And that's what they asked men the question, and they said, 30, I think it's like something like 30% said they weren't having sex. So even if that's the case, sis, that means 70% still are. Yeah, and that's just a younger man. That's not counting the older dudes. Go ahead, dark. So is it the number growing? Or are they just not having sex? Why are they not having sex? Um, I oh. think. Uh, well, well, dark. I want to get dark lake and sis. I also think that stat came out during COVID as well. Um, you somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but if that stat came out during COVID, imagine what what type of catalyst the COVID would be for people not having sex. Also, but you all use that stat like it's drinking water though that the men aren't having sex and and they don't have we we have all the babies and all of the above so this is where i get confused okay well dark lake go ahead and we, we can read um, yeah i just want to say I'll, I'll just say something real quick thank you so much for having me on the show dj i didn't mean to interrupt you earlier i thought you was asking a question no i was oh, mostly mad at that. i was mostly mad at mr fantastic go ahead okay <laughs> Uh, um, I would say that, uh, you know, those studies that Daryl was reading, essentially, it's kind of problematic to me because there's no way to determine the percentage of incels that live within any given city, right? So even if there is a high influx of incels doing these crimes, there's no percentage that's present it to the public of oh these this is this many you know incels in this neighborhood and then they could then cross-reference that and then project uh, a percentage for us uh, something realistic that tells us what the growing number of incels are that are actually committing this which is why i agree with what uh granville said that it mo most certainly is probably going to be a very low percentage of incels that are actually committing these crimes okay um also too uh what daryl was talking about the fbi having the manosphere on a list right they see them as extremely dangerous i don't think that matters no offense to you daryl but i don't think that matters right because the thing is um what they are attributing the manosphere are just men who want to stabilize the family structure. The state and the government want has propaganda to keep women single so that they can have more tax dollars. So they can keep women in the workforce. I'm not saying women shouldn't be in the workforce. I'm just saying that there is an agenda to keep families destabilized. Okay? So when, when men speak out against that agenda, because the government has power, it labels these men manosphere or red pill. I'm not saying that there aren't extremists in these different groups. In every group, there are extremists, right? But I think, especially as black people, we need to learn how to read between the lines and understand when, when we're being played. The reason why the, the manosphere or men having their channels demonetized, whatever, and the FBI has them on the list, is because they're going against the narrative or the trap that they want you women to be in. Dark Lake revived. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much, Hap, for having me on. Peace out, everybody. See ya. Yo, um, what I, um, fantastic what you said on the part of, of them not wanting, they can't even buy, like, the pussy. That's, it's not that they can't buy it, they won't, because that's not the route they want to take. When you, when, um, when you talk to these people, it's more of a fear and anxiety mindset that they have. When it comes to the situation, I actually have an any any action with women. It's the anxiety and the mindset. They don't even want to get it that way. Because with a lot of incels, they romanticize the relationships, the interactions, the conversations and stuff with women. They romanticize it. It's never just a, a um, transactional exchange. They don't really want that. Can you tell us so I just wanted to clarify that. Can you tell us where that comes from, initiated from? It can be anything. Most people, most people in this situation are recluse. They really don't have a lot of friends. They're antisocial. They never really go out there to actually progress to have conversations or even start them. Like right. I'm talking about 
people, you know, like sometimes when you get that anxiety when you're doing something new or maybe learning something new at work and it feels like it's like the weight of the world is about to come down on you, you you're trying this new thing and you get that anxiety. Like maybe a little, you know, a little, a little cold sweat or something like that. Those things happen and they never try because when they try, when they even think about it, their mind gets to racing, they get to overthinking. So and that anxiety simple. and that hold, it stops them from doing. Is this happening since they were school age or? It can go back. It, it probably starts back at that time. It could be any, it could be anywhere, but more than likely, I would probably say from what I know of dealing with the community, it probably starts around like elementary, middle school. Yeah, any any real incel is going to start in young and childhood because, like I said, it's got to do with um, not having or being afraid and timid and not really developing social skills and then having the um, boy-girl dynamic, right? So, yeah, a lot of this stuff is going to start um, at an early age if, if a person truly is an incel. You don't, you don't become an incel as an adult. Right, right. Okay. And I would like to say this, too. I would like to say this, too. Believe it or not, there's a lot of women like this too. There's a lot of women like this. I know men and women like this in my group. In my group that I hang out with, that these people that I actually met up with, I would say probably out of my group, it probably leans 60, 40 in the group. So there's a lot of women out here with the same problem, with the same exact problem. Fem cells, fem cells are real. Fem cells. Again, y'all talk about men. Women are worse. A woman that don't have personality is worse than a man. Way worse. I was saying earlier that it's a generational thing because I put the stats out there that Bro. millenniums and Z's are not, um, they're not socializing like that, like back in the day. Can we read this super chat? Sure. All right. One time for striking it rich um, for the five, is that five euros? For the five year olds, people going to the government and FBI for the truth about what's the, what's the RP? Red are pill. They, oh, for, about the red pill. Are the same guys that trusted the science and got the vax. And cells want love, not sex. Shout out to the real pookie for the two dollars. How you retire from the twat. Mr. Me Too, shout out to you for the 557. The insult issues stem from men being taught to define their manhood by what a woman thinks. They feel less manly. Shout out to John the Baptist for the ten dollars. You drop Granville for Dave. Bring that man back. Shout out to the real Pookie with the two dollars. I smell homosexuals. <laughs> Shout out to Rock with the two dollars. Don't worry, I'll just trust the government. Nah. <laughs> Shout out to on Onikasu. Is that right? So for the two dollars, women don't really comprehend the process of incel. All right, well, come on here and educate us, Mr. Me Too. Shout out to you for the five fifty. Seven an incel defining what an incel is is not accepted by all. Interesting. Shout out to you uh, again, Rock, for the two dollars. Psychologists also say that some people are born. Wait, what? <laughs> Shout out to Sean Brewer for the two dollars. Who made up these BS terms? Curious, sound dumb as fuck. The dating pool roast reaction. Shout out to you for the five dollars. Nick Fuentes on Pearly Things channel is a rabid incel. We all have heard and seen them. Shout out to Rock again for the $2 in the wrong body. What? What are you talking about? Shout out to Rubble Rose for the $5. The truth is a modern man is too emotional. Every person has some form of shortcoming. Find your purpose. Go after it. All else aligns afterwards. The dating pool with the $5 says men kill men and men kill women, both killed by mostly men. Women are... Women are in dangerous spaces daily created by men. Fantastic is disingenuous. Uh, good job, Tay. CD with the 10 hours says, to fantastic point, black women inflict deadly violence on their children at far higher statistical rates than black men become murderous incels. But I bet Daryl ain't finna have that discussion no time soon. Rebel Rose with the 10 says, good point. Men can simply just buy pussy. Rebel, oh, excuse me. RBN was popping. But the 10 ball says, Rebel Rose, all men buy pussy in some shape or form. Most men have to spend money to get pussy. Married men spend the most money for exclusive access, even though women cheat at the same rate. 
striking it rich with the five pounds says the small percent of men that are incels are not actually angry with women but the fact they were lied to about the true hypergamous nature of women oh mac was popping like been a member for four months salute what up buzzing buzzing bird flip dozen dozen holla at your boy boy you thought your cousin wasn't uh-huh 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 no cupcake with the two dollars assist just throw your pantries at fantastic mm. i think that was panties but he said pantries <laughs> he said i don't, I don't <laughs> want no snacks i don't, I don't oh. want no i don't want no little debbies but um let me let me see let me see let me see let me see the growth from mr fantastic miss pause jesus christ brother, brother, brother. pause holy shit what's popping y'all how's everybody doing Daryl, fix your face, bro. <laughs> Pause, goddamn. Listen, that's how you say it, right? Fit, goddamn, right? I said it right, Mister Fantastic, right? Uh, goddamn, yeah, goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. Like, goddamn. Like, 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 like him. Like, okay, goddamn. You like goddamn. Goddamn. So, yeah. Mister Fantastic, based on what um Graham was saying, right? <laughs> Frozen <is> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you don't nothing slide, bro. Don't nothing slide. <laughs> Yo, so. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, based on Granville painting a picture on why incels don't pay, would you concede that as a as a um like a talking point, so to speak, like buying pussy? Because that's not really their reason. So do we You're need to throw that, that point out to say that they can't even buy it, or say they don't buy well, it at all? The point of buying it, that's not why they're there for it. Like that, that's not the issue. So buying isn't a isn't a um a, a solution. Well, if he if he said he's a member of a group, I have to take his word for it if he's actually there. But like I said, from my understanding is, um, I'm not that that is the only avenue they have in getting it. I guess you know what I'm saying. Brother, brother, brother. They, they can't they can't get it through brother, natural means. Brother, brother. <laughs> so just, are you gonna? I mean, so what you see? What I'm trying to understand. It, are you what conceding that point, Mister Fantastic? If he said they can't buy pussy, if they're not buying it at all, I guess yeah, I have to. If he's saying it. Okay, he, he, okay. He everybody, everybody give Mr. Classic a round of applause, man. Look at you conceding. <laughs> the growth. Cheryl said, fuck. The growth. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah, you see the growth in Mr. Fantastic? Brother, brother, brother. Hell yeah, and I see the hair too, man. It's looking good, bro. I was just about to I say, you got all of that under that, that velvet? Right. <laughs> you know, oh. it's velvet, baby, of course. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Let's, okay. um... Daryl, I want to make sure I feel like they said Daryl was doing X, Y, and Z. You want to get a chance to rebuttal? Then I'm going to get Aaron and, and Jeremiah and I'm going to bring uh, Granville back up. Be nice. I'll see you. Um, Aaron is new. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was going to speak to these bandits and they would have sent a whole bunch of stuff. But I would love to get the young man and hear uh, what the OG Aaron has to say. Okay. Um, I'm going to gather my research. Preparing. Mm -hmm. Aaron, what's popping? What's going on, DJ Hamp? Panel. Ladies, how we doing tonight? Good. Excellent. Well, thank you. Good, good, good. Just want to make sure you guys are all right. So when the numbers to me start looking really strange, I like to sort of play um, a, a game of analysis where I get real generous with the numbers. So they said it was around the COVID era is when they said that 30% of men aren't getting any. Let's say we cut that number in half to 15% of men. Current population of men in the United States, 142 million. 15% of that will be 21 million men. Let's cut that number in half because let's just say half of men who aren't getting any are doing so voluntarily. So half of 21 million men is, let's say, 10 million men. 10 million men are involuntary celibate. That means they're practicing, practicing celibacy uh, that, that is not the choice of their own. You said that the CIA is investigating a million people for potential heinous crimes that, involve, that, that identifies incels. That means one out of 10 are being investigated for a potential crime. 10% of a population is gonna get used to identify the remaining 90%. I wanna go over a couple of other numbers. We said 40% to 70% of the men that we see up here are incels. When I made the post that that doesn't jive with the with the gay math, well, if 25% of men are gay, 40 to 70% are incels, that means 
35 to 35 percent of men are actually getting it we haven't extrapolated out the married population yet i'm not sure what we're really doing but i will say this words do mean things and when you say incel that is a compound word of two short of two contractions involuntary celibacy that's it is there uh, is there a potential for them to be insane out of you know and do all these things sure i'm i'm i'm, I'm not going to argue that but i'm not going to sit here and label the entire population of men who simply are celibate through means that are not in their control i'm not going to indict them as being dangerous criminally minded or have the even the potential to be without any real factual data that proves it it's a dangerous and irresponsible thing to do and the numbers don't support it so you so you can you tell us what your definition of incel is oh, yes, theory. go ahead an involuntary man. celibate man Okay, so without the anger, without the so you're saying what we were talking about in terms of the results of people kind of tripping and going off and and from the trauma. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Not sure, a, right. So that's why we have modifiers and adjectives that we can attach to make those distinctions. Okay. But without confirming those ad, adjectives as being accurate to apply, you run the risk of making false indictments. When I look at the word incel, I'm looking at the word incel involuntary celibate nowhere in that word or the definition of involuntary or celibacy does it even mention anything about anger or emotional state that's something that we're imposing on the word now if you look at a case by case situation and you identify these traits then you can absolutely add those modifiers and adjectives as they apply but to make blanket applications uh, what I mean, that, 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 that's like what racism is about. It does that. All black people, because they're black, are a way. No, all black people are simply black. Well, Aaron, the actual initia initiation of the word started to identify singles struggling with social awkwardness. That's what the little white lady from Canada initiated the term from. Okay, but where does that indicate? anger or the propensity to be a dangerous person it doesn't, that just it, doesn't. It, it develops does. into a form of bitterness because of that that's what right and so there's a potential for bitterness to be born from that 100 mm -hmm. but have we confirmed that to be the case in every single circumstance no no that's why we said there's that. that's why we said there was different levels he was never saying that Aaron, nobody never said that. Aaron, nobody. Yeah, but he, but y'all are missing this point. He's not saying that you guys said it. He's saying again, we're we're talking about what's what's more common or what's the majority. The majority of that situation is not going to be that. It's still going to be the minority of people that have a propensity for violence because of bitterness or because of sadness or because of whatever. That's the point he's making. You guys, are, I'm not saying it's an overall point, but you guys are making a big a big contingent of your debate of your argument is that these men are violent. No, that no, you have nothing to prove that. No, and the, the data is not going to substantiate it. That's what he's saying. That's I, 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 I disagree. Just to clarify, we Do all we have numbers. Say that. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ron. So we all did not say that. <laughs> um, Daryl came did. up with his his Darryl, article. Daryl just disagreed because you're wrong. Oh, let's we hear. All it. did not say that though. Okay, well, let's say I'm addressing Daryl. We went by the definition, so I don't know what Aaron came up with. You know, it sounds good, but the definition well, says what it says. No other time is there any concern about a definition that we all get off Google. So I don't know. I don't. I'm well, not no, sure. No, I'm 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 reflecting back to the beginning of the show when Ham interviewed just the ladies, and I think that's what I'm referring to. We went by the right. definition. So, so I think who I think it was Mary. And maybe even you were no maybe it wasn't you i think it was mary and dana i believe it was it started with dana and then mary where they were where, where she attached bitterness and then anger right these attachments were absolutely the made definition attaches rage definition, and frustration. Right? the definition attaches rage and frustration towards women mm -hmm. and that's 
talk what? escape from. You're breaking up. I didn't hear it. No, I was being interrupted. I said the definition says rage and anger towards women. Okay. So that's what we were speaking of. So the the definition that Ro just read didn't say rage. It said having issues with. I said but it Ro, started. The, y'all have to. Y'all got to be clear. It started by the little white lady in Canada that said that's what it was, and then it moved into this current. It actually. That says. But yeah, y'all y'all finish. Y'all have our conversation. It says a member of an online community of young men who consider themselves unable to attract women sexually typically associated with views that are hostile toward women and men who are sexually active bitter and angry that before that's subjected though we did read that yeah. before i read that, that i read was, that, that earlier said before. No. no i read that earlier because i directly read from the united states secret service national assessment right and then we read that right so now um because I, whether it's we can look at it a lot of different ways, right? Because I think a lot of you guys are saying, well, how many of them harm women, right? But I'm looking at an article that is from, and make sure I have this directly here for you guys. The National Library of Medicine, right? This is a this is a website that's a part of the United States government. So first I use the FBI, the Secret Service, and now we can use the National Library of Medicine. And before I keep going, just for Aaron, I'll put it in the back chat. That way we can see the same thing at the same time. Once you get there, you will see that it's not just physical harm. It's also hate speech and terrorism, right? So again, without naming names, there have been people in this space that were once Manosphere Dons that had 13 or 14,000 different women go to a website called change.org, create a petition against this man to remove him from this space, right? And his channels permanently due to hate speech that was misogynistic that might be influencing his followers, right? Then those women actually got that done. Then they actually brought up cases, um, stalker cases, I mean, bro. So when you look up the actual stats, again, if you need me to actually read it from you again, I would hate to do it, but I put the video no, in the no, back of no, the right? No, 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 well, I'm gonna say this. First off, hate speech is not a thing. Hate speech is not exist. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, According let's, to the United States Secret Service, it is. To... No, it doesn't. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna say this again. Me... This hold, hold on, Aaron, just real quick, brother. Hate speech does not exist. Hate speech is a is is a term just along with phobia, homophobia, transphobia, so on and so forth. There is no such thing as hate speech in the United States of America. People have went to the trial for that, bro, and they and they've not established it. In other countries, hate speech exists to the point of where you can be locked up over just simply saying words. Hate speech is not not that in the Mr. United Fantastic. States. Fantastic. We're both content creators. If I look up hate speech and YouTube guidelines, are you telling me I won't find anything? I'm telling you that, and again, um, YouTube is not YouTube is its own personal ent entity, brother. It's not a legal system. So and when I just use so when I just use the FBI and the and, and the Secret Service, and they define it as hate speech, to that you say what? And I'm going to tell you again, that's that is not a legal fucking thing, bro. Is that you can't you can't We're be derailing? We're derailing. Oh, despite the question, despite, words, despite, words, despite if it's hate speech, speech this, despite if we want to like whatever we want to call it the women and the people are literally saying it's misogynistic terrorism and the fbi and the cia and all these Again. different individuals are literally saying that it is as well it has led to multiple different deaths on multiple no, it different occasions so again if you I mean if have one to i can put up the video and you can watch the secret service reporter who directly reports mm -hmm. to the president you're talk about basing it. you're basic you're ba again you're basing your your i'm you're, basing you're it off the, Hold on. the secret service reporter that reports again. to the president Again, I and I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say this again. You're you're not giving us stats. You're giving us individual instances, brother. You give us in, give us the number. Give us every the single number. thing that oh, I talked about is in the back chat. Every oh, single no, thing no, I'm gonna no, post no, in the back no, chat tonight. No, I can post it no, again. Let so this is what I'm asking. I mean, let me ask some more. Why are you asking for the stats if you don't want the stats? That's what I meant. So I'm telling you to voice the stats. And I'm saying this for a reason. I'm saying this for a reason because I know you can't do it. So I'm gonna ask you again. Give us the amount of you don't want to read it because you also can't do that. Give, us the, give us the amount of incel and killers and murderers, brother. Give it, give us the numbers. I, you can't do it because they don't exist. So I never I came here to argue about numbers. I came here to argue about the terrorism that they pose. You say I came here to argue about the terrorism that they pose. If you, you guys want to talk about are. the majority versus the not majority, then argue that point. I can't talk about the word stats, I can't talk about the numbers. terrorism. No, 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 no. I can't talk about the terrorism that they pose. There is no terrorism either. There's not so terrorism. why is the Secret Service saying that it is? 
The Secret Service says a whole lot of things. The Secret Service says there was such thing as, as Russian disinformation, brother. We no. found out it was a lie. You believe the Secret, Secret Service? No, no, no. no. Yeah, I do on this one. Yes, I do. Oh, cool. I oh do. So, you, so you choose what you believe and don't no, believe? No, based on the evidence that was shown, yes, I do. Now, Hat, no, if there's Hat, no evidence. If Hat wanted to show the video, if Hat wanted to the video where they, where they showed just four different murders that happened in one neighborhood in Florida alone, and all I'm, these different men were directly associated with influencers that were considered manosphere. So allegedly. again, no, again, no, no, they that's have, def that's definitely they have investigators. Like, they have investigators all throughout the country investigating this, not talking about it on YouTube, genuinely going out, figuring out why these women were hurt, why these men are actually like Elliot Roger. Elliot Roger, three hours before he actually stop saying that name. May, may I actually finish my fucking point without you, man? Interrupting. But stop Granville, saying that name, Granville, bro. Whatever. Go with that name, I, though. Granville, stop acting like whatever, bro. Stop acting like his, his channel gonna get taken down. Elliot Roger actually deleted fucking two women and harmed four others. And two hours before that, he made three videos, right? Saying okay. that thanks to um women not giving me vagina, I'm going to delete them. And he okay. also followed these other men in these different spaces, whether it was Rosa Tomasi, et cetera, et cetera. This is okay. proven. So the fact that y'all acting like there's no correlation, how, the fact, no, it's not. The fact that y'all acting like there's no correlation, despite the, the Secret Service, the fucking FBI, and everybody else telling you that there's this danger here. And you saying, no, it's not because it's not all men. It is you niggas are stupid. Okay, I can cool. see my time. All right, cool. So I'm gonna say it to you again. And the data's in the back. Read it, okay. niggas. The, the data, the data. There is no data there. Okay, I'm gonna okay, say it again. I'll, I'll drop there, it again. There, there, there are, there is no data because you cannot, you cannot <laughs> pin down and and definitely classify someone as an incel. Again, that is a political term that's used to motherfucking make up some motherfucking bullshit and sway media and sway the public, just like the Asian hate bill. You believe in the Asian crime hate, um bill too, brother? You know, the Asian crime bill was made up, and what we come to find out was that shit was a whole bunch of bullshit. And again, talking about what it's, I'm it's, talking about, which is well, again, men harming women. I have to analogize. I, did, I didn't interrupt you. So you did interrupt me. Yes, you no, did. Don't be disingenuous. You interrupted the fuck out of oh, me since I started. Like three That's why we're here. No, like you interrupted me. Don't be disingenuous. No need to be disingenuous. You interrupted the fuck out of me. You continue to speak, but don't just say shit that didn't fucking happen. I didn't say nothing for the last few minutes you talking. Like I said, don't be disingenuous. So like I'm saying again, and it's faster than the show fucking me, show me the show me the CIA's opinion of the last three major transgender mass shooters of children. Tell me that when you show me that paperwork, then I will take the incel bullshit on the same level. You, you this is why you're not having a decent you, you're having a disingenuous conversation because you keep talking about individual cases of incel and shit that the CIA is talking about, bro. CIA talking about and giving a report and an opinion on the speculation of the reason for a killing and a mass shooting does not equal statistics. It's their opinion. And especially when the CIA is controlled by, controlled by, I know you don't understand this because, you, you know, high level government, okay? When they're controlled by high level government and they have a narrative and political agenda to push, there are certain things that they're going to highlight and make extremely bad, just like, you know, all white man bad. But when the transgenders do something, it's going to absolutely not be talked about at all. So until you show me the numbers, don't tell me, keep telling me about no reports. Give me the solid numbers on the amount of <laughs> mass shooters that are in sales. There are, there is no data. There is no statistics. They're just you know individual what? reports. I got you. Pant. Now I can show you the type of terrorism that happened here, right? Now it's up to you, Hamp. Whether you want to play this, and I'm telling you right now, as you see, Chris Logic, she got 11,000 views. So this is a highly popular video for black women in this space. If you pull this up in the next two to three minutes, every single woman here is going to concede to my time. And I want to say a motherfucking thing. Right. Because, again, this type of terrorism happens every single day. But these men ignore it. Right. And if I brought it up, they're going to say well, girls being messy. No, I'm not. I hold men accountable. I want to talk. Let's show it. Let's stop the little um, back and forth games. Let's bring up the data and everything that I show, you can counter it. But I know it's not gonna happen. Well, again, well, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out with this. There is no data because again, correct. So in incels, incels Mine's don't in the back waiting. Green light, okay. whatever you ready, Ham. Okay. Incels, in incels, in incels don't make up enough for the population, and there's no way to confirm whether or not someone's a for sure guaranteed incel. Again, this is something that's being pushed propaganda to make men evil to make men just these brutes and these things and every woman should be scared to go out of her house i'm gonna say this again the facts the stats and the data say that men are killed more okay four times as much than women all right we're never going to live in a utopia where no one gets killed also talking about violence and terrorism 
women terrorize children, their own children, way more than fucking men do. So what are we talking about here, bro? We're not going to do this thing where we get up here and we point out and say paint men. It's just like men is just can't wait. You know, they're not getting no pussy, so they'll kill them. Brother, that's ridiculous. Okay? And, in, and even if it is for those men that do, it's the less than 1% that do it. We're talking about hundreds of millions of men, bro. Even if you had even if you had a million of them, bro, that's not even 1%. Or right at 1%. And that's not what's going on. Until you show me 1%, a, mil, a million killings, brother, what, what are we talking about here? It's not enough for it to even matter to make it a deal the way you're trying to make it. Mr. Fantasy. Yeah. How can you say that it's propaganda when the incels are the ones who are identifying themselves as incels? It's not propaganda that we're pushing on onto them because we're bitter. We have an issue with them there. You have one up here who's identifying as an incel. Yeah, but I'm also not identifying myself as a mad shooter like Daryl Payne. I didn't say that. That's the issue. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. Um, let me say this, Dana. Dana, this is the thing. Uh, the 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 problem, the issue is not those that self-identify and like um uh, Poppy Incel. I gotta call you this on your name, bro. <laughs> Granville. <laughs> Granville man. Shout out to Granville. What Granville is is saying is again helps my point, Dana. Are we going to look at the less than one percent of incels that's already a very small contingent itself, and then say that the majority of them make up the of all mass shootings, again, that's a mathematical impossibility. I'm not talking about the mass shooting portion of it. I'm I'm saying very specifically, you said that incels don't exist. That's propaganda that people push. No, no, no. No, I didn't say that. I never said they don't exist. I, I, that's not what I said. I okay. said that they're purposely labeling these men as that and pushing it as propaganda for political reasons. That's what I said. Me saying that, I, I never said they don't exist. Okay. That's not what I said. How about we let Aaron finish this conversation with Mr. Darrell? Yeah, I um, let me read these super chats. I guess the question though that I'm intrigued by Dana's question is: Is the CIA or like the news reports? Are they also ignoring the definition that that Darren? Oh, excuse me, Aaron had a uh, had articulated, and when we read it, it does say self-identified. So when they're calling these men incels in these reports. Is it because it's self-identification, therefore they're calling them incels? If that's a part of the definition, if, the if so, then Dana's point would make more make sense because they wouldn't be propagated; they would be self-identifying based on the definition itself. Right. Based on that definition, I read from the Oxford. I believe so, that they definitely are, undoubtedly. Because I wonder if they're if they're putting that title on them, Mr. Fantastic, or are they self-identifying as that Oxford definition stated? If so, then it wouldn't be propaganda, but it's still a very small number of people, which means they don't speak the major for the majority of incels, regardless. Yeah, but no, they, they, again, no ham. They, again, we you anybody that's ever dealt with, we're talking about CIA level, what's the name, bro? The the stuff that they say people do and they have it done. That's we. You, I'm not believing the right. CIA report. So you so you would agree that so everybody's just speculating. Yeah, it's all speculation. Yeah, you. How many times? How many times you ever seen a police report where they lied? Come on, you don't think the CIA has some of the worst trumped up things ever? Again, bro, they locked up people for certain things and, and it come out to be complete total lies. CIA told you, goddamn, Area 51 didn't exist. Goddamn, what y'all talking about, man? Okay. So the argument is they lying maybe so let's ignore the situations like individually i think it's like and let's, and, and let's not let's not look at what happens let's, let's not look at what happened with these men and what led them to actually harming these women right it's, let's ignore the fucking issue. hold on no. i think somebody's no. speaking i'm trying to speak all, all right, right well sorry. just real quick i want to clarify for y'all don't say no more i'm not privy to all the names that that can be flaggable but let's not just let's steer away from them if they even come close remotely i've been right? here for five years i definitely these men are lying to you if, if there's a name that was flaggable i definitely wouldn't use it they gaslight and because they don't want to hold these men accountable and act like well because i don't know about the, the argument about majority i don't give a shit about that what we're talking about is plenty of investigators who in my opinion who have far more investigative skills than all of us here have looked into this and directly correlated them back whether they self-identified or not if you belong to a certain group and I found out that, that you were a fucking Klansman uh, uh, crossed on your fucking chest, you don't have to call yourself a Klansman. You don't have to actually say it. I know what you are. Right. And again, let's say I don't call them incels, Ham. Let, let's throw it out the window. 
when they actually did it, right, Granville? Let's not use his name. When he did it, what what should we classify him as? Just a, a serial killer? No, he wasn't. He said what he was going to do. He said he hated women. It fell directly under what they said. These men who had a direct problem with women, those women didn't harm him, right, Tay? They didn't beat him up. They didn't reject him. He took his little pistol and went out there and harmed people who never even did anything to him. Why? Because of how other women made him feel. And to act like this hasn't happened repeatedly, despite us having news article after news article, saying what happened in all 50 states, it's, it's, it's extremely dangerous, especially to of us who have daughters. Let me read these real quick, y'all. And then, Aaron, you said you wanted to finish the dialogue with Daryl specifically. All right, yep. let's, let's, do, let's do a minute a minute 30 seconds 30 seconds and i want to hear what jeremiah and be nice had to say because they're a little bit younger too so their perspective could be a little different too like share subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most jc with the two thousand four, the jeremiah hairline fund y'all keep making him money bro i was gonna cut it but no nah, i keep paying him it's all good he need about a thousand dollars Striking it rich with a five pound says female dating strategy for fdr fds um are just as toxic if not more than incels but when a woman says kill all men we laugh it off as cute pound double standards sean brewer with the final says can we stop following white people made up terms it kind of make black people look just as crazy as them people just like homophobic no such things timothy with the two dollars says those articles are null and void Jim with the five says, incels are hostile towards women and men that are sexually active, aka black women want pookies and Ray Ray. Sound familiar? Mr. Me Too with the 557 says, so they took a 30-year-old word, changed it, and applied it to a group of men they are targeting for political reasons, and you running with it. Interesting. Hmm. Clean, clean D was popping with the two dollars says, ask if Daryl was raised by a single mom. No cupcake zone with the two dollars. Daryl is a plant, a stalker. We have proof. Siva sees his pals with the two dollars. What the fuck, Daryl? Your paperwork is for Canada, not the USA. Timothy Fair with the two dollars. Talk that talk, Mr. Fantastic. Michael M with the five dollars. Hey, black Israelites are listed as dangerous black identity extremists on the same FBI list that Daryl is quoting good thing there's no such thing as black israelites so i guess they missed that boat Stupid. carolina davis salute <laughs> no cupcakes on with the two dollars says i bet little little daryl what wears a dress while hey, I'd be. <laughs> i do <laughs> clean d with the two dollars the same fbi who killed off the black panthers canary in the coal mine with the 14 canadian People like Daryl are dangerous. In Canada, we actually have hate speech laws and you can do jail time for offending people. The U.S. has the First Amendment and you will lose it because of men like DL. Hate speech don't exist. Canary, talk to um, uh, Fantastic. I can see my time. All right, Aaron, let's do it. What? No, he was saying it don't exist. So what Canary was saying was, I guess, moot point. And consequential. The US. Yeah. Go ahead, um, Aaron. In the interest of efficiency, can you give me a couple of numbers? I'm not interested in numbers. I, I don't argue in numbers. That's not how I make my um, argument, sir. But you can make your argument in numbers. Oh, I make my argument in numbers. I was never arguing in numbers. I was talking about the danger of the manosphere, right? The, the manosphere is dangerous because it was founded in anti-woman hate, right? Individuals and networks within the manosphere have expressed violent beliefs um, against women, right? Even on Hemp on Show. I heard somebody say women come um, can get if a man is not getting submission. I think they use the, the term corporal punishment. And I googled that word. I found out that flogging and all these other different things fall. I wouldn't want my daughter being corporally punishment by her husband if she don't make him coffee or she don't give him sex because she don't feel like it. I mean, and that's just me being very nice. The thing I put in the back chat for the ladies, watch it. Watch what some of these men say about how uh, uh, um, women, black women being great, black women in assault. Watch it. Watch some of these men who they deem as menace for leaders say, I'll deck a black bitch in the face. But but right? but Daryl, is is incel and manosphere all mutually exclusive? When it comes to these investigations, that is correct. Again, that's Those, why everything that I'm saying Hep, is based on the fact that the Secret Service is investigating the manosphere and the incel threats that they have deemed men, uh, uh, misogynistic extremism. Misogynistic extremism. I mean, Hep, if it wasn't this big of a deal, right, why would they put people 
pull them off murder cases, et cetera, et cetera, to put them on this. This is growing because it's not just about this space. It's the mentality. It's the mentality that spreads throughout the country. And this black women knows this are black women know this already. They know about the dangers out there. Right. I can ask every single one of them. And I never talked to them once. Ask them if they had to make sure that they dress a certain type of way because men out here might be dangerous to them. They know about the dangers out here already. It's the men who claim to be our leaders, the black men who ignore it and they pay the price every single time. I can see that. Wait, 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 Mr. Fantastic. You did it to me once. I can't lie. You can't. No, no, no. So, Mr. Darrell. It, you, you just said you're incapable of answering one of my questions. So it's kind of... Uh, I said I would uh, not argue. I didn't say I was incapable. I don't argue in the stats that you're trying to bring you choose, up. You, 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 you choose not to answer a question. Correct. All right. So since you choose not to answer a question, there's really no point in having the debate because already you're beginning... that. that that's you're, you're focusing the debate to, towards your behalf by eliminating a very specific set of data that for one reason or another, you're choosing not to provide. All right. You can so, present it to the audience. Not to wait, me. wait. Now, now, if, listen, do you have any manners? You're correct, sir. Okay. Thank you. So if you're choosing not to answer specific questions that are designed to extrapolate data that we can actually look at and analyze so that we can drill down to some truth, then I'm going to, I can only sit here and look at everything you say is an espousal of talking points from places that are in chats in the you know in, play, in the back chat and links that I'd have to read and research, which is not efficient for the show. It's not efficient for the conversation. Numbers have a good they they have, they do a good job at focusing things down to very finite points, so we can drill down to truth very very quickly. All right. Um, without that. Everything you say, you can't. You you have to you have to appraise things. Numbers are very important. That's why we use numbers to to judge a currency system. That's why we use numbers in the census. Numbers are extremely important. And if you're going to sit here and exclude numbers from the fact from 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 your argument, then you can argue one single case, the fact that it exists, and prop up your entire argument on that one case. But it holds no validity in the grand scheme of things because it falls in that one category that we all hate and that's the sum category what i'm asking you is for a majority or minority that's a rule of the platform which brings in numbers you got to fall above or below 50 percent. if you're not willing to ask answer those questions then i'll concede your time um again to me everything you just said was basically banded babble and, and and that rhetoric what is banded babble what you just did you didn't actually break down what I said. You, you you literally did not address the dangers towards the women. So I ask you now: Is that like, are you concerned about the women of the black community? Do you do you like do you care about the fact that the FBI and white men see them as a threat, but you don't? When did I say that? You're failing to address it. Was you saying it to me? You're failing to use numbers completely. No, no, no. I didn't fail to use numbers own. as you uh, as you said earlier, sir. Make sure you correct yourself, Aaron. I chose not to. I said my point wasn't about numbers, right? And again, I did use numbers. I used the 50 states. The violence I talked about, it happened in all 50 states. That was a number. What I don't want to do is back up stats with stats with stats with stats. Again, now if Hank want to bring up the data and we actually pull it up, and, and I'll invite Aaron, you can come to my show and I'll invite you and we can pull up stats and I'll show you everything. What? But we're not doing it tonight. Hold on, I got you, Aaron. So the thing is, I brought the violence. I started off with the violence. I read verbatim from a national assessment from the Secret Service. What data have you directly read from this evening? Now I can see my time. I read. I just read some data, and I just read a whole bunch. And where of is it from? Where is it from? Wait, and where is it from, wait. sir? And where is it from? I just read a link that you opened. But here, here, here's the point I'm making. The discussion opened with me asking you a question. You can't swing the power of the debate to your side after refusing to answer the question and then say, I'm the one that's, that's, that's failing at the debate. To question. Wait, I refuse you, to frame I, I was it going as to you ask asked you a me question. To. I was going to ask, I was going to ask you a question that you don't even know what it was. Just because it involved numbers, you immediately refused to answer the question, which means you've conceded the debate. You haven't even let, you haven't even let the conversation open. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can I, say something? I can't, I can't just, do just, it. That shit, yeah, just, that shit just real quick. Me. Yeah, just just real quick. I'm, I'm gonna say this again. I really want to get the oh, young oh, boys in. 
over the last over the last um major just just go back this this is the numbers right more men and children have been killed than women in the than in most of the major mass shootings bro again that rhetoric you're talking about black women and all this stuff bro no again i'm gonna say it again for like the 37th time men are killed at four times the rate as women are that include that's included in mass shootings bro okay in that 56 50 state shit you're saying is definitely a lie you're not going to show me anything to where you have 50 data 50 states where there's been an incel incident in every 50 states i could put money on that fam so that's, far that's i'm the only man that's read directly from anything tonight i can see my speculation time. speculation again so speculation brother the, because i gave i gave I, I i literally quoted and i said fact, directly where it came from and i put in the back chat i'm not here to fact, have these bullshit conversations yeah. with y'all y'all talk like children the matter so the fact of the matter that you're using an inflammatory term okay <sighs> to label a, a number of men for political reasons, which you keep- I'm using the term that's in the yourself. study. The you Secret Service used the term in the same shit over and over. I don't Ham, know if we- Ham, Ham, can I ask you a question? How am I using inflammatory terms if the study by the Secret Service says in sales, wouldn't it be, um like, wouldn't it be within my integrity to use the, the term that's within the study? Well, the study yeah, says in sale terrorism. Well, the word incel is on deck today, so I don't know. That wouldn't count. That's that's the subject. But I, if you're talking about other terms, maybe I missed them. I think one thing, Daryl, to put the entire manosphere in this in that place, I think that that's inflammatory to just put the whole manosphere in that one bag. Then that's something I have to buy on because I mean it, and they are dangerous. It is what it is. And I'm that, trying to decide that would be what story right there. Yeah. That's all. But what percentage are you talking about of the manosphere? Enough that create a danger to my daughter. That much. Let me ask a question. So uh, let, so, me ask, let me ask ask a question man. to the two ladies. Um, be nice and Jeremiah, a little bit younger, may they have some insight. Um, have you guys did you guys see a change at all outside? um in men with the influx of some of the manosphere um uh, uh um influence yeah definitely um not you first the ladies okay. first real quick about yeah. it. it's all good but uh, you're talking about post pre and post pandemic right is that what we're talking about i would say so i think it was started probably post pandemic right or yeah. right during i say during the pandemic maybe I, in my personal experience, it's been an increase. And I think it's because um, everybody had to kind of get used to being face to face again. But the people who were afraid to approach people in person, they took the comfort behind the keyboards and behind the screens. And I think that's when they found the community or they found other places of support to go to and rally and that supported the negative connotation of the incel in my opinion okay what you think dana i think tay um put it perfectly that's that's been my experience as well um that and all this is still very new to be quite honest with you but a lot of these places or uh, a lot of these people and, and men and these opinions and things like that they didn't exist until very recently and um it it's well if they did exist they were in the shadows somewhere but um again no like, you know, we, we, we were we were where y'all are right now i'm still talking, I'm still talking. publicly publicly i'm still talking sorry you got it thanks i'll take it um so that has been my experience that there, there has been an increase from what I've seen and what I've observed. Hmm. Okay. That's something to 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 consider, even though it's anecdotal. Go ahead, be nice. So your question was since like the manosphere and everything, has there been an influx of incels in particular? Well, just in terms of men, you know, the point of the manosphere, like feeling themselves not taking that shit on the chin pause from women um etc cetera, etc cetera. and and perhaps incel because if men are staying away from women because the the benefits don't outweigh the costs right which is what you guys taught me be nice you guys age group 
um then does it does that make sense can you frame it as a question so i can um, like answer it what was the question i asked you tay uh, so what was the effect or do, did i think the pre and post pandemic in cell influx or did the pandemic have an impact on the influx of the incel correct yeah, yeah i mean have you seen a change in men a bit of how they treat talk see women from the influx of some of the influence of some of the bigger manosphere creators influx of incels because the benefits don't, don't outweigh the cost is there more sustain disdain for women right men not taking women's shit etc etc not wanting to provide and protect i mean just all the things that we hear the things that when i was talking to y'all be nice that's why i wanted to ask you guys this yeah pretty, pretty much uh yeah there's been an influx of people kind of opening their eyes i wouldn't really call it incel behavior okay but i think it's more self-preserving behavior because before we did look at women as kind of like um angels in a sort of way or like they couldn't do wrong like pedestalized um, yeah we pedestalized them so as soon as i guess the manosphere and stuff came out mm -hmm. people started talking to women like normal people and then once they saw that that's when people started asking questions of women and actually getting into more of their mindset mm -hmm. and then once that happened that kind of messed things up because the mindset wasn't it didn't seem good to the outside okay um so you think that part in terms of you guys kind of understanding okay what's the actual value here is being mischaracterized as incel or misogyny etc yeah, yeah you yeah, think I'm it's sure. more of that than actual incel behavior and misogyny yeah okay did you, you was i clear you think it's more mischaracterization than actual yeah, yeah yeah it's a mischaracterization okay more than actual okay jeremiah what you think um what i was gonna say kind of fell in line with what mr fantastic brought up okay i think it was a point of um it's more so that the kids like the children and stuff like that are more affected by things and someone else on the panel said that some incels i think i think it was also mr fantastic who said uh poppy incel <clears throat> that it starts off younger so if a man's gonna be an incel we have to look at what's happening in the home and who's he's influenced by who's he's around I don't think this is a, I don't think this is an immediate problem. Like with someone, I think it was Dana who said, um, this is like post or pre pandemic type of thing. I think this is a multi decade type of issue. So if we're going to, like, you know, figure out like how to find a solution, we got to, again, go back, back to the single, um, oh, sorry, the double parent home and stuff like that, two parent household and stuff like that. And then, uh, like just figure out like what is happening to these boys who are being um, raised by like single mothers or single fathers even i don't want to just put it all on the mothers but i think that's where it starts question what would you say about this right and it's not even necessarily devil's advocate just inquiry based on what you said mm -hmm. when we were growing up the people who knew you were smashing all the chicks were your boys and okay. then we would tout each other if you if you was if you was having sex with a lot of women the women kind i guess they know but you're not telling them yo i just fucked sharonda now i'm at your house the next day right so if a man becomes recluse right because i think when when men when people start having sex their mm -hmm. peers i i would i arguably have the most influence at that point when you become a teenager and things of that nature yeah. so who put men in this space is it the mom that raised them or the men around them um again i think this is multi um decade so we got to look back to um like there was a like how you said you were outside more my generation probably isn't on that like we were coddled the most i think if you go back to like from gen from the silent generation all the way to gen z or gen you can Alpha, assess male culture right so you can yeah, assess male culture so do you agree that is male culture still like that where you get clout for smashing chicks uh more, yeah yeah i think so. within my fan group personally it is because we've always been on that like i said over the weekend we were just out clubbing prior to that we had some chicks over at my friend's uh, house that he anyway i don't want to get into it but at his house people are still hanging out but i just think nowadays it's just about like if you were coddled like someone else said you're not going to be like chasing skirts like that if you were like inside playing nintendo 
playing Nintendo the entire time and stuff like that. And if it doesn't start young, you're not going to catch it when you're like, what, 40, all of a sudden, like, oh, now I want to go chase skirts and do all this stuff. So it kind of has to be like a progression. Okay. I think that's a solid answer. I feel like you answered for the most part. Um, Let me read these Super Chats real quick. Give me a second. Oh, this one? No, this one. This one. Carolina Dave was popping with the $5. Yo, Daryl's said that he's holding men accountable but it sounds like he's a feminist who hates men that cause to me because aaron fantastic and granville are right hq with the two says we believe the fbi stats not mr fantastic's feelings <laughs> claim d with the two says misogyny versus incel i think we need to be clear mm -hmm. zo was popping with the five dollars says jeremiah and Dar and daryl Got twin headlines. Mr. Fantastic knew better than to wear that do rag in public. That's a fact. Hey, risky. I don't know why it didn't pop up. But I'm letting you know. If you see it, it say this might be risky. I sent 20 immediately. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 I'm scrolling. Um, Fantastic. Aaron looked like Uncle Phil. All right. Come on. Y'all gonna call him Uncle Phil every show. Come on. <laughs> HQ with the five dollars says, I don't think we are saying incels are all mass shooters. What is being said is that after reviewing the data, some shooters have an incel history. Zoe with the ten dollars says, Granville looked more light skinned sitting behind rain silhouettes on his windshield. Be nice is a creep with only half his face on camera the whole time. <laughs> that he always do that. Jay Speed wore a sleeveless bubble jacket yesterday. Yeah, he was wilding. Man, dirty for a Haitian ass nigga, man. Put, 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 him, put, put, put him in the fucking Ricky bed. Williams said, get Daryl out of here. Daryl saying he recouped himself. Let me get through these. Caesar's Palace with the two says, Hamp, does Daryl know Master C really similar? Nah. <laughs> Congo was popping. My brother with the 10 says, be nice. is very intelligent for his age and an active listener by default. Sean Brewer with the five dollars says, "Incel was the word coined by a queer woman that explains what is happening. Self-identifying means can't nobody else just call you that. You that just." HQ with the five dollars says, "The women is dealing with the contempt they hear every day for women in these spaces. I hear hell no every day. They buying cats." So there, you said you brought yourself back up. I got the email said right here. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Okay. All right. Well, man, it'll come through. We'll give it. A, we'll give it a couple minutes. It say your Google Play receipt, February 28th. That's you. This might be risky. <laughs> so all right. Yeah. yeah well, I say yeah. another one. It's yeah, all yeah. good. All right, Rick. Rick. He brought himself back. Rick. Um, hey, him, can you can you show this chair the screen just real real quick just to show something? Well, I didn't share earlier, Mr. Fantastic, when Daryl brought up his stats. So I want to be clean. What is that back there? Uh, mass shooting uh, is from Rockefeller Institute of the Government. Um, it's just mass shooting stats, right? So I'm just going to show you the the what goes on here to, to, to pretty much debunk a lot of shit he's talking about. Okay. Um, it I'm tells you right here again the majority of mass shootings took it place at, it's it's up it's no uncle rick said double it up put put put, oh, put, put him in the fucking bedroom get him out of here come on daryl got kicked for 20 minutes but i think he'll be back but the conversation was interesting it got slightly circular um but can you can you articulate what what it's saying uh yeah so basically it's giving you the, the the majority of places where mass shootings take place are the workplace and schools okay again like i said it, the one of the biggest and, and no one is saying women don't matter violence against women do not happen what i'm saying is there over emphasis on the violence against women when women suffer the least out of men and children women suffer the least and when you get up here and you start this feminist rhetoric as to where men are just out here attacking women when again even though men men kill everybody the most we know this okay it just is what it is we're never going to live in a perfect world where no one kills anyone but men kill women at kill men at four times the rate they kill women okay and and more children die on the equal level than women do especially we're talking about these mass shootings remember um hell um what's his name i can't think of his name but the crazy conspiracy white guy they ordered that man to pay a billion dollars for talking about that you know the school that elementary school Alex thing Jones. That you see yeah you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so so when we get up here and are we really saying that a whole school and this has happened several times 
And, like, and that's why I say you can't keep telling me about the CIA this and whatever. whatever. Well, where's the CIA's opinion on that? It's a whole community that's having an uptick. And what, like I say, the LGBT, specifically the trans community, make up a very, very small percent of the population. So for them, their numbers will actually scale much, much higher because, hell, it's, it's just probably as many trans people or less than there are will be classified as incels. You see what I'm saying? So from a mathematical standpoint, we should be focusing on them more so than, even than the incels because they're all the damage they're doing to the children. I understand. I see. No, I see what you're saying. You said that before. Um, I just when you said Sandy Hook, um, you know, unfortunately, in that case, it was a it was a man who did it. Yeah. Damn. Um. Hmm. I guess one thing I want to uh, OG was popping. One thing I want to mine out a little bit. Do we have to throw out everything and take the definition as literal? Is that how most definitions actually work? Is that how we define things usually? Or do we say if this is what this is, here's the byproduct of, of this. Do you guys agree just as a regular man when you get some cheeks in the morning and go out into the world? Do you feel less stressed? Do you feel a little bit more happy? Are you less pent up, etc.? If that's true, because I know it's true for me, um, what happens if you can't get it for an elongated period of time and, and you can't get it because you can't get it because you don't have access? Do you think that... Most of, oh, my bad, man. my bad. Well, just... Uh, and maybe I'm being long-winded. I apologize. But do you think that you can build up a level of disdain? Is that is that far-fetched or does that, does that make a level of sense? Uh, to answer your first part, I get my cheeks at night. Like I don't wake up to morning cheeks. I don't have a wife, sorry. <laughs> or am I not in a long-term relationship? I forgot to mention that. Yeah. But um, I think that you could build up a level of disdain. But I don't think, like, it has to It'll... be something that, like, triggers it. Like, it can't just be, like, you know, like, oh, man, I went four months of a dry spell. I think, like, maybe you'll be more prone to, like, lashing out on people, you know. But mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to, like, just immediately, like, flip a switch and just start, like, hating women or something like that. What about four years? I, I wouldn't know, bro. I don't know anyone who's like, you know, and I don't have data, so I don't data, so I don't know. Okay. Interesting. OG, what you think? Hey, how's everybody doing? Um good, very good, interesting good. conversation. Good. Uh, salute to everybody on the panel. I'm kind of uh agreeing with Aaron, Mr. Fantastic, and uh Granville. I came into this space. Nobody can say on this panel who knows me gives the manosphere more hell than I do on pushback. But one thing I have truly realized that the gripes was true. And see, there's a lot of levels to this. I guarantee if you connect the numbers with the meds that are given to boys at a very young age in school. Gotta move my truck, a lot. Go ahead. You good? Go ahead. Go ahead. My uh, bad. Uh, meds that are given to young boys in school, and you start tracking that and putting it on with the change of the conversation. See, these conversations when I was coming up was had at barbecues, uh, somewhere in the back with a group of men. Now we got new technology, and the women thinking what they're hearing is hate. No, it's what. The men are saying it's a problem. Uh, my generation came from the happy wife, happy home. But this new generation is not angry to go out there and hurt women. They just want women to listen to what they're saying because this is their voice, not my voice. And I have always disagreed with the language they use, but the message I have all, I have agreed with 99% of it because I've seen it all in my lifetime. And if you said something like that, then, hey, it is what it is. But I think when you start tying in, look, let me tell you something. I have had four of them in my house, right? And they come with a sheet saying they can't have a firearm. But let, let me tell you the, another part of that. Most of these guys who do come in here as incel, they're taking medication. And that medication makes them violent. And I, I could name off the list. If you look at the side effects, most of the medication that the people take makes 
them violent. So it's a lot of it's coming. And, 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 and another thing, I haven't seen nobody over the internet. And I'm just being honest. The guys that I hear talking in these spaces as the manosphere, I can tell you they're not in sales because in sales is just like, I'm gonna land that plane before I run out of gas and I guess you it won't crash. Um, I think Granville was correct. In sales don't get in spaces like this. Just don't. They are more into themselves. They're more like introverts or whatever, you know, term you want to lose. They don't talk to men or women. I haven't had four in my, my house. So the guys that you're hearing over this internet, I think a lot of women are just having a problem with guys. And this is something I had to find out myself because I came in throwing grenades in the manosphere. This is something I had to find. These guys are actually wanting to things to change. They want things to reset. And I think this, uh, this Kobe that came along has nothing to do with this. I think this has been going on a lot longer and I land a plane on that. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, I understand. I think, you know what I was kind of uh, looking at, OG? I hadn't heard, you know what? Maybe I was uh, projecting, maybe? I didn't hear a, none of that shit until COVID and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The first video I ever saw was um, Average at Best. You remember that one? God bless the dead with the lady. She has some kids and all that. I'm like, damn, this shit sound different. You know what I'm saying? And then as you tuned in, then I think I saw like the peeve. You know what I mean? But generally speaking, it, it was new to me. I guess that's where I was. That's where I kind of landed. You know what I mean? Um, but I think you're right. I think it started way before then. I think that's when shit got hot. You know what I'm saying? In terms of just at, you know, regular people. You know? Damn, man. I think what it is is um, I just want to black people, to black people export. Wait. Can I say something? I just think that uh, the reason why it kind of happened all it during uh, COVID is because black people seem like they have the most power influentially when it comes to media, at least not like direct control, but we have the most eyes on us. That's at least what it seems like it's looking like. Um, so I think maybe during that time, because we are black and because Kevin Samuels was black, this the eyes are more on it like more people when when a black face is on a screen on youtube it's gonna do better it just it just is so it's like why why you say that be nice not view wise right you, yeah you view can't wise. View. huh views yeah i've yeah. seen this boring motherfucker um this nigga makes sandwiches he put out a video it had a million views in in 60 seconds no i get what you're saying but i'm Mr. saying Beast in, some shit? in like social Beast media in general like if you look at Instagram, the videos that you look at and you're like, why does this even have like a hundred thousand likes? Mm -hmm. It's usually a black person. Like you, you know, know what? Use why B, it has to be likes. B, that's our algorithm, though. We look at black. That's people my point. Shit, that's why. No, that's but if you, but if you were, if you were in a white algorithm, them views, it's so many more of them. Like over here, especially. So I just, like, we just don't watch their videos. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, I think yeah. that's more so. Is it, it's like you only clicking on that, big. That big did, you, did you say hi to anybody? I mean, good, yeah. good morning, friends. Hey, hey, I hey, hope hey, you hey, guys hey, are doing hey, good. Hey, I hope hey, you guys hey, are doing hey, well. Good night, fatty. He's OG, nice. no, it's like 7 a.m. OG, <laughs> I see that you put your executive attire. So salute to you, sir, and salute to hey, Mr. Fantastic for pulling out the golden durag. That shit is wild. They they that. But salute, salute everybody. Cheeky, Coach Tay, Aaron, Dana, Jeremiah, and Miss Mr. Charles. Not you, Aaron. Not you. You're working too much. Yeah, I was just saying that it's like you clicking only on big booty woman on Instagram, and by the time you finish, you think that only woman with big booties on the planet is your algorithm. The white manosphere are the like if you call us cry babies. <laughs> <laughs> go to Joker, Common, go to Rolo Tomasi, go to Entrepreneurs and Cars. These people been doing this shit for a while. Like the first introduction that I had to something similar to this was a book that somebody bought me called The Manipulated Man by Esther Villar, a white woman in Argentina. Already talking about how woman use man, manipulate man, and men don't understand actually the, the the game that one plays so 
this has been going on for a while. You just catch up to us now because of Kevin Samuels, but this, this, there's nothing new. White yeah. women are, are white men are crying about the same problems that the black man is crying. It's the same shit. The only difference is that when the white community catches the flu, the the black community catches a pneumonia or something terrible like that. So they are been complaining about that shit for a while. So did you guys? I think you might have still been streaming, uh, Fatty Cheek. I don't know if you just got over here, but the qualifications for incel were far past just not having sex because you can't have sex there mm -hmm. was a, a particular level of disdain that was added into it um it was said that speculated that 70 percent of our chats are potentially in in cell it landed between 40 and 70 percent because the the level of vitriol that is shown for women is in cell-esque behavior like like fresh and fit and then they turn around and they follow the woman on on only fans and ig and all that it's performative you give me like all this vitriol that you think that these men have for woman put the pussy in front of them they're going all of this conversation is to get better for woman to understand woman better to be a better father to be a better husband to keep your bitch at the end of the day no matter the vitriol incels don't do nothing to nobody how many baby mamas are in cells creating? Zero. How many broken families are in cells creating? Zero. How many actually in cells are going around and breaking no man's hearts and turning them into a ain't shit bitch? I don't trust you because somebody broke my heart. If you can get woman, you are not part of the problem. Talk about the playboys. Talk about the guys that actually been boozling woman and fucking them. In cells are not a part of the problem. One in one million is going to go to your local school and do something egregious. But the reality is most incels are not radicalized like that. They just might be on Reddit talking shit just like feminists. And they get on the car and they kiss their whatever and they move along. That's the reality of it. So, so you saying that? So when, when, when the, when the, when the rhetoric is niggas ain't shit. Yes. Ladies, you would have to agree that you ain't talking about incels when you make that statement. Facts. What you yeah. got, what, ladies? What you think? Given what Fatty said, considering that, I would agree with that because, um, like I forgot who said it earlier, but um, he was saying that we're, we're too antisocial or we don't come, you know, it's not us in the chat. Basically, he was saying, I, I could see that they are outcasts. What you think? The hold on, hold on, Fat. Let me let me ask oh, you. Yes, 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 yes. What do you think? Uh, interesting point. Yeah, I think the same. I mean, I don't, I don't say things like niggas ain't shit to begin with. But um, who? if who, I don't. Are you never niggas ain't? Because Mike says you're lying. I believe you. I believe you. Stop the cap. Go ahead. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. We believe you. Stop the cap. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Um, but anyway, <laughs> to Fatty's point, yeah, no, I, I don't think. That people who use that uh, type of rhetoric are including in sales per se, but um, I do still think that there is a good majority of them that are here, and they just—I don't know. I don't Let know. Ask, about though. No, that, that, yeah, no, definitely. Let me ask you this question. Then we get cheeky in. Let me ask you this question. Do you think though that the men that are getting cheeks are likely to be in the chat talking shit? No. No. How come? I don't, so. I don't. I because they're always here with us. So when are they getting cheeks? <laughs> they're, they're literally always here. Every fucking. Oh, 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 here too. Ain't you here too? I ain't getting none either. <laughs> well, well, baby, speak for yourself, cause we getting pussy over here. Oh, not me. Don't talk for me. I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna I'm gonna get a video and paste Mr. Fantastic head. Fantastic yeah, most windmilling this nigga I know. Bullshit, y'all not about to put it. Y'all not Damn. about to put it. I'm Damn. not. Damn. And Aaron Mary. <laughs> so. Um, all right, so what you think about that, Tay? 
you think the niggas that's getting cheeks gonna be in the chat windmilling and shit? Yeah, for fun, to be honest. Yeah. So fatty, so you agree with fatty on that point where it's largely entertainment and, perf and performative? I would agree with that because they ain't got nothing else to do. Well, because they ain't getting no puss. Hmm. No, they bored. They just bored. They wanna. Bored just they where they can be heard or they want to just get their opinion out or maybe they had a bad day and they just want to vent let me ask you guys a yes or no question before cheeky get in do you guys find yourself watching youtube more than you watch regular tv at this point a hundred percent like almost like 95 percent. i think i can't even like, watch tv anymore because there's nothing to as soon as a commercial yeah. comes on i turn it off yeah so now football of course is the one exception everybody should make yeah, yeah. basketball is shit and piss but Football, I'm sexy. I'm sexy I, I don't I support CTE, bro. But legit, like I be having my, I was trying to play video games. I, I, I just can't do it. But I think I don't know. It might have been Fatty or Mr. Fantastic was on, and I'm listening to the shit. I'm barely watching it, like playing the game. I don't know. It just like you said, the interaction ain't the same. But I was yeah. The, the attention span, like I try to go to series again, and I can't even watch two episodes without going back to YouTube. It's very yeah. difficult now. Yeah. GBG General was popping. What's up, everybody on the panel? Um, where you been at, nigga? Huh? Where you been at? Getting some Listen, pussy. Man. You ain't come no. check on me. I ain't seen you about two weeks. My God, I'm here now. That's why I'm here. Uh, you know I'm getting old, nigga. Come check on me. You thirty something. You still wear your hat backwards. That means you're in good health. <laughs> yeah, but don't don't tell Lauren I got my hat backwards. She treat me like shit every time I try to look young. <laughs> man, as long as that hat backwards, I know your knees okay. I'm, I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> What's good though? What's good, man? I've been watching since you know they'll do what they'll do. So um, mm -hmm. the thing is, we're talking about an internet term that has pop been popularized within the couple of years right the reason why you're just now hearing about this term in the 20 2020s is because we're all on the internet at this point and the pandemic did help with that right most of these terms we're hearing are all internet terms that have become popularized so everyone's wanting to check like with, with anything that comes with that people want to expand the definition of what something means because now they got a hold of it right just like what is a simp nobody fucking knows but we all know what it is the same thing applies with incel. Incel stands for involuntary celibate. And for all intents and purposes, I'm an incel, right? I self-identify as an incel. No, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't shoot. Have a, a, again. So if we want to play the game of self-identification, can you get pussy? If you, wanted to? you refuse pussy. No, 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 no. You, no, you no, can no, get no. it. I never. Pussy I if never. You, you can. He refuses. He can never. get it. Now, ask the women online. They'll tell you. They'll let you know. Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> you get cheeks if you wanted to, asshole. Yeah. Never. Absolutely not. Damn, He's I lying. Could, I could never get any cheeks. And I self-identify. You remember, incel is about self-identifying. So mm -hmm. let's self-identify. Let's just do it for the sake of the idea or, or the argument. That we Are you a earth. trans incel? You identify as an incel? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> like you. <laughs> 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 look man in 2024 let me be whatever i want to be okay we don't want to fight the people okay so let me all right i'm self-identifying now does that mean that i'm automatically committing uh mass murders well, what does that mean all it means is i'm involuntarily celibate i'm not having sex not of my own volition we all keep right. it as simple as that cheeky have you ever been sexually frustrated no yeah. i've I've been, I've been, uh, I've been extremely sexually frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't, we can't, we don't ask me regular. No, no, no. Everything with me is extreme. This shit has been a whole thing. Well, at least, and even, even if, even if I were to ever have sex, I would never tell y'all no way. Anyway, I would never tell y'all. You know, you just keep it. Why not? Right. So that's one, that's one thing that we got to realize. It's an Damn. internet term. And then the second thing is also the men that you guys, that women, you know, like to use as their populace for men ain't shit or whatever the case or being in the chat room. The internet is is meant for the most extreme ideas and takes. If I if I don't remember, if I remember correctly, you and Q had a show about being a, a keyboard warrior. 
Yeah, Monday. The reason why you guys know that this is an idea is because of anonymity, right? So when we start trying to use internet things for actuality, you start messing up a little bit, right? Some things are true, right? There is obviously some tension between men and women. We don't know how to figure that out, which is why the online conversation has been going on for years now, all right? Mm -hmm. But this is not abnormal. And incel is a very small percentage of the population. It is a very small percentage. And not only that, the FBI investigation, because it has, there's not been any determination. They don't know how to determine besides looking at Reddit boards or incel.com. And again, the way they're figuring it out is through online things, which makes it even more nuanced. So this, this, the whole thing with the FBI investigation. Yes, that's true. They are investigating, but they don't know where, what are they, what have they found out? Tell, how about this? Tell us something that they found out and don't use Canada because nobody lives in Canada, right? Everything that this that has been posted, the links from Florida, the link from Daryl, have been in things outside the United States. FBI stands for Federal Bureau of Investigation, and that is specific to the United States. Don't try to say FBI this and then Canada that. That doesn't really make any sense to me on the logic. Hey. That's now true. that's one thing then the second thing bro tell give me something that they found what you mean don't say don't say i've been investigated but there's been absolutely no charges brought against the entire group damn that's fair yeah and even when i look at the watch list um somebody made a great point cheeky about other groups being on said watch list but i've never seen anything come from it Honestly, they're watching everybody like the glass, like uh, what is the 2001, the last seagull, whatever the thing was. Yeah, let me say, the thing say this. Can, I, can I say mm -hmm. something real quick again? Yeah, this is another thing that people use against the quote unquote manosphere FBI watch list, bro. You'll be surprised that they said they said it improperly, but the Hebrew Israelites were on the watch list, man. Again, you have Nation political, yeah, nation of Islam. You have political reasons and the fbi and cia are political entities bro they're, they're more political than they are legal all right you don't understand that i mean i don't know what to say i'm, I'm not saying they get everything wrong but a lot of stuff they do again is is politically charged so so to say and bring up and that and that was like i don't know how many years Jackson, you ain't you ain't gonna trick me by saying the same thing six times in a row you got me you know five times saying, you ain't gonna say it again God let me ask this question oh, let me ask this question fuck, why man. ain't nobody oh, hold on if, if they've been doing it they done been doing an investigation why ain't nobody been locked up you've been show me the man's oh, oh, nigga that got locked up show me the man's oh, nigga that got locked up you've been tricking the hell out of me i'm thinking you're gonna say something else you say the same profound shit every time you you talk god damn it show me the man's nigga that got locked up and y'all taught me how to say god damn and aaron i apologize let me bring granville back granville not in the back more of a yes aaron i apologize i just want to say like like since 2001 with the Patriot Act, every single one of you is getting watched. So wh when you say they are getting watched, now everybody getting watched. Just Google the wrong thing or click on the wrong button and they are going to look at yeah. you. Like it's just like every single group, you need to be a little bit careful because the, usually they have some left leaning tendencies. So they kind of going to cancel you if you're actually a little bit more conservative. But other than that, nobody's going around and knocking woman upside the head and doing something it's just internet talk that's what it is go ahead Aaron. i gotta i gotta watch donald go trump <laughs> <laughs> go ahead Aaron. Aaron i agree with muted. you Aaron. You're, you you're are muted, Aaron. Aaron. you're doing Aaron, great you're no, you, you, Aaron, you're muted Aaron. yeah check good okay um, so I would like to ask this question, and I know we try to stay away from anecdotal testimony, but I think it's really important because the data is the data. But what do the ladies feel today? Do they do you feel that incels have increased the threat level? Like, are you on DEFCON fuck the world because of incels? Like, I'm asking Tay and Dana. Now, since we have them on the panel, like what 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 is your intrinsic feeling about just the way you go through daily life? the impact that incels have on that they don't affect me a day to day it's not until we come here you know but on an on a regular basis they're a non-factor you know they don't affect right. me one way or the other but 
um, it's just annoying more than anything because they don't know when to shut the fuck up and they Bam. And, and you know say all kind of stupid shit for no reason just to get a reaction so it's it's more annoying but it doesn't impact my life whatsoever okay so you don't feel your safety's not jeopardized not at all okay. what is your what is your safety just jeopard so do you feel jeopardized in terms of safety at all when it comes to men yes yes not necessarily in sales because learning tonight it's they're the introverts but yes, as a woman, you have to be on guard all the time, right? Especially if you don't have a man, you have to be on guard because it's dangerous out here in but, general, not okay. just, you know, about but I'm the saying, I'm saying men wise, like, do you, what's your, what do you feel like when you're moving around? Like what, what, what threats do you observe and things of that nature? I like to always watch my surroundings and, you know, you can get snatched up at any moment. I can't go on a run without having some protection. I can't go on a walk by myself at a certain time of the day without being protected mm -hmm. because it, it's a real danger. It's a real danger. Women are really on guard every day. Yeah, I, I know I know what Fantastic is going to say. If you look at data, you are more probable to actually something happen to you as a man than as a woman. I know it feels like it for the most part. I know it feels like you need to be on guard and all that. But if you and Cheeky go outside the, the like the house in the middle of the night, it's more probable that something happened to Cheeky than it happened to you in in all of the West. Because again, what'd you say? That's insane. Because I'm the one that's unprotected. Right? Yeah, I, think, I think the way they feel is important. How is that insane? That like data. That's not insane. I think, I think it's important how they feel, though. Wait, I feel. Wait, wait, wait. I. We keep talking about some sort part of the community feeling like they are another person that they are actually not. That shit is ridiculous. I can feel like a unicorn if I can fly so, and I don't have I'm, a rainbow like a, a like I am not a unicorn, right? I'm so, with you. I'm with you. Fuck your feelings. I but, get it. I'm just saying the way. Go ahead, Tay. But Fadi, he was asking us if we felt safe. The question no, is, what I'm, yeah, the, the way they perceive the world okay. is it's important to me. The how they, how, you know. And you so, hold on, my feeling. so Tay, can I ask you a question? But I'm wrong for feeling that way, Mr. Fantastic. No, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 okay. Can I ask you a question? So I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong for your feelings because yeah. you know you're a woman, you're an individual. Okay, okay. Out, out of your feelings, what percentage of those have manifested into anything of real danger? Do you think? Mm, I would say about a fifteen percent. 15%. Okay. So even you would still agree. And I, I, I would, that's a, that's a fair assessment, realistic re assessment, right? So mm -hmm. even you would agree to the point of where you may feel this way. It's an 85% chance that it's just not. And mind you, Hey, everybody should have their head on a swivel when men and women included. Right. But like what we're saying though, is like, why, what makes you feel in danger? Is it just men in general? Is it aggressive men? Is it, is it, no, big just, all, you, yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just the aggressiveness, creepy stuff. Like, I, you know, it's, it's certain things that you have to keep in mind when you're operating. Like, don't pull up next to a white van and shit like that. Like, it's it's real live dangers out here. Like, y'all just acting it's like, candy. oh, it's just candy in the middle of the console. Day life and the things that I'm doing consciously to make sure I'm not. I'm keeping myself out of those situations. You see what I'm saying? No, that's not good. That's good. Like you say, prevention, good. prevention is the best best measure, right? But yeah, right. what, we're saying, what we're saying though is, like I said, when you when you and you're, you know, what I'm saying you, you live in, okay, and, and I don't think you've been kidnapped or, or what's the name. What we're saying is, most a lot of times, man, women have this the boogeyman shit, and it just he's never there. Not saying don't go out here, don't look over your shoulder, don't be with, but should you be paranoid like damn, um, you know, the ghetto boys, your mind playing tricks on you, you type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, the, paranoid. Just, just you perfect. should be vigilant. You should be vigilant, and you should be attentive and like really know what's up you can't yeah, i agree with all that yeah shit real out here it's kind of kind of being I, um i just i just want to close the question how much of that is driven by incels has it changed none, none. okay there you go thank yeah. you there you go serial killers are the most charismatic pussy getting motherfuckers on the planet let's be very honest about it like they lured people by being off trustworthy. It's not the incel that lives on the caves and the, like it's not like that. Most of the most of the time. That's, that's what I feel like that's one of the problems. Uh is kind of the 
I will call it like uh, infantilization of confidence, right? So I guess people look at confident people as if they're sometime, somehow better or like are, are just better in some way. But in reality, sometimes people who are extremely confident on the outside um, are good at masking their actual personality. So it's like what, when you're looking for confidence, you're also looking for a wall because as most men know confidence it's real kind of it's not really like it's not something that you can really measure because i mean it's it's only what you do and how you how other people perceive you so that that's that's my problem with it what do you mean by it's not real uh it's imaginary so like your confidence is only what you Think of yourself as it's not something like real so if i'm confident at um talking to people then i can be really good at talking to people in certain situations right i can be confident in certain situations but talking to people in general i'm not always going to be the best i can be good in some type of ways i can be confident in this certain exact way but that isn't incumbent of my actual confidence that's just one one area like even talking to women i can be confident at talking to women but talking to my boss i'm not confident got you no you didn't i just didn't want him to like get the plane crash you know effect well no that shit is backward though confident talking women not confident to your boss no i 99 of the time that shit worked all the way it can happen you can it, it's someone happen. Holding, yeah. someone that's holding your, your, your life your livelihood though that's the one thing no. like well you would be you saying you confident talking to women not confident to the boss but that wouldn't make sense because if you're working somewhere you tend to have more of a proficiency level and you were hired to do said job if you don't approach and talk to women on a daily that is going to be a taller task because you don't have the expertise mm, it depends well it depends I, I, I think it would depend. like saying some so y'all know i don't use some so what's more likely you talking to women every weekend or you doing a job every day which which place would you be more confident if you, we're going to go with the job but I, I, you I, think, huh? I think yeah i think the, the likely chance of you being confident talking to women and not talking to your boss is slow is slim but you know that just the it, it, idea all right it depends on the level of validation because one thing that you have to like these kids or these men being on thousands of days with women on their school every day seated literally next to them and they didn't develop these kids no matter the proximity so confidence usually has to do with validation i can be with billionaires and sit on the same room and i don't have no i don't want your validation but as soon as my dad comes inside of the room, now I'm kind of, because I don't want to say nothing that disappoints him, that makes him like, see what I'm saying? So I think on that situation with the woman and the boss, depends on who do you crave validation. If you crave validation of your boss, you're going to act some way. If you crave validation from woman, you are going to actually have difficulty to deal with them because of that. Confident. <laughs> okay, so I've never seen confidence in a conversation in terms of that. Maybe it's the type of business I conduct. But usually what happens when I hire salespeople, as, as an example, the more they get comfortable around the, and about the product, then you you hear and see their conversation be much more fluid, right? So I'm just looking at yeah. um, product or service, right? So if you're bought, you know, so maybe maybe that's my lens, you know what I mean? With experience comes comfortability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Real, real real quick just to kind of go back because i'm just looking more into the fbi right so this is coming from fox news media it says fbi documents associate internet internet slang like based and red pill with extremism if you know what based is mm -hmm. base guy if you don't know who little b is first of all go get you so if, if you if you don't know who little b is but you but you on the internet, you, you need to go yeah, do some other three, right? They're saying words uh, based in red pill with extremism, right? Again, the FBI 
the thing about the fbi is if you're under investigation it doesn't necessarily mean you did anything wrong they're just trying to figure things out that's the problem right i'm not saying there's not a problem with online misogyny or whatever y'all want to consider it right but these things that have nomenclature these things that have I, I, internet terms are so nuanced that they don't know what it means so being under investigation does not mean much to me or to people who understand how the internet works because no one knows what it is it is too it's too broad it's too it's too nuanced it's too much going on so anytime so anytime somebody start going, well, Intel's are being investigated or the manuscript is being investigated, ask them a simple question. What is it Intel and what have they found? That's the, the, the part. The part of being investigated has got to stop being talked about. Now we got to so, talk about what they found because it's, it's so ridiculous, bro. So they won't I, answer that question. They won't. Because that you, involves numbers. True. Uh, can I ask you how many people? cases? I'm sorry, Aaron. I apologize. No, no, no. You got it. That's all I want to say. Thanks. I was just asking incel for the most part is is an insult that people throw against men to shame them about not having sex is like for example we say you are a hoe which means you are a woman that gets a lot of dicks so incel is the opposite is you are is the new you are a virgin you get no hoes you are an incel that's all that is is an insult like we know that if you tell a woman that has a lot of bodies like she's going to feel some type of way you know that you are taking the man's sexual prowess is you is going to feel emasculated so for most people in cell is you get no bitches that's all that like every time i use it every time i see somebody use it usually is a woman saying you are an incel why are you talking about this da, 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 da. is you get no bitches because if you did you wouldn't be talking like that for most people is like that so patty you saying we women term it or we use the term to weaponize it against men that's just yes I was talking with a person very known on this place, shout out to her, no beef, and she said, you are an incel, you get no pussy, and I reply, and you get all the dicks, and she got upset, it's literally the opposite, you telling me that I get, get no pussy, so you actually emasculated me and trying to make me feel little, li like smaller than I am, and I turn it around on you, and I say it, and you fuck everybody. And she's going to be upset because it's the opposite. It's just a throwing weapon at this point. It's not something that people have empathy for. It's not something that people want to understand. Is the punching bag of this space. Let's blame the incels. When actually the people that are doing damage are the people that are fucking fucking. The people that are fucking fucking are the people that are making all the damage. Uh, no, for example. Not. No, 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 let me think about this. Think, well, think about this. One second. Let me tell you this. The people that get mo most aid on this manosphere shit is the me the MGTOW guys. Men going their own way. Men that literally said, I don't want to play the game anymore. I'm good. I'm going to focus on my hobbies and all that shit. You know who actually should get the most blame? The motherfucking pickup artists. They are the ones that are telling men and teaching them to swindle women out of their pennies. You are creating broken homes, sex. You are creating broken hearts. You are creating monsters. Incels, MGTOW men that are literally going their own way they are not breaking nothing because they are not participating on the game. It's like you blaming the last bench player that played one minute. Oh, we lost because of you. No, nah, motherfucker, we lost because LeBron James sucked. That's why we lost. He's not the last player. My like, motherfucker shot 30 times, and I'm the one that get the blame when I played one minute when we were losing by 10. That's not how it goes. There's there's multiple, the ex there's multiple we examples of this, like, with multiple words. Like, I feel like... Um, People, when they turn words into insults, they completely forget about the actual definition of these words. Uh, for instance, like sociopath, people use that a lot, but it's only like less, it's like 1% of the population. But I feel like ladies say it a lot about like either dudes they've dealt with in the past or like dudes are dealing with. And they say that people are sociopaths as if they can read and actually gauge the definition and or diagnose them as that but they can't they can't diagnose an incel that's an incel and you can't really diagnose a sociopath either okay can i real quick let me just jump in here real fast um so i don't i don't want us to be confused we're not saying that women are using i know patty i got your point and i i heard you but let's the conversation tonight was for us to explore the incel not mm. saying hey all y'all are incels so no, so let's back that up because that's not the conversation. The conversation is let's explore what it is, what does it mean, and 
you know, some people have self-identified as it. So okay. I have I have some understanding, but let's let's not. I feel like we're going backwards because you're saying, oh, well, women are just calling us. Using no, that. you don't care. Well, no, hold you don't, hold don't care. Hold on. That you don't, you don't uh, care. Say, hold on. Yeah, I got you, Fantasy. Say, women don't care about men they don't want to fuck. There's something called Bright Falls Law. A female of any species will never engage with a male if she doesn't benefit nothing from it. If she can exploit him sexually, financially, all of that. Women only care about men that they can use. If the incel is not a sim that is willing to actually open their wallet to put the money on her OnlyFans or something like that, you can explore those dudes because they are not on the market. Women pretend that they care, but incels are not like they are on the fringe way of on the fringe part of society. And men kind of sympathize, but don't give a fuck and say men up. And woman, for sure, if nobody wants to fuck you, you're not valuable to woman. End of the story. There's nothing so, you can do about that man. I'm on. sorry. For well, well, better or worse, has your perception changed? And that got questions to the ladies. Knowing well, what you know. Now. To, but I, now I'm confused because, again, now you you guys are saying that the incels are not here. That's that's what we're saying. No, they are here. Mostly. mostly the conversation was they're too introverted. They don't speak on these in these spaces. They don't show up. They're not. They're just not here. The people that are here are just people who want attention or performative, all that. Right? I thought I thought that's what we were saying. No, they but they are here. Yeah, but are here. let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. I mean, wait, 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 um, wait, wait, wait. We're not we're not exploring what she just said. Wait a minute. Yeah, what's this? Wait. Wait. Quick, Before we I, move to another topic, can we please just... Yeah, can I answer what she's... Just I think she's asking. Asking. You're asking, right, if... So you're saying that if people can identify as incels, but you're saying there's a problem with you classifying someone as an incel. Is that what you're saying? No. I'm to saying not calling people incels after we established that you guys for the most part were not incels for the most part we're not here we're not present on this platform i promise you i'll give you the all you fantastic yeah. no bro i'm going now goddamn Damn. Kate, you did you didn't but dana did just that dana say you niggas on here so you must not be getting no pussy you see what we talking mm -hmm. about so it's happening right in front of your face, <laughs> and you deny it. Let's get there. Hold on, this is what I'm saying. This is this is a lot of the time where the rhetoric and the the thing happens. Where it, bro, it's people that literally do it. I mean, I don't think you got to get pussy for several hours. Okay, most people don't last that long. Okay, so I can be on here, motherfucking, twenty three hours a day, and that one hour that I got left, deep in some cheeks. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's what I'm saying. The whole thing is. Like the main thing and just the dudes are talking about, man, it's an overly used and misused term on purpose, and it's the same tactic for men anytime they disagree with women. Just point blank period. Do incels what? exist? Yes, but do they exist to a point of where where to really, you know what I'm saying? To to especially black men classify a lot of black men as it? No. And even when uh, Granville was up here, he's telling you it's a very, very small community. So you can't say that a very, very small community. Some that's less than uh, for black dudes, I say not even 10%. No, you are, you are wrong. But you are wrong. Let's, you know, give, let's wrong. give them the benefit of the doubt without like wait, before wait, we get into the monologue. So that so can they answer the question as well? You, Aaron, give me just one second and I'll pass it to, to Dana because Fantastic said one thing. They, like you guys are people don't are not honest. It's like we come in here saying, How many hoes are on the panel and on the chat? No woman is going to raise her, and then you know a bunch of them are hoes. Incel is a shaming word. I'm not coming here and saying I have no cheeks for three years. I'm not going to say, oh, I, I can't get woman and woman don't give me attention. I'm going to lie about it. So there's a bunch of incels on this place. There's a bunch of bitches on this place. They are not going to self-report and say, I am dead because that's shameful. And they are not going to self-admit that they don't get no chicks or they get all the dicks. That's what it is. This place is full of people that don't, don't get pussy. Oh, I mean, like I mean, full I mean, of it. Can wait. Dana answer the question now? Can we can we please just nobody really dealt with what Tay was saying? And and the thing about it is hey, Tay, this is the problem that comes with internet terms. 
is you see how two people who are within the manosphere are both saying it's not this but it's this and how you got one inf information that intels wouldn't be up here because they're introverted all parts of it all of that is partly true right when you go to an intel space it's typically no video it is typically behind message boards like reddit or uh, you know messaging boards where you can't see their face because it provides that level of anonymity and they feel more confident that way a lot of incels do have that that you know recluse attitude and approach to life so the likely chance of them being on youtube or seeing them so frequently and them proclaiming to be an intel is very slim the same thing like for example if you look at uh uh what's the name of that show i think it's um it's some show on YouTube, but they did a show where an incel comes on and talks about his experience. And it's, it was on like one or two of them. They're not the most social people and they won't, they won't be showing their faces like that. Typically, it, right? When you, when you, it's most of this space came down, Cheeky. Most of channels on this space are came down. No cameras, no nothing. Most of it. But what, what I'm sure what we're talking about, Tay is talking about her interaction. She's not talking about the entire space. I'm sure she's not but online. Like, space, just make sure like most channels are came down. Nobody wants to come up. Right, but but, but Tay would part. know that because Tay is not internet girl. She's here because Hemp asked her to be here. And I'm, I'm sure that she looks and acts like a direct person just like Dana. These two women have no idea about internet culture because they don't care, right? So when we're saying other channels, then they're, they're not going to be aware. So when people come up here, right, Tay, when you see my face up here, I'm a, I'm an intel, but okay, just read between okay. the lines, okay? Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> so what? what, yeah. what, what Aaron, what? No, it's because like it's. I apologize. It's just for the conversation sake. Like, like, no, it's just fine. Like one percent of people come on panels. Ninety-nine percent of people stay on chats. You don't know these people. You have no idea who they are. One percent right. of us are actually here. What about the 99% of people that are behind Super Megazord 307? You don't know them. Okay. Okay. So how can you actually so, do an assessment of who they are if you don't know them at all? How much would how much is what people say matter? <clears throat> what does that mean? Well, when you're saying you can't get an assessment because you don't see them, but what about what they say in the chat or type? Can you get it? Is, is irrelevant because I know a lot of people that get a lot of pussy but they got very bad experiences so they talk shit about women left and right because there's their maybe mama there's their mama there's their sister and there are people that don't get nothing but are kind of a, have a LT view about women because the women around them are not mean like that so it depends on who actually is around you a lot of people get on this place because they got a broken heart they got divorced they lost their family all that but a lot of people come here from an LT environment it's just I'm curious I google pick up artists to get women he brought me here and I'm here to listen and to see what woman actually wants so I can get them. Yeah, but so, actually the data supports the data that the when we pull up the women and you have me take notes, yeah. it supports what Fatty's saying. So like mm -hmm. they don't one, they don't know what the definition is. You have um I don't want to get into names because I don't want to quote them specifically, but you have some women talking about, oh, an incel is a guy who tries to get women, but he's just not successful. And then you even corrected them. Well, he wouldn't technically be an incel because at least he's trying, he's just not, you know making he's not draining the threes pretty much but um yeah can dana yeah. answer my question oh go ahead I ask her again so now uh, has your perception changed for the better or worse based on the the night's conversation about you know about the way you perceive incels no my opinion hasn't changed at all because i'm going again my uh, I, I think that there was a misconception here that um, we feel or I feel that um, all men or all the men who even watch the show are incels or there's a, a majority of them. And that's not the case at all. I'm not saying that just because you're here and you watch our show every week that, that makes you an incel that you don't have shit else to do. I'm talking about a very specific, a very finite group of people who are constantly trolling us in the comments week after week and come here to do just that and not to actually listen or to have productive conversation or any sort of effective communication. That group is who I'm referring to and it, it's not a blanket statement for everybody who tunes into our show whatsoever. So it's the, so the trolls. Yeah. 
what, so what about do you see what how about, valuable knowing that is, right? And it kind of sort of explains Coach Tay's confusion. And I think um, Cheeky said it best, as well as Fatty. They're here. Whether or not they're saying something is another story. And they do say some things in places where they can enjoy a bit more anonymity. But that's why I can absolutely understand Tay's confusion. And that's why I can absolutely appreciate Dana's ability to discern one from another right so that's why i really wanted to ask those questions to dope out what the perception was what it is and why and i can really appreciate that i don't think either one of them is saying that we're all in here you know being incels and all that other thing um i think we need to dispel that because there are lots of people who would say otherwise who would denigrate women like that and say anybody in the manosphere and it came up earlier anybody in the manosphere is an incel and these two women just showed you their perception opposes that. Absolutely. So I think it's really important to answer those questions. So Absolutely. thank you, lady. It's, I know that there has been, with, with you all, since you've been up here, there's been more of a focus on um, the actual literal term involuntarily celibate. But from my perspective, the very first thing I said um, when describing them is that they're bitter. I'm talking about the behaviors that they exhibit toward us. I'm talking about the um you know anti woman i hate women or the sort of attitude that comes across when they're addressing us with things that are completely irrelevant to what we're even discussing but just coming up here to insult us um the way that we look or um you know just saying things to get a reaction or just because they can but it's it comes off as very anti it comes off as i don't like women or i um, I don't know, whatever. But it, it's that it's that bitter attitude that I'm referring to more so than anything. I don't care if you're getting cheeks or not. It's not my fucking business, and I'm so, not fucking you. So, so why are you so, calling them? Wait, 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 wait. I got one last one last one last thing, and and then I and I can appreciate that, and I'm not going to disagree with that one at, at all. But do you make room now for the possibility that there are incels, self-identified, <laughs> that don't exhibit those behaviors? What you said is true. Mm -hmm. But do you think it could also be true that there are some that are just simply quiet, living in their truth? Yeah, absolutely. Based off of okay. um, what was it, Granville? Based off of what he had to say this evening, I believe that a hundred percent. Aaron, she she, she checkmated herself. She checkmated herself. I'm not she looking said, for winners and losers, said, man. I'm, I'm just. No, Aaron, like we having a conversation. This is not a softball interview. This is we are not where the best arguments are not. She said, I don't even care if they get, get chicks or not. Meaning that they're not incels. They're just trolls. Most Daddy, of Daddy. them. To be fair, to be fair, she looking she at the notes, Lena was the only one who said uh, bitter towards women. So what she said. No, no but she Jeremiah, said, that's so. fine. Jeremiah, that's fine. Kevin Samuels gave us a magnificent, a magnificent tool to actually understand women. Is the shame, guilt, and need to be right, the sign language. All of women calling these motherfuckers incels is shame. Is I'm going to shame you, you get no hoes, so I'm going to call you incel. She said it. I don't care if you get chicks. If she says that she's going to call a person incel because they're antagonizing her, even if they get chicks, that means that she's using the term to shame the person it has nothing wrong. to do with their incels or not. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong. They're wrong. 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 Here's how you're wrong. Here's how you're wrong. How, how, because if she's a if she's a woman I of integrity, which I believe her to be, wait. If she's a woman of integrity, which I believe her to be, the fact that she just now identified, she just conceded to the fact that there could be incels that are not yes. as nefarious as she, you know, yes. once said they all were. How, how 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 why would why would she make that indictment if she just said? So, I mean that. You get what I'm going? Yeah, but you're instead, not. Instead, wait, wait, wait. Instead of going that way, Dana, let me ask you this. All right. How do you feel about female trolls? Like, what would you class? What is the nomenclature or the classification mm. that female trolls get for you when they do it against men? Like, what would you call them? I don't know if there's a name for it, but it's. I, I want to make the distinction too that it, there is a difference between I feel an incel and just an internet troll. I don't think that they're one and the same, and I, I would not use those two synonymously. So, but to answer your okay. question, I don't. I don't know. Man hating. I don't know. Whatever. So, so it, again, how how are you distinguishing that between somebody? How are you distinguishing the genuineness of disliking women versus just trolling? How are you able to do that? 
Good question. It's an, I mean, it's obviously an assumption, but it's based off of um, the experiences that I have with specifically um, this chat. So if the, if the comments that you're making are because you disagree with what I say, or you don't like the way that I speak, then that's one thing. But if you're just coming and saying anti, you know, female, you, you're using the rhetoric. rhetoric or just trying mm -hmm. to insult, just, you know, that's different than being a troll. You have some sure. kind of bitterness you have some type of resentment toward women that's being um displayed in the way that you speak in the way that you comment and the things that you say Apply okay to so if, Can if, I ask if, a if, question? Case, if that's the case right what do we what do we say to the female trolls that show anti-man rhetoric and obvious male hate and bitterness what would you call them you already asked me that i don't have a name for them what do you what oh. do you call them we call, I'm, we call just, them. I'm just trying to i'm trying to uh, again i think i know what, the name Chiki. i know the, the name Chiki. The, you thing that, the, thing, the thing that Patty made mention of earlier. You call them Dana. That's what she does. You call them Dana. Thank and you. she's not hurt or bitter, but she has vitriol towards men, and nobody comes here and call her a fem cell or whatever. Can I can I can yeah, I can I get so a second? The tie in, Dana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the tie in, Dana, is when Patty brought up the point to Coach Tay, right? That mm -hmm. women don't care, right? Because if we're having, if we start looking at the thing, or we start looking at some of the things that happen towards men and women, you care because you're a woman that a man is giving anti woman rhetoric, but you have no concept or idea of what to call a woman that gives a man anti rhetoric, which is we can use as an indicator to say you don't really care, you just care because it's happening to you, right? Which is why Fatty said women don't actually care, they're just, I guess, being nice. I don't know. So that's I, I I guess I'm just trying to point out the bias there. Like, hey, if you think of it in one way, it, it is happening on the other. What can we call them, right? That is used in a negative perception at this point because incel is nothing positive. You don't think they can get women? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, but again, my experience with incels or what I believe to be incels is literally exclusive to this panel. It's exclusive to this show. Um, I mentioned Not before. Good. I don't I don't experience that sort of behavior outside of this it's on the internet it's on this show it's in this and it makes comments. sense you know it what makes I mean? sense. so so of course i'm speaking from my firsthand experience so I'm, I'm not experiencing that from women so it's not that i don't care it's just not my reality it's just not okay that makes sense i think that's a fair point all right hey all right. i'm out of here dog you can come back up and run your show dog i all just right. came with this granville sent the text i read it late and <laughs> all that coming. it's all right ranger all right this is the thing oh, okay. go off this the thing just because a man don't like everything about women <laughs> doesn't make him an incel just because a man got bad stuff to say about women doesn't make him an incel no one is above critique to say women is above critique is to say that women are perfect we all know that's not so so if a man is saying something about women if he's talking shit about women if he don't like things about women that doesn't make him an incel agreed so the whole they are bitter, incels are this and incels are that, and they said this, those men that say those things that you say are bitter and angry, they might not be incels. They just men that don't like everything about women, which they have the right to, because all women don't like everything about men. Also, the whole narrative that incels do all this violent stuff really need to stop because you know who kill people? Murderers, psychopaths. People with mental illness, not incels. You could be an incel and not be a murderer, not be a psychopath, and not have a mental illness. So the whole incels do these shootings. No, mentally ill people do shootings. Psychopaths do shootings, not incels. And last, and last but not least, Patty and Cheeky just killed it. It just means involuntary celibate. Words have meaning, and we need to learn how to stick to them. And start adding our own personal feelings and dislikes into stuff and redefining everything. Once you start redefining the basic language, everything just turned ignorant and confusing. And it's just fucking chaos at that point. Well, that's why we read the definitions too before we discuss. But I hear what you're saying. And also, I just want to make very clear that conversation about um, mass shootings and incels and the correlation, that was more... That was y'all. We weren't we weren't discussing that. None I, of the women I, I, said I didn't say it was nobody. 
No, I know. I just know that I know marriages I, need I, to end. I'm not saying that you did. I just want to make the distinction. So, oh, so Dana because, saying she don't agree with that bullshit. Oh, Dana. You please let me finish what I'm saying for once in your life, please. What I'm saying is um, because we are the ones who are um, being told that we're labeling because we're trying to shame, I just want to make it very clear that that wasn't something that any of the women said with regard to correlating mass shootings or violence and incels. Also, okay, so I'm trying to say it's, it's basic sign language. An incel is any man that don't kiss female ass, don't agree with everything females will say, and have any critique of female. He's immediately called an incel. I've been called an incel. You know, I'm married with four kids. I get asked at least two to three times a week, and I smash well over 300 women in my life. You ain't got to believe me for it not to be true. But, but I get called an incel because I don't worship women. But you are a simp. A simp? Yeah, because you're married. Not nah, well, not uh, yeah. because you know why I'm not a simp? Because I get ROI on my investment. Well, well that's the thing i think no I, I know i understand that but if we ask the prince of the manosphere we're simps damn fantastic but, but no but, one man is right about everything well well here's what i'm you saying know. though do words have meaning or they have meaning when they suppose when we want them to i mean simp, simp has a definition i know married but then you can't be, simp, yeah, you can't be simp, married and not be a simp man that's, simp, that's, married man, that's, that's not true, true. That's Simp shit is all over the place. See, you see, but you see what just happened, Red Pill. When I asked that question, now let me ask it's you this question: It's clear and concise. Simp ain't. Yeah, this. No, well, Simp, well, is, well, Simp clear. is actually concise, right? But Miss Fantastic clear. said because we have women that we get pussy from, but because we have to do so much form, and our return isn't the same as what we yeah. give, we no. simp. Yeah. That's true. You're not going to equal our it's, it's just an imbalanced right. relationship. For, for most relationships, no, like, you're never gonna get that's a, not what they say. Get equal, you're never going to get an equal return like, on your investment as a man. And, like Red Bull Red, 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 If he's getting return on investment, he's not the same. Yeah, but for not, most relationships, most men give, 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 give. And most women. He's not getting an equal return, though. We know he's not. He can say he is, but he's not. I never said it has to be equal. Well, that's he, equal return but, on investment. But, but here's, here's, I said, I said, but here's, but we, I don't want to argue about simp, but do you see what just yeah. happened when I brought that up? Yeah, we saying, saying a whole bunch of shit about it, right? No, no, you can't say that now. That's too convenient to say it's not the same. The is clear and concise. No, no, because then Granville just told us that there was supposed to be a V there. And then Cheeky just said he was involuntarily celibate because he turned it down pussy on purpose. No, he's a virgin. Cheeky's just be saying stuff to get his point across. The fact so, is, nah, but wait, 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 wait. Come on, Red Pill. Come on, Red Pill. It got to be mean? consistent. Your logic got to be consistent. Yeah. If it's bullshit, it got to be bullshit. Now, let me ask you a question. Are there, because you see what just happened when I mentioned simp. Mother, I we, me and you simps, Mr. Fantastic was looking at us like y'all niggas bugging. Fatty was talking about some return on investment. The shit was everywhere. Be nice been having his hand up for the past six minutes. And nobody want to hear that boring ass monotone voice, but I'm still gonna let him in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my young boy, and I love him. But red pill, this part. When you when you are something, right? You say involuntary celibates is just that simple. Just we that say that, right? But are there repercussions, cause and effects to what you are? So, for instance, if I say I'm a football player, and and then you tell people you're a golfer. Are there connotations to being a football player? Yeah. And what would they be? What would they be? Um, you athlete. Okay, you uh, athlete. If you golf, right? What about aggression? Um, I don't believe that. But what? No, Red Pill. Yeah, you're aggressive me. on the field, but I don't believe that. Yeah, let's not be difficult. Let's let's play along to get along. Yes, yeah, the yeah, football yeah, you play will be more aggressive. Yeah, let's play along. All I'm saying is there are connotations that come with things and there's stereotypes. The stereotypes come from a place. So just to say that involuntarily celebrate means I don't get pussy and I want to get pussy and I'm just walking around fine and dandy. I don't know if we having a genuine conversation at that point. Because if my life, if my wife leave me out to hang for three or four more days and I want it, I'm feeling some type of way. Yeah, but most men are going to stay. There's the okay. problem. Other no, but I'm, I'm saying my feeling fatty because I'm not getting I, I know, I know, I but you're talking it. about yourself, right? Like yes, this is why me. we tell that, for example, most married men are seems and I don't want to derail from the conversation. 
Most yeah. men will stay if their woman is denying sex time and time again, depending on the circumstances. Most men, actually, a good husband, a good husband, like a very good husband, is the biggest motherfucking simp. Taking care of his wife, putting her first, putting no, money on this, her. Daddy, take, this walk, take this walk with me. Go I'm ahead. saying, I'm saying how I start to feel, I start to feel some type of way, yes. right? Sexual frustration. So I'm just saying do simps or excuse me do involuntarily celibate men have the same level of frustration or because they don't get it they just become sterile you can't miss what you've never had and you got other avenues to get rid of frustration they get into gaming some of them some of them work out did you just compare did you just compare street fighter to getting pussy Mm. But that's the thing, pussy ain't as important to every man is the same. Oh, here you go with the sum arguments, Red Pill. No, no, I didn't say so. I didn't use that word. I was about to take a nap. Then when I seen you in the back, I said, you know what? I'm coming back up. Every man man ain't dominated by pussy. No, I'm not saying that. There's over 400 women, Red Pill. So stop making that argument. Most men that, let's be honest, most men that don't get bitches medicate themselves with porn. That is all that is. Yes. <laughs> so before you go to sleep, you rub one off and you go yeah. to go for the next day. Yeah, and you it, ain't taking, it ain't that's taking shit. Yeah, yeah, you just medicate yourself with a yeah. substitute. So like they need to be one well, like that. Part. They have other avenues. So they not walking around here like, I got to punch a bitch in the head. Yes, yes, they yes. Not pussy. And and not, ways to get the edge off. And, and, it, and, it's, and actually, I can corroborate that because out. they're... Get on that bed. There's some channels on YouTube that are kind of Japanese channels that is only the doll talking about and all that shit. And there's like 2,000 people watching, sending money left and right. For them, that that connection, being on the chat, talking with the girl or even with the woman that don't get guys and talking with the guy, that shit is their medical. Like they substitute a lot of times. The incel shit is not the... Is the companionship? Is the talking with the woman? Is why OnlyFans mm-hmm. is so much popular? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 you can really like, get it for good pass. Yes, That's a good it's pass, more man. than the sex. There's other layers about loneliness. You there wanted you to go. talk to the woman all day. Yeah. Okay, and okay. That's a great fucking point. So then, what oh, comes you. from all? Good job, Fatty. Now, what comes from all that? We can't just sit here and say involuntary celibate just mean I'm not getting pussy. And he just walk around everything hunky dory. He missing a whole lot of shit in his life. Apathy, apathy. It's not really like okay. That's angry. what that does. It become sterile. Like fuck it. I, I don't uh, think so. Well, not sterile. I mean, you, like you say, sterile. man. You just, you just yeah. You have become sterile. You're yeah, you just becomes... To your to your situation. So you're pretty much just like you understand your situation, mm-hmm. and you know that you can't really do anything to change it. So you, you become just numb. You do what you you do what you need to do to get rid of whatever mental block that that one thing was doing. Yeah, you, you, you become a recluse. You get Hold on, come on, y'all. We gotta all right, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. You don't become a recluse. Now. Those guys go to arcades, they go to Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, exactly. They play magic. That's not what Granville Japan. said. No, but Granville is wrong because he's like a oh, basketball. Well, like, well, hold hold on. On. Well, let me say this. What let me say this real quick. Hold on, Granville did say that though. Hold on, Granville. He said <laughs> no, Grant, Granville said they have meetings and they have clubs or group. I don't know how Why are you pulling for like Damn. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. We but I'm not. Look, they have the interest, just like yeah. any other movie. That's what I'm saying. He, and he said they they get together, they do meetings. I don't know, they're doing pizza parties and shit. But no, I got yeah. them meeting up and they, no. they have activities. They, they go to anime wow. conventions and all Every that. Mo- this is all real quick. Every Monday, <laughs> I go to this place in Dallas called a Cidercade. It's an arcade where you pay $10 to get in. You play all the games for free. And they've had competitions in there. And everybody be playing mm-hmm. games. They got this game called oh, Food. Yeah. And it be all kinds of incel, weird, nerdy, geeky type dudes in there every Monday. Oh, 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 and they hang oh, 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 and they mingle and they have socialize and interact. Now can you we stop. stop the cap? Can we please stop the cap for once, please? No, no, Red Pill, you stop it now. You Y'all stop it right it. now, Red Pill. They play Yu-Gi-Oh. They play uh, Warhammer. Gonna... They play. Hey, Netflix. why are you insulting me, sir? Nah, nah. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh. this. Watch. Hold on, watch this. Watch, this. watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You what the ladies do to incels is what you just did to incels, Red Pill. Damn. Because you had an arcade doing a bunch of weird shit. You said they gotta be incels there doing weird shit. No, mm. because I know these guys. Stop I talking so me. much. No, Just chill. No, no help. Just you're wrong. Chill. You're wrong, brother. I know these guys. I can say that because I know them. 
every Damn. Monday playing in tournaments with these guys. These mm. are the homies, but they talk about. Oh no, no, I understand. You. I understand. I'm just saying what you just did. You know, I love you. I just gotta. Sometimes I gotta. Yeah. Cook well, the, the look, the look is the look. Because yeah. if you got juice, you are gonna get pussy. Where hey, the fuck Frank, you got good shoes? Hey Frank, I think we are. Friendly. Hold on, Jason. I got you. Those Man, y'all gotta shut him. Y'all gotta shut him up, dog. Hey, e let me ask you something. This, this nigga making no sense, bro. This nigga making no sense. Granville, let me ask you something. Nah, nah. What's up? I agree. In I my, agree with them, Granville. In my opinion, an incel is more Don't like. A... Sense, though. Hold on. Let him. Let him. Let him clear. Let him clear. Me or who? Who? Who needs to shut up, Granville? Red pill. <laughs> <laughs> I told you logically why? why? Yeah, logically, logically why? why? Because you you're basing you're basing the incels off of shit you see in a diaspora. What you're getting into, you're getting into like the geek nerd aspect. You're trying to you're trying to cope. You're coping incels into a socialized area mm -hmm. where they really don't mingle. When you talk they, about when you talk about when you talk about when you talk about card shops, Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and all this, this is a socialized aspect where you meet new people and everything. They, and I they, clearly stated earlier, I clearly stated earlier that yes, we have times when we meet up together, but it is our own closed environment. It's not going out and being social, meeting new people. Are all Christians the same? Are all Democrats the same? Uh -oh, I was just about to say that. Yo, you're not going to run that shit. You're not going to run that shit. No, just going, therefore, logically, all the incels not going to be the same. Let's talk about the first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. And I asked, I asked, I asked, I asked the uh, women this when I first came up. Do any of y'all niggas actually know an uh, incel personally? Personally? Yeah, yeah. Personally? Yes. That's enough. Multiple. <laughs> not self -pro self proclaimed, no, but definitionally, yes. I was in arm for fifteen years in the MIA. Definitionally, so you would understand that they wouldn't be in the social settings and everything that Red Pill is talking about, right? They were in the military. Uh, they had some in my college, and I know the um the type. Like I know how to typecast them. You can hmm. typecast it, but yeah, you're how, right. You're how right. Can yeah, they, they wouldn't. But we can't. They wouldn't show up in anywhere <laughs> that's sort of. Uh, how y'all typecast it, but we can't? How does that make sense? Because, because we're the pursuers. Oh, of yo, the yo, 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 hold on. What the fuck does typecasting mean? Like, it, what, what it means like profile. Judging a book from its cover. On? Judging a book from its cover. See, look at it. Granville. It's literally happening in real time to the incels by men. No, what I'm saying yep. is, like. Be nice said I'm nobody ever said it, but he know what they look like. Red Pill said because they playing fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. No, I said, and that's wild. Why. No, that's not why. I said because I know why. why. And I did. That's and I wild did as fuck. Point, I did make the point earlier in the evening that most of them do self-identify. So you guys keep talking about this as a shaming tactic, and it's actually not. It's you look into the definition. <laughs> it's them saying it about themselves. You know, when y'all use it, it's a so, time. So, so, hold on, hold on, stop, hold on, stop, stop, hold on, hold on, stop. Hold on, so, Dana, I think, I think what they're talking about is, yes, I am self-proclaimed, but when I get on YouTube, it's used as a negative incantation by people who don't know what they're talking about. You use it as a negative incantation. Just like if I was up here to call you a bitch or a hoe or something like that, I don't really know you. But I know that it's a negative aspect in our space. So I'm more likely to call that, call you that to upset you. I understand what you're saying, but they're trying to take me on this motherfucking merry-go-round of bullshit because you guys are doing the exact same thing. And then Red Pill, like, well, it's different when it's coming from women. You're doing the exact I same thing. Let me out. Let me out. Somebody just said that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, but Dana, could you at least um agree to the fact that when I came up here, I told him he was full of shit. For what he was doing because I didn't notice it in the chat. That's the reason why I came up. But you didn't tell me logically because I what? shut you down by saying, Are all Christians the same? All all is <laughs> not going to be the same. Some going to go places, some not. Let, nah, let me help you. Let somebody with some decorum talk. Go ahead, Fatty. 
I'm just saying it's like the word bitch. If your friend, female friend says to you, bad bitch, all that is a positive connotation. If a man calls you that, he's negative. If I say I'm a virgin, he's neutral. If somebody call me a virgin, he's negative. If I say nigga, he's positive. My nigga, if a white person says that shit, he's negative. It depends from the side that he comes from. Renville can call himself himself and he's fine, but if people usually use it against him, he's usually as a derogatory term. No, Fatty, clarifying question for Fatty. Man or women can use it negatively towards him, right? Uh, yes, because we attack you get no bitches type of yeah. Men are mean like that too. Yes, okay. you get no bitches. You can fight me. I have more money than you. There's the three things we usually attack. Sure. Other men. Yes, no, I just wanted. Your, what is your question? Go ahead. I just wanted. To oh, go ahead. My bad, Patty. I'm sorry, Jeremiah. Is the like you said that they become sterile, right? I wanted to ask Granville because he takes like I'm kind of trolling, but he's not. To me, an incel is like a basketball player that didn't make the league. He doesn't stop watching basketball. He doesn't stop playing basketball with his friends. He doesn't like. He doesn't become sterile. He still loves the game and all that shit. He's yeah. just somebody who understands that he's I'm not going to play in the league. So he stays aside and he actually goes to the side. He's not that he's sterile. If he could play, he would play. It. He's just that okay. he has the interest, but he's on a distance. Like he's not so, one man. He's the other side of the street kind of thing. So like even. He, I, I, a better example, Fatty, because Fatty's spot on. Fatty's almost there, but do you know, like in baseball with pitchers, sometimes they get the yips. You know what the yips is, right? Yes, yeah, he's a in kind of a, a bleach. Like, no, it's called yips. It's called the yips. Sometimes pitchers get it in um baseball. Well, I'm probably nobody really watch baseball. I guess no, no. but it's sometimes. It's sometimes um. They call it the yips, and you can look it up. Sometimes in baseball, when a pitcher gets to a certain level, he may hit a brick wall where he can't develop, and he has to break through that wall. Mm. He has to break through that wall, whether it's a new pitch, whether it's learning a curve, the slide, or anything. But the way pitchers sometimes express it, it's like anxiety, and it's kind of like mono -ish. It's It's the anxiety. And the, and the pressure of like really getting to the situation of learning. You don't have no football analogies. Like what the fuck? Um, <laughs> I watch no fuck. Oh, games. that. Oh, <laughs> pam, pam, pam. The hesitation on the hit. The hesitation on the hit. Oh yeah, the, the hitch. It could all. It almost. It almost could be explained as an anxiety or a fear. Almost. Of like actually the contact on contact. There we go. There we go. Clarence. It could be that contact on contact hit. It could yeah. be that contact on contact, and that could be the difference of you actually making it to the NFL or not. Yeah, we, we, grant, we don't watch baseball, so it's more like a, a shooter going oh for like nine. He go going to get inside of his of his head, and he's going to I actually basketball. Oh, here we go. Nah, did, did you see the fucking yeah, I, I, game? Yeah, but I broke it down. I broke it down for him. Ham told me to break it down to him, so yeah. I just I took a stab in the dark. Yeah, only sport, boy, only yeah. sport that's a real sport is football. Let's just get yeah, egg ball, egg ball, not football, egg ball. <laughs> the reason why I said that women uh couldn't like declare what a uh, red pill or not sorry, not a red pill, what incel is, is because I'm looking at the responses. Hamp literally had me take notes. And you guys just clearly couldn't, you guys are all over the place, not you personally, but the women on the panel were all over the place, couldn't come up with a clear, precise definition. And if you're getting it's like what Fatty said, if someone's gonna declare what it is. Let it come from what you guys are proclaiming it to be. So if an incel is predominantly men, a man should be able to typecast or profile what it is. You don't know. You don't know. A, you don't know a bitch when you see one, Jeremiah. I do, but like Fatty said, I wouldn't be able to just go and like declare that someone's a bitch without getting flagged for it. Yep. But the flag, but that doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means you got flagged for it because they don't want you to say it. Right. Yeah, that but that's true. But, but I still just can't go and call someone a, a bitch. But, you know what but I mean? that's the thing. we we weaponize the word bitch. That doesn't make you right either. It's the same thing like with the word incel. You can be weaponized for the, by the wrong people if their intention is to denigrate one. Like, is the easiest shit for a woman to actually deny somebody from a conversation is to call, ah, you guys are crybabies. You are a bunch of incels. You get no pussy. And now everything that I say comes from a place of weakness because I don't get no woman. This is why I'm crying about woman. It's the easiest thing to do. But the, the fuck the part camp, and I don't know if you guys talk about this on this place, is that people talk about incels and talk about this place. But then when you ask them, the red pill hunters and the manosphere hunters, tell me one place better for men to share notes between each other about women that they could go and this a healthy place. 
and they don't know nothing. They have no answers. They have nothing because they just, they just want to talk shit. They complain about this place. They complain about themselves in this place. And then you are open and say, okay, you got this. We are bad. We are toxic. Tell me a better place where men can go and sit and exchange notes with each other on a healthy environment that can accommodate thousands of people. Crickets, nothing, no solutions, no nothing. So I would understand that just shame in tactics because if you don't have a better place for me to be, you are just talking shit because you want to actually talk down on me. On that point too, Fatty, I had questioned that point. Like, why don't we do it in the barbershop or the locker room, right? August made a great point where where do you get people from Portugal and every other part of the U.S. to have the conversation. Yeah. And my barbershop is going to be niggas with a very similar viewpoints. A lot of bravado, a lot of I fuck bitches. I do this. Like yeah. the regular man on the barbershop that you want to talk about yeah. woman is yeah. quiet as a mouse. He's like listening to him. Yeah. He's listening That's, to everybody. Yeah. He's not yeah. talking. Especially because when you walk in the barber and you go to that barbershop, you know, yelling, drinking, like it's people's Absolutely. barbershop, you know. So this space, when August said that, I said, you got a good point. Yeah, it's right. a competitive environment. It's not healthy for you to exchange notes. I'm on the locker room on a barbershop asking tips about women. I'm going to be clowned from, uh, especially black barbershops. You are going to be, hey, bro, how can I keep my woman? Can be one or two brothers that are going to talk with you. Most of them are going to clone you because it's hyper competitive. It's not a healthy environment for you so, to have a yeah, regular conversation yeah, about yeah, the barbershop. Not a safe, it's not a safe space for stuff like but, that. But what it's I want to know is why y'all run from Granville when he came up here to put y'all, get y'all like the understanding. I, Stop damn, I saw it. Incels do don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, nigga. I can I can come against. Yes, no, 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 ham, no, ham. That's uh, like how you did that, ham. But no, I was talking to more of the aspect. I was talking to the more of the aspect of the social setting he was talking about, like okay. actually going out to a car shop, sitting down with people and actually striking up conversations and actually having these duels and stuff. That's gonna be pretty hard, bro. Damn. Whether it's a man or a woman who's talking to her across the uh, table. So if if that's the case, then there's a separation of people who have like deep like social anxiety, and then someone who's actually an incel. Yes, because yes, yes. Level, yes. If I'm, if I'm in a car right. shop, or if I'm at like some place with a bunch of nerdy people, like one of those video game art, uh, like hosting shops or whatever, all those people aren't exactly like, um super socially inept they can talk to you but they're really into what they're into Ooh. and then if people aren't into that they don't really care to associate with you hey Benice, so you know you know when i actually got my wake-up call about being a nerd and mm -hmm. all that i went to la to a, a name convention called comic-con mm -hmm. and i thought i was a nerdy motherfucker and i like anime and cards i got there and i was like whoa i'm not like these people Mm -hmm. I am a regular motherfucker that likes parts of this culture, like them dancing and doing shit that you like. You know when M says, "Hey guys, there's fifty dollars less dance than some of us," because we have a little bit more ego and probably like, "Nah, I'm not dancing." <laughs> like I am looking at them, I'm like, "How is this possible? You guys are doing this. I'm not like y'all. I got there thinking I was just Ooh. like them, but these there's levels to this, bro. Awesome. Like there's levels to this." Also, and we are not talking about the same people that are around you. People could be multifaceted. A person can be a red pill, red pill, man. Red pill, man. Why you, you don't know? Red pill, man? Nah, because I love red pill, man. But I never seen him double dutch this much. You know, yeah, if they double dutch the, can say the simple human nature. I'm putting you in the Olympics for sure. When they put double it's dutch in the Olympics, I'm signing weed. you up. I smoke weed. I got 15 tattoos and I fuck bitches, but I also cosplay. Damn. Oh, oh no. Nah, people can be diverse. I got some wings. It's you an have anime a called My Hero Academia. Like, oh, oh, oh. I got some wings over there from a character named Hop. You have a Power Rangers. Hey, what anymore. is cosplay? Is it there? Is he saying what I think he's saying? Hey, I got 400 fans. No. Wings. Don't do it, man. Hey, put him in the fuck. You have a Power Ranger. Do you have a Power Ranger suit that you wear from time to time? No. I got a Captain America figure. I got a Marvel Zombies. I got a Robocop. Oh, do you have a, a, do you, do you have a suit? I got some Do you have the spandex suit that you put from with boots and shit? Do you have it? No, nah, I don't wear spandex when I cosplay. 
Damn. That would oh, be hold on, hold on, bro. First, first off, first off. Like, this is ridiculous. The problem is a you smoking weed. Be diverse. You smoking so weed party. and wearing costumes, that shit go together. Nah. <laughs> you smoking weed what? LARPing in the park. <laughs> yeah, I see this. Them niggas from oh, Kiss got, got tattoos. They do drugs. They play the guitar and they cosplay. You see how they dress? Uh, that's all the same to me. Well, and it's, the, it's, the real it's, question it's, is, Jesus Christ, Christ, I, need put this nigga, I need to put this nigga on the hot seat. What? Who is your favorite rapper? Lo lo logic. These days, yeah, oh. logic. I'm, he's out. there's I'm logic. Bury the life, bury the life. I don't really listen to that See, uh, uh, your 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 weird. Logic. Logic. I told you, it's it's weird. Weird. If you don't. If you don't have a favorite rapper, rap pill, you ain't that. Right you right in your pocket. You right. Uh, Lupe Fiasco. There's his favorite rapper, Lupe uh, Fiasco. I'll say Lupe. Future. Child, you uh, your life. Nah, you just. Nah. There's no way. I like future, yes. Yeah, so, hey, hey, like no I do not listen to the future in dressing costumes. I do not Molly, believe yeah, it. Bro. That, that doesn't happen. Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe him too. Molly, he just picked future. Stop. Red to Red. Have you ever said, have you ever said, have you ever said in real life, it's morphing oh, wow. time? <laughs> yes, I have. Just yesterday, I was messing with my yeah. wife. I was you said it's morphing time. See, you it's actually you, dope. It's morphing time. You ass nigga. That's what you really saying. That's all that is. <laughs> nah. Damn. Yo, he coming time. in. Now, are you, oh, you obviously the Red Ranger, right? Yeah. It, it, it had part of the conversation. Yeah, Mastodon. Is she the pink one? <laughs> Crack on so, The thing, I think one of the things we're not really taking into account also is in those type of communities like let's okay. say comic-con or something like that uh -huh. those dudes that we look at as incels or like weird the these guys have hotter girlfriends than us most of the time fucking so it's like, for when, when when you go out Not there <laughs> and they have a hot ass girlfriend that's hotter than any like anything you think that they could ever get I vote uh, for that. It does hey, make you, you think, saying, oh, huh? well, maybe they're not incels. Hey, Amp, do you remember when you were in school? But and hold on. Hey, girl, come on. Let me just quit. Remember when you were in high school and there was the God gang, the people that's all dressed in black, and the leader of them had the most badass, big titties, big booty dressed in black? And all? That's exactly what these anime dudes do. Like inside of the niche, the there's always somebody that gets like the hottest girls around it. <laughs> Fatty, yeah, they, stop. Yeah. Your team, your your, like your school years. must not have had a your school must not have had a track team. What are you talking God, about? God only fuck with gods. They don't fuck yeah. with athletes. They rather yeah, fuck sports, with the gloomy yeah, like Edward Caesar type of dude than fuck with the. I know the yeah, prom don't queen was together. never a goth, bro. Y'all gotta stop this shit. You guys, man. man, you need no, to come no, to no, Europe. Hamp, Hamp, my been point hanging is, around Red Miranda too long, man. My point is, Hamp. Sorry, Grant. The communities actually don't they don't intersect at all so the girls that are in this community like the guys that are in that community outside, they may look like incels uh -uh. Damn. Oh, so, oh man you said what that shit coming uh -uh, uh -uh. reptile you know sit your final ass down man is that the chicken man that yeah, don't look red he's trying to fly you can't fly red pill you can't <laughs> actually fly that's hot off that on my hero academia was. This oh, dope. I mean, play. Nice. Y'all don't know Google Hawks. You one of the best oh, characters yeah. on My Hero Academia. I know what he is. I, I, I don't like that show because nobody never dies, man. Yeah, that's hey, so okay. fast. Hey, 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 I got a question. Hey, Red Pill. Is, is, is your wife into that also? Not at all. Damn. Yeah. Not at no, all. No, none of us are Red Pill. Don't put them shits on no more. <laughs> <laughs> OG, what you, you about to say? Old this show. I'm way too old for this show. I ain't never seen no shit like that. <laughs> I ain't know it was that red, Simon, pink. I didn't know what that shit was. <laughs> I say was Simon. The closet or something. I, I like, well, fuck. I know. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, that, 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 No, no. I'm just saying the color don't look red. The shirt was red, but that other shit he put on didn't look red. Because of the light was going. Oh, can you be honest? Oh, at least the Red Pill Ranger didn't ban. I'm just saying, man. I'm too old for this shit. All these names y'all calling out, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Y'all call. Uh, I do know uh, Comic Con. I do know what that is. Star shit, track shit, like that. But 
All these other names, y'all. I'm way too old for this goddamn show. Hey, look, y'all take it easy. I'm gonna look at this shit at the cloud because this shit makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, all right, motherfuckers ain't hitting no women. Yeah, I'm doing it. Right. 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 Still up here wilding, man. Peace oh, love, wait, have I have a question for uh, hey, Red Bill. Easy, OG, be uh, safe. Yeah, I got. Huh? Yeah, but I have a question for uh, what's his name? Ramsdale. All right, make it quick, man. I'm tired. All right, so would you say that it would it be a fair typecast or profiling to say that an incel would typically work out at the gym at, at night? At night, I was about to finish at night. No, oh, they'll go to the gym. Like, like what? What the fuck are you saying? If they're gonna go to the gym, they'll go to the gym. They would avoid people. They wouldn't go on the 6 p.m. type of busy. They would right, go exactly. there. Like okay, p.m. okay. So you asked me if they would go at the busiest hours or the least busiest hours. They could just mm -hmm. ask it simple like that, the least busiest hours. Yes. Okay, the least busy. Okay, would they do the same thing with other tasks, such as like washing their clothes, like laundry and stuff like that? <laughs> I think it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't get that bro because they still go outside they still function they have to go to work they have to go to their job they have to go to the grocery and everything but it comes to the avoidance of people of conversation yes. of no. socializing that's where the avoidance comes in. do you have a friend and if you do how many what do you have a friend um someone you can relate to homeboy homegirl and if you do, how many? In what aspect? In your life, I, like a close friend. I, I know you say you don't socialize publicly. Um, so I didn't say I didn't. I was explaining the situations that they go through. But yes, okay. I have, I have friends, men and women. Okay, but majority. In that, in that aspect, in that aspect, if you're talking about, if you're talking about this aspect of the incels and fem cells, yes, I have a group. And sometimes I go and meet up with and they come from all over the country. They're not just located where I live. We may meet up. The Powerpuff Girls. So and we'll go and hang. So that means that means that there's kind of a niche for incels as well. So there actually could technically be like um kind of like the incel that isn't really an incel in the group of incels. Because you have a group, so someone so, could be getting so, someone could be so, getting pussy out of that group. Or you're being, not a bro. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what you just said? I know <laughs> somebody could be getting pussy in a group of incels. <laughs> what? Yeah, real quick, Brando, The reason why I, the reason why I asked that question is because like at the college that I just left, I've seen different type of people. So I've seen the type that be nice described where you have clusters that they, they just want to game and stuff like that. And they'll go and then like, if you, they vibe with you, they'll tell you where the next click is and stuff like that. Um, but you have to like know of them in order to know where they're going to be at. There's other types that okay, I just- Okay, so I know, see what you're saying. I see what you're saying and I look what y'all look for. I see what y'all look for. No, are you going to see a herd of incels suddenly appear? No, bro. No, <laughs> no. you're not going to fucking see that. Okay. It's that simple. It's so like you're talking, you're talking. Okay, so let's say this: if you got twenty fucking people, right? You have ten socially adept people, oh. and then the last ten people, you will put them in the nerd category, and then let's subsidize probably out of those ten people that y'all were that were probably like awkward, like the people Fatty was talking about at the anime convention. <clears throat> probably one to two of them, maybe category. But that doesn't necessarily mean they hang out with that whole ten. Yeah, it's in that category. Y'all not taking into account. My thing is, balance. my thing is, if if you have the ability to create community, right, then there's some sort of non adeptness in your like social your social ability because you can make a group of people that are like minded like you, but <sighs> You see what I'm saying? But this oh, yes, I understand what you're saying. You said if you're socially adept enough to make a group of incels to hang out, why is it so hard to progress it? Why are you not is fucking that, the that women of the incels? Yeah, that, that's my point. Why is there no group where it's like, oh, th we're all incels, but then I'm like, the cool rap incel rap. who's having sex with the incel girls. Nice, no, You see yeah. what I'm saying? Why y'all just fuck the incel girls? Because well, it's not really... 
because they want more than they want companionship and all that. It's not just the pussy. Correct. Right. It's not just the pussy, bro. It's Stop. the connection. It's more the romantic connection, the conversation, yeah. like the cuddling, like the aspect of you actually being with somebody and shit. Yeah. It goes down to that. It's not just the pussy aspect. Yeah, gotcha. And the opposites attract though, so they probably don't want another nigga, another a girl sitting there. She can't talk. He can't talk. That shit, <laughs> right? Boring as a motherfucker. This is the thing I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get y'all understand. Incels can communicate. I know some that's that's extroverts. They just in incels ain't always shy, pull in and withdrawn. You they, really, they, they have lots of personality, high energy. See, y'all take missing the component of individual personality traits. You're not going to behave a certain way just because you're an incel. A lot of your behavior is going to be on your upbringing, your, your family situation, and just your overall general personality. So that's case by case. One incel can be withdrawn. The other one can be like, no. That's Rev, yeah, Rev, no, he's yeah. right. He's right. No, he's absolutely he's, right. He's right because people are human. However, groups of people have characteristics we got to stop sure. like everybody's so super diverse that is not the case again when you go to the, just like think about this and now this i'm gonna use this but it's gonna be obvious right when the basketball team come in the cafeteria you know who the fucking basketball team is now of course you're gonna discount them being tall but it's a different like people move differently based on what they do like you like people, i'm not saying yes, they do. Groups, groups of people grouped together because there's similarities there they no, but, right. they have like, like they, oh here's a better example yeah i ain't about to so here's a better example the fraternities i'm greek so i know all about that and my point which, is that which one are you a sigma yeah <laughs> see look at that you see how i fucking knew that because yo it's 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 why am i yelling because it's 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 a real thing <laughs> People have men. Granville, you see how I did that? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yo, they, yo Granville, they calling me Hamp Cleo in the chat. They think I could tell the future. <laughs> yo. Hey, Hamp, is it like guessing somebody's sign or something? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Oh, you are you are a Capricorn? Oh my god, I knew it. Like, what does that mean? Oh no, Actually. I'm better than that. I'm better than that. What? There is a subset of traits that go with it. And Fatty, yeah. he said he was Greek. I didn't ask him he was Greek. As soon as he said that, I came out with the answer like that. Because there are a subset of traits. Like, I, like this. Wait, 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 Fatty. This is this this, this fine. Do y'all have Greeks in the um in uh that uh the country? It's fine. And in the, you in Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. There's Portugal. Not, not fraternities like that, like Red it pill. was back in the den with like the, the slave owners okay. and things, but not now. Yeah, now they saying I can predict the future. I'm not. No, I'm I'm good. Okay. What's the problem? Have, you agree? Which which yeah, which which one am I in? Uh Red Pill. I already know you're a uh Q dog. <laughs> Yo, because there's characteristics. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was about to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can kind of see it in yeah. people. But it don't fair, but hey, I, think Hill, I love you. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. What, fatty? Yeah. You want next? What? I can no, tell the yeah, yes, yes. Some of this? Come on. No, no because, because there's one thing that you are, there's one thing that you actually I think you're not understanding from their saying. I'm windmilling. There's like they might be introvert for the world, but uh -huh. as soon as they get together, they become extrovert because introvert and extrovert only has to do with the depleting of energy or if you get charge of energy for example an extrovert you go outside and you get energy from interacting with people and introvert he loses energy when he's around people these people usually are extra introvert when they are around the world and they lose energy by on not going to the gym all, all that but as soon as they get with each other those might be the goofiest happy go lucky singing and all that shit go to karaoke like they actually become another person so it, it's it's it depends on conjection because a lot of you guys let me just say something to, make it real for me. to see if you part. actually yes just for you to oh, okay no just i'm talking like, about the athletes well like for me the, right so if i go to the gym i hate going with people I'd rather just go. When I go DJ, I'd be yeah. so fucking tired of smile as fake smiling and talking on the mic, etc. Would I be an introvert in a way? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Because you get depleted of energy yeah. if there's a lot of people around you. Extroverts usually actually feed from energy. But that's the thing. 
you talk about athlete the boy being more extrovert have you ever knew these type of people that when they are around the, the athletes they laugh they joke and all that shit but as yeah. soon as they leave the the the, the concept of athlete now they are introvert they look at the ground they don't want to yeah. talk with each other <laughs> circumstantially it depends Lime on your group if you feel yeah. accepted or not yeah. that's a great that's a great example um and just like i know y'all don't i know you don't i know football's not huge over there but fatty specifically the linemen especially i don't know if you watch football i know a little bit of, about it I, well, you know I linemen know. are the big guys right don't, they don't, they like don't get martin that. lynch right very dirty individual <laughs> no not martin <laughs> How dare you? But the <laughs> linemen are very much like that. Like in the locker room, they you know they are very expressive. But if they on campus, if it's not other football players around, linemen usually kind of go into a little you know because they bigger. You know they probably haven't had the same interactions with women and things. You know just people generally. So I, 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 that makes sense to me. That that's a good point. Yep. That's a good point. And that's my point. Of everybody can be in the same thing, but behave that's your different. Point. Everybody can be in one. They both all linemen and a wide receiver. They both football players, but they're gonna behave different socially. And that's why I'm saying all incels gonna behave socially different based on their individual stuff they got going on. Red I pill. seen some that lack confidence. I seen some with confidence. Red red pill. Pill. It's two o'clock in the morning. We're not doing yeah. this shit off. Red, oh, yeah, red pill in here, windmilling. TJ with the final says, salute to Dana and Tate for being the last women standing. That's usually how it be, too. What Ricky says when they put Daryl in the bathroom. Dayton Pool sent the cash app, but it was not enough. J Rock with the final says, report the re that report Daryl was bringing up wasn't was a written up by a female feminist professor out of arizona university using a government grant offered by the fbi damn damn that's crazy rock with the 20 ball says get rid of the fbi special agent 20 more on his time dude up uh, up uh, preaching trust the science trust the government trust the fbi no thank you bro who is the fbi agent hmm? you're talking about daryl oh damn daryl was bringing up the stats not Jay stuff. Smooth, salute my brother. What up, buzzin', buzzin', bird, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy, you thought your cousin wasn't. Red Pill, who is that in that song? <laughs> huh? Childish Gambino? No idea. <laughs> Jay Rock, what the. <laughs> Guess what? I, I, I ain't never seen an episode of Power. Other Wire. How about J Rock with the five dollars says. <laughs> so at this means that the professor wrote a grant proposal and not the FBI itself contra 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 contracted someone to investigate an issue. Okay. That bro was popping with the two dollars. Says boss, the plane. <laughs> Can I get some of the five dollars? What's popping? Said it's not about cheeks. It's about connection. Yeah, Granville said that. Cause twelve hundred dollars can can buy you a gun or six months of cheeks. They want someone to give a shit about them. Yeah, Fatty yep. said it also. HQ with the says, There are fruitcakes folks all over. Jesus. The real Pookie with the fellas says, We got rid of some beautiful panel women for these niggas. Shit crazy, Hamp. Yo, man, they be getting tired. What? Man, that's disrespectful, bro. John the Baptist with the fellas says, My stepdad and his brother used to have the same conversation about the seven when in the 70s and 80s, but over time, men became more sensitive. CD with the final says, the guy in the yellow hoodie who sounds like Dracula is correct. The incel vilification <laughs> is all hyperbole. <laughs> no, that's you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said I sound like Dracula. It's not funny. I, I'm a victim. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't like this. <laughs> like your blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, laugh at you, Patty. My bad, bro. Here we go. <laughs> You're a victim. Mm. <laughs> at least he said I was right. So, so there's a good thing to <laughs> so that. Dad, <laughs> oh, shit. That <laughs> is funny. Strange and unusual. The says, Timu Prince Alibaba always has to let us know how much pussy he gets. Gold star, you big guy. Damn. Joe with the final says it's dude that gets cheeks that treat women just as bad as women claim incels do, and these are sometimes y'all cheeks they get. 
Rock said, put, 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 put him in the fucking back. Keep Get FBI out special agent Sim in the back. Spoon Zaza said, put him in the fucking back. Keep Get special agent Daryl in the Wait fucking bathroom. The real Pookie with the stuff. Seriously, one of y'all want to borrow my dingaling? Jesus Christ. The day in pool with the file says, again, <laughs> no one said incels are shooters. We are saying after investigation, some shooters have been known to have incel history. History. <laughs> Onikasu with the final says women feel in danger because life in it in itself can be dangerous, but men are more likely to attack a man because of either spoils or beef, most likely items. HQ with the final says all women feel how they feel. Chance means nothing. We are more vulnerable on this planet. Don't make light of the danger to women. Zaza with this five Canadian says, so the only time the woman encounters incels is on the streets of YouTube, yet they always come back. Bob with the two dollars says, What's up, Bob? Said Cheeky is a pimp that practices abstinence. <laughs> the real Pookie with the two dollars says, When the last when's the last time the men on the panel had box? Yesterday. Bob with the five says, Fantastic look like an Indian Royale or an old <laughs> Skittle. <laughs> Rebel Rose in the file says, Coach Tay, beautiful as always. Dana, your reservation tonight is very attractive. Thank you for not playing bully ball tonight. Hamp, great show. Good night. Appreciate you, my brother. Sydney with the two dollars says, Fatty is on point. Woo! Red Pill Ranger in the winner. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Sydney with the ten dollars says, Manifer will tell you facts and it will hurt like hell. Intels will just hit you with a brick because they're sexually frustrated. Some men straddle the fence and play both sides. Don't get it twisted. Fatty leader of the incel army for 99 cents. The day in pool with the two houses. Let us hear from the wife. I know red pill line. <laughs> About what? CD with the five houses. Good to see Dana resting bitch face wore off after four hours she been chilling the whole night see i'll be reaching man <laughs> they didn't tell you ladies are just normal women on the internet not internet women e-girl had a good time ham i'll be over more my guy indeed see how internet terms work start one way ends in another in terms internet terms don't work for the 10 pounds CD with the finals. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger for giving hopes to incels. If he gets buns, y'all have no excuse. <laughs> Damn. <God. laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, with the 500 mm. here, 200 likes. Please fix that on your way up. Please hit the like button, man. Golly. DG with the two euro says, DJ Hamp, fatty salute. Peace, please. Yeah, DG, what's popping? Sherelle, what's good? Granville is not a damn incel. Why are you lying to these people? You are truly unhinged. GBG in full effect. Shit, 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 Damn. shit. Like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He was up here capping. This has been interesting. It went a lot of different ways. I'm going to have a lot of dope shit to clip. Fatty, any final thoughts? Yes. Fuck bitches, get money. Oh my god. Be nice. Thank Any final thoughts? Thank you for having me. Um, no my final thought is I think incels aren't really something to worry about. More the issue is what people are choosing and what people uh on the surface think is normal. So I think people need to change that and yeah, that's it. Word, word. In fact, I don't know if Fatty's still here, but somebody throw Fatty um link in the in the chat. Jeremiah, any final thoughts? Uh no, not really. I know everybody wants to go to sleep. So uh have a good night. Enjoy the rest of you guys this week. Take care. And hey, Fatty, go ahead and drop your link so they know what time you rocking tomorrow. Cause I'm only on at night tomorrow. Jake Smooth, any final thoughts? Uh yeah, man. Uh just don't get um don't get this man uh manosphere red pill panel and uh world mixed up with uh rhetoric uh to incels that you know uh, i heard earlier they wanted to kind of compare those two i think they're mutual uh mutually exclusive um i think the manosphere is for men to build a confidence uh men to talk to men i think women do appreciate it 
uh, we get to understand each other. So let's let's not act like the manosphere is the reason for mass shootings and all of that stuff. So that's it. Word, word, word. Red Pill Ranger. Um, I think women just, women just need to stay out of male conversations. Um, I don't watch any female theme channels because I let them handle their own business and talk to their sisterhood and talk to their sisters and understand each other. And if I don't like something, I don't watch it. I don't partake in content that bothers me, irritates me, or I like. It. So these conversations ain't really for y'all. You're welcome to listen, but a lot of times, not not talking about health thing, but the manosphere in general or anything of that nature, mm -hmm. it ain't for y'all. That stuff is for the men, for the fellas to understand and separate and get together. Just like, just like K for y'all. I don't know. In that Cynthia G shit was for y'all. Never watched it. So yeah, mind your damn business. I, I respectfully disagree, Red Pill, but you good. It's late. Coach Tay, any final? Oh, my bad. Granville, any final thoughts? Nah, nah. Um, it was cool today. Uh, I just got out my part. Um, it is just what it is. People are still gonna use the word in a negative light. They won't really understand what it is, but it is what it is. Though you gotta keep moving. Keep your head up. They got brighter days. Word. Tay? Um, I just appreciate everybody's input. Tonight was a good conversation, even though I know we all didn't agree on everything, but I think it really did shed some light on the whole incel conversation for us. And just to be clear, the manosphere was not brought up by the ladies on the panel, but by the men. But we appreciate y'all. Great night. Good night. Dana? I um, appreciate everybody who came up tonight, everybody in the comments, all the viewers. Um, it was a good conversation. Um, sometimes y'all got to put them damn keyboards down, though, and go socialize. Go meet people. Don't be afraid of other humans. Um, it's good for you. The end. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. It was, it was interesting, man. Um, it went a couple different ways, but I like to consider all the points um it, uh, what granville was breaking down that i gotta think through it because i think you can identify it if you really and actually understand it um and then what happens when you identify it um i honestly think that men's modus operandi to like fatty was saying when he was joking have sex get money i think that men are more likely to put other men in that feeling because if you don't get cheeks your man sh shame you and clown you then i get it your mom or whatever the case is but in terms of when you really start getting out there you got to consider that more it's interesting man it's interesting og you got a final thought yeah my microphone wasn't working right and nobody told me that it was all right well, OG, we tired. No, I was real low. I mean, you couldn't oh. hear shit I was saying. I mean, you know mm -hmm. I am about my microphone. But anyway, it's bright now. I, I, I seen somebody in the chat say your mic is real low. But it's okay. It was a good I show. Um, you good. Go ahead. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good show. And uh, I learned something about Granville. Believe it or not, I seen his film. And if I don't know why he don't never promote it but he has a hell of a um don't do that uh, don't do that don't do that don't do that okay don't do that but i seen it and i seen a different person and i know a director is good but a director is not that goddamn good it was him who carried the weight of what he did and if you see it you'll see what i'm talking about Yeah, no, nah, Grandfield, man, when Grant, I'm telling you, man, when he be jumping on panels and trolling and all that, I mean, he got a lot of talents, man. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I be, look, I'm like, damn, so that's how my son gonna look when he get light. Granville, you got freckles? I mean, when he get <laughs> Nah, they not prevalent. Your hair, like a dumbass brown red, too? <laughs> nah, 
Nah, nah, nah, nah. I got black hair, but like the little facial hair I got, it like get the little like burnish blonde and shit. Like my facial hair, a little bit I got like on my chin, and the little mustache I got, it go blonde. Man, my son got this weird look, man. He light. And then his hair like red, like reddish brown, like this. Now I had to get a blood test on this nigga. <laughs> you, you wasn't trying to match Grand Bill over that shit, was you? Nah, I mean, nah. I be looking at older, like older man. I'm like, yo, yeah. My my wife is my wife is 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 like my complexion. I'm like, who is this nigga? But he got the same face as me. But you know, you gotta you gotta trust but verify. You feel me? <laughs> Damn, man. Salute, salute, salute. <laughs> Damn, I'm tired. All right, tomorrow it's lit. Granville was on the flyer. The, the, how, what do we name it, Granville? Fat niggas tell his side or something. Oh, the fat something nigga. Like that? The fat nigga diary. Yeah, the fat yeah. nigga expert. Yeah. <laughs> so that should be interesting, man. Nah, she don't got no, she don't got no green eyes, man. She's Jamaican like the mother. Can't, can't curry nothing to save her life, though. <laughs> but yeah, so the nine o'clock Eastern, man. I got a bunch of the 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 fellas, you know, who've been who been how you say it, heavy for the majority of their life. That's a different experience than niggas like me who just got out of shape. So I miss you to hear their perspective. You feel me? It should be interesting. Nine yes, p.m. Eastern. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Do the right thing, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and we out.